I've heard what? of what's happening. I, I mean, I've heard of the second guest, but the fourth guest? Here we go. Guys, we have a guest coming on right now. You might know him. You know what? I think this might be the best way to introduce. Actually, let's ask him how he wants to be introduced. Yeah. Guest, type into the private chat how you would like to be introduced, because this is a I, game we play with our guests. How you would like to be introduced. Because I have a way, and we'll read this, and if I might say it a different way. You might say it a different way. <laughs> yeah, I remind you that you are not the one who introduces guests. You are not the announcer. Also, I'll, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll tee up the intro with a little tease if you want. Sure, sure. Go ahead, George. I thought I was a rich guy. Oh, <laughs> and Why I'll say this. You know this guy from being a Caucasian male of, I'd say, maybe slightly above average height, a nice jawline, and glasses, not to mention hair on top of his head. Ladies and gentlemen, Rich Sumner! Right. <laughs> that was good. And I do a good job. <laughs> that was excellent. Uh, I asked to be de described by or introduced by my physical characteristics, and and Watto, I I appreciate you covering all the bases. Yes, mm. in the private chat, you said by physical characteristics. I just had a question. <laughs> How do I want to be introduced? I don't know by physical. I, I, I've never <laughs> been asked that question, so I, it was the uh, the first thing that came to mind. Now I was going to say, you know him from three episodes of Adam Ruins Everything. That's oh. how I was going to do it. Yeah, the an the animated the animated version. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's uh, the, the the history ones. Yes, that's right. The first facts giving, an ancient history of violence, and the Copernican Renaissance. Those are the oh. three. You go right. into a, you go into a studio to record those, Rich. I did, George. I went into a uh, a studio, a recording studio. Mm -hmm. Do you remember which one? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't. I, I. I'm sorry. I don't off the top of my head. Out loud audio. We don't. Is it in the emails somewhere? It, it might be in the emails. I could. I could certainly look it up. Uh, I just think this is going to drive our viewers crazy. That's a good question. Yeah. You know what? Give me a second. I'll. I'll find yeah, it. Kind of an incomplete story. You know, we don't want to hang George, in the chat. George Wada, let's just wait. Let's just wait and see if he finds it. We'll just. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good idea. Let me see here. Uh, oh. Oh. Adam ruins everything. Reanimated history, uh, dates. Oh, oh, here it is. Uh, well, you got you to give us the dates too. Uh, oh, okay, great. Yeah, the dates were. This was uh, Thursday, uh, September fourteenth, twenty seventeen. Date. And uh, the billing billing was end titles. Uh, so I was listed in the end titles. And I played uh, Augustus, Herodotus, Gladiator Slave, Roman Soldier, Gladiator Three, and Celtic Warrior. Wow. And it was in uh, uh, at a studio in Burbank. I don't have the name of it. I, I have the address. I don't know that I should. Uh, let's do know. a reverse search. Let's let's can we search <laughs> from the address to figure out? Uh, you have to copy paste the address into the private chat. I'm very committed. To I just yeah. know the viewers are going to kill me if we don't get the. No, that's a really good point, Watto. I I don't want to let anyone down. Yeah, I'll put the address right here in the private chat. Rich, I should say we're talk we're talking about this because we just had a very big Adam ruins everything uh, discussion. Oh, I see. Lisa Hannah Walt was just on. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Oh wow! Now, Rich, this is a a coincidence that you don't know about. It looks like it's Stupid Buddy Studios. Oh, yes, oh. yes, of course. Of course it is, yes. The creators of Robot Chicken. That's right. And Star Wars Detours. Okay. Now, right. George, why don't you explain to Rich what Star Wars Detours is while we're talking about it? I wonder if Rich already knows. Rich, do you know, when I say Star Wars Detours, does that mean anything to you? You're a Star Wars fan? I, uh, I have seen the original trilogy. Wow. Uh, Phantom, Clones, and Sith? Yeah. No, and no, I'm sorry. The, the first three that were released uh, in no. our chronology. <laughs> right. So mm -hmm. four, five, and six. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I saw those. I think I've seen each of them twice. Mm -hmm. And then um, I saw the newer ones as well, each one time. The, the yeah. most recent three. I've yeah. never seen one, two, and three. Hey, how, do you make sense of, how do you make sense of the other ones you saw? 
Uh, it, I, I'll be honest. The, the first time that I saw four, five, and six, I was much, much younger, and so I think right. I just let it wash over me. I did have a lot of questions after my second viewing, which was only a few years ago. I watched them with my kids, and and they they also had a lot of questions uh, that I was unable to answer. Great. Uh, out of curiosity, when uh, friends of yours uh, want to check out the TV series that you've been on, do you recommend to them, oh, you should start with episode uh, four of Mad Men, <laughs> skip the first three. No need to watch the first first 90 minutes of Glow. Just start <laughs> after that point. Is that what I, you say? I don't. I don't. But to be, to be fair... Oh, to be fair, uh, the, the the number four, five, and six, you know, New Hope and uh, Empire Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi uh, were released at a t you know before the first. I mean, yeah. George, you know all this, obviously, you were a kid. but you were a kid. But but I was a kid, and so I just went yeah. and saw them. And they're kids' um, movies. They're movies for kids. They're movies for kids. Um, do you um, want me to give you the short? I, I'll tell you what happens in the just a short version. Um, yeah, sure. You know, Darth Vader, you remember the end of uh, uh, Return of the Jedi? It uh, uh, takes off the mask. You see there's yep. a guy in there. Yep. All right. That guy was once a little boy. Right. Um, he had special skills, magic blood, and uh, he got recruited, like headhunted by a big, big time Jedi guy. He was like, this kid's special. Took the kid, left the mom. Wada owned the kid. Yeah. Watto owned the kid. Yeah, no. he, uh, yeah. Watto owned the kid and the mom. Okay. Um, oh, that's on there. I next see. thing on the pod race is how he won his two slaves, Anakin and Shmi Skywalker from Gardula the Hut. KFC right. Taco Bell Pizza Hut Pepsi. Right. <laughs> kid grows up, starts dating his former babysitter. Oh. Hey, yuck! <laughs> uh huh. Um. Gets her pregnant. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's twins. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, he, falls in, uh, he falls in with a bad influence. There's a, um, a, a politician. Well, first of all, he has, a, he has a dumb friend who later becomes a <laughs> senator and votes for basically the use of force. Uh, it's basically like the Gulf War thing. Do you, do you want to pause this while Patrick's gone just so he can no. hear the whole thing? Or? He probably Rich, wants to take a nap. He yeah. always goes Rich, to take a nap. He always okay. to I just want to make sure if you, didn't, if you didn't already know it, Patrick, I want to make sure you get to hear no, it, no, too. Got it. You, have, you, have, uh, you have children, right, Rich? I do, yeah. Two of them. You know, sometimes uh, small, immature children can't get through a basic activity without taking a couple naps. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, and then you need to give them a snack, maybe a little juice box, a cracker or something. Sure. Yeah, now you know what it's like having a producer. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So one senator vote, votes to give the other senator unlimited power. Uh -huh. This, this senator is kind of a mean, tricky guy, and he tells uh, Anakin, this little boy turns into Darth Vader, tells him, listen, you better give in to your anger or else your wife's going to die. He's like, mm -hmm. oh, no, not my wife. She's pregnant. I don't want my wife to die. I guess I better give in to my anger. So he gives into his anger, kills a bunch of people, kills a bunch of children, uh, gets into a fight with his best friend. His best friend, uh, they're fighting on a volcano planet. His best friend says to him, uh, don't you jump up here. I'm higher than you. You'll regret it. Anakin doesn't listen. He jumps up. His friend, in one move, in one move, chops off his arms and legs. This infuriates Anakin. He's furious about what his friend just did to him. Understand. He's lying on molten lava. He's sliding into the lava. And he says the one thing that a friend should never say to another friend. It's a real red flag. He says, I hate you. So mean. <laughs> but in some ways, I, I forgive him that because A, he's just giving it into his anger. Also, his friend just chopped off his arms and legs and he's, he's burning. He's on fire. Yeah. And his friend walks away, leaves him there. <laughs> so the the bully that he the bully senator that had kind of talked him into it built right. him a big robot Darth Vader suit. And this thing, it's got everything. You can go to the bathroom in it, it's great. Mm -hmm. But he wakes up and he's like, What happened to my wife? And he says, Oh boy, 
Uh, you guys. She's dead. She's she's dead. Right. The one thing that he didn't want to happen. So he's like, I guess this is who I am now. I guess I'm Darth Vader now. Now he's now he's truly has to give over to that anger. Yeah. So he's like, what do I have now? What are my options? Right. What I'm going to go hang out with my friend. He left me for dead on a volcano. I have nothing. I might as well do this. I might as well. I guess I'm Darth Vader now. That right. was actually a line of dialogue. I replaced it. We had to, he basically he says no like that, and then originally in the first draft of the script, I had him say, "I guess I'm Darth Vader now," and then I thought, <laughs> "No, the no is so strong. Let's cut on the no." Yeah. Yes. Because that's a yeah. Uh, okay. And well, so that's I, the, the three movies. Now that now the four, five, and six makes sense, right? Yes. Oh, also he hates sand. This guy. <laughs> Guess yeah. Can't stand it. Rough. I don't. It, works, it gets everywhere. Did that get referenced in four, five, and six? All no. the sub. It's all subtext. It's all just under the. It's like yeah. watch it now and understand like when the first time that you would have seen Darth Vader in Episode Four, he comes right. storming into the room and he looks around. You know what he's looking for? There better not be any sand in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good, no sand, and he keeps walking. He approves. It's a sand I mean, he's got that, a dust buster, a dust buster under his cape, and he's ready. If there's any there, he's gonna just yeah, right. Th it yeah. sounds. I, I I should probably go back and watch these again. Do you Show have your kids. Do you have, they're kids' have, movies. They're kids. You have movies. Disney they're Plus. Do you have Disney I Plus. Do, I do have Disney Plus. Yeah, it's free. You have free Star Wars twenty four yeah. hours a day. That's true. That's the dream. <laughs> but the one thing. The one thing you All don't you have, have to though, do is pay money and then it's free. Yeah. The one thing that, the one thing you don't have, and this was all just a prelude to this, is Star right. Wars Detours. Right. Right. Which I'm gonna Which tell you is, what that yes. That please. is the final Star Wars project that I personally worked on. We made 39 episodes of an animated Star Wars comedy show called Star Wars Detours. And it was just like uh, Star Wars but funny. Okay. And we kind of spoof and goof on it, kind of like it was the the robot chicken guys. You know, they that that was the inspiration for it, and they worked on it. And so I uh, said, you know what? Let's not wait for the green light from some network. You know, normally the way TV shows are made, some big executive says, "Yes, you can make your show. Make one. Show me it. You yeah, know, I like it. Make more." And they're always, mm, "You can make nine more. You can make ten more." They're always telling you what to do. I said, "We're not going to wait for that. Let's just make them make thirty nine of them, and then we'll just." give them completely to somebody. So I made 39 episodes of Star Wars Detours. We wrote, I think, like 60 or 70 episodes. We wrote a ton. And I was thinking, this is very low risk because it's Star Wars, it's George Lucas, plus it's funny. It's a gimme. Yeah. It's a gimme. So I, I sell, I, I, I'm having a tax issue coming up. This is years ago now, um, where if I don't sell Star Wars before the new tax year, I'm going to, it's going to cost me. So I was in a hurry to make this deal. So I'm like, okay, I want someone good. I want Disney to own Star Wars. They're going to give me money. I'll get, uh, let's sort this out. And in my haste, I just assumed that in buying 39 fully completed episodes of Star Wars Detours, that Disney would do the thing that they are perhaps most famous for doing with animation, which is releasing it. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, you, 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 never will you see someone, you know, down digging in some tomb and they say, I found something. What is it? It's Steamboat Willie. They buried it. No, they released it. They, they release it and they release it and then they re-release it. And they might put it in the vault for a few years, but only so that they can then release it. Right. So all these episodes remain for almost a decade now in the Disney vault. Right next to Song of the South. Right next gym. to Song of the South. Right, George. Yeah. I feel like that's not usually how we describe where the episodes ended up. Well, yes, they took the thirty-nine episodes. They said thank you very much for the episodes, yeah. and then they put them on a shelf. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I, uh, I finally did it. I finally, finally took five months. I bought a fucking shelf. I was going to ask what you were working on there that entire time that George was. It's called the slow burn, baby. What the? <laughs> you think Billy Lynn takes a long halftime walk? You just got waffled, baby. Uh, you just got uh, waffled. 
I did. I did. Rich, that, that joke is months in the making. <laughs> and I got that shelf in the mail weeks ago, and this fucking thing hasn't come up like two shows in a row. <laughs> I was waiting for it to be organic. Yeah, that Jesus was... fucking Christ. Rich, uh, what was it like playing Winston on Burn Notice? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Well, um, <clears throat> huh. uh, actually, I, I was just thinking about this the other day because uh, I was in – so for, for Burn Notice, I was in Miami for uh, about two weeks. Yeah. And um, Bruce Campbell worked on Burn Notice, of course. He was uh, – The uh, chin! The, the chin uh, worked on that. And I uh, had never seen the Evil Dead movies, but I, I do fancy myself a bit of a fan of horror movies, yeah. but I just hadn't, I just had never seen them at that point. And the subject I sort of dreaded having come up was horror movies. And it came up on set and we were chatting and Bruce said, oh, so you're, you're a horror fan? I said, uh, yeah, yeah. And he said, uh, now have you seen the... Uh, so you've seen Evil Dead, obviously. Now, in this moment, mm -hmm. I I had sort of you know how time slows down, and you know mm -hmm. if you're falling off your bike and time slow, you have time mm -hmm. to sort of see the ground coming at you. I remembered a conversation I had had with uh, my boss at Mad Men, and it frustrated him <clears throat> when people would say, "Oh, I haven't seen it." He said, "Just sure. lie to me, lie to me, tell me you've seen it. Just tell me you've seen it." And yeah. my my thing with that was always, "Well, what if there's a." follow-up question from the person to whom I, it's why george it's why I, I was honest with you about the right. star wars movies that i've seen of yours i don't oh. want you to throw out a, a curveball that then i'm gonna immediately have to admit i lied if so, you had like, said, if you had said you've seen attack of the clones i would have followed up with 12 questions <laughs> exactly and i did not want to go down that road so so faced with this moment i i told bruce uh actually uh actually i have not seen the Evil Dead movies. And he was just, what? One thing I'll say about Bruce Campbell. Well, two things, I guess I'll say. Sam, uh, Sam Axe. Sam Axe. That was Sam his name. Notice. Oh, yeah, Sam Axe. Sorry, Sam. Okay, yeah. but it was Bruce I was talking to in this yeah. Yeah. moment. Um, well, how he, deeply in character was he? <laughs> not, not deeply. He was not, just okay. Bruce at this moment. Exactly. Um, he was uh, both very, very kind and, and warm and generous and also sort of... Uh, sort of knows his deal, knows where he fits in the world. No, And so he he just was like, uh, you haven't seen the Evil Dead movies? I said, no, I I, I haven't. I, I, I mean to. He said, uh, well, you got to see those movies. They're classics. And I said, no, I know. I do have to. He's like, I don't even know. What, what are you talking about? You haven't seen it. You're a horror fan. You have to see those movies. And I was like, okay. But now, and some sometimes you might think, you know, George, it's similar with you, actually. You you're you didn't berate me for not having seen those mm -hmm. movies. You you said the I should is, the night check is them out. The night yeah, is that's right. That's right. Exactly. But I just I well, just described them to you in minimal detail. That's right, which I appreciate. And and uh, maybe I'll see them sometime. Mm -hmm. But as I said to Bruce in that moment, I uh, okay, I will see them. So I had a couple days off from filming. I went to my hotel room, I tracked down the movies. I think I found two of them in, in movie stores somewhere in Miami. And the other one, I think I ordered, I think I ordered army of darkness from Amazon just to right. get it shipped to my hotel. And I watched all three by the time, next time I saw him ready to sort of like go into it with him. And he, uh, he was like, Hey Rich, how are you? And I said, Hey Bruce, how, Hey, Hey, by the way, I watched the movies. I was like, Oh, that's great. And that was <laughs> <laughs> that was the last time I spoke to him about the evil. Dead well, Rich, let me ask you: which ending of Army of Darkness did you watch? Well, George, now I'll, I'll have to say I haven't seen Army of Darkness since. Wow! Then. So <laughs> I did. I did. I'm currently watching a bunch of '80s horror movies, and I, yeah, right. I just a couple of weeks ago saw Evil Dead again for the first time since then, and I just mm -hmm. two days ago saw Evil Dead Two right. again so you're for the on first track. time. Right. So I will get there. Uh, I mean, Army of Darkness yep. is in the '90s, but I, I will, I will get to see. There it. are different. There are different cuts of Army of Darkness, and okay. uh, and I want to recommend to you because there's one that is the S Mart ending of uh, Army of Darkness, and that's I think the original theatrical ending. But there yeah. is uh, an alternate ending that the Rip Van Winkle ending. 
Yeah, that I, I it's on YouTube and just on its own as a standalone ending, I think it is one of the great endings. The S Mart ending is fine, but the other ending is yeah. a true uh, uh, wor work of art on its own, even as a deleted. It's really great, and I, I, I recommend it. It will only take a few minutes to watch, but it really is something else. Well, I, actually, I promise you I will be seeing Army of Darkness uh, in short order, and I will also check out that alternate ending. Thank you. It might that. be, depending on which version you bought, you may have seen it. I don't know. Yeah. I'll and I, rec I recommend the TV show. Ash really? It's fun. All right. Well, I've, I've, I've got a lot of things to watch now. Yeah. Uh, oh, guys, the Lakers won. Who gives a shit? I did the fucking shelf bit. Are you kidding me? You're I just talking got about some got, basketball game. I just got a little. No, I got a little new. I did the paper. fucking shelf bit. I got the fucking Pepsi cut and a TV right. guide cover that now, now I can play. Now, Rich, Jesus someone Christ. someone asked me about the. I'm assuming there are board games behind you. Uh, there are some. Yeah, there are board games on the. Yeah. Yes. They were asking. They were asking if you have any favorites out of the ones behind you. Specifically out of those? That that was the question I got. Yeah. Okay. Because I can here, let me if I can uh, here we go. There there are some others over like here under the TV, and then over here are some more as well. Oh, that's uh, like a whole board like, game stuff. But but of the ones that are sorry for the chaos there. No, we love it. The ones that are behind me. Uh <laughs> <I> <laughs> This is a nightmare. Um, I guess I'll I'll say uh, right, the one jumping out at me is uh, is Eldritch Horror, which is a uh, a sort of um, a cooperative game based on the Lovecraft stories. And uh, yeah, that it's I got a, four of the boxes there. Are Eldritch Horror. It's a lot of a lot of different combinations of things. That's great. Uh, how that's many great. how many do you have that you have not played before? A fairer amount. I would say yeah. um, at one point, I would say two thirds of what I had, I had not played. But since then, I've kind of tried to cull the sure. uh, collection. But but at this point, I'd say still maybe maybe a quarter of them I have not played. Maybe well, a that's an interesting question. Has the number gone down because you've got rid of games you hadn't played or because you've been playing more games in quarantine? Oh, or both. Definitely fewer games in quarantine. That there Wait, was. A, you have this one. I don't. Ha I do have um, Star Wars Risk, Ooh. Uh, which is really good. I have. I have Star Wars Imperial Assault. That's over there as well. That's right a good there. one. Do you own a Labyrinth? Uh, I don't. It's a fun game. I've, I, I have heard that as well. Can anyway, a uh, little, little silver ball, and you roll it around. Yeah, with the uh, this thing. Yeah, things on the side. Yeah. Did, I, I, did Mad played. Men ever get a board game? No. Really? Mm -mm. It feels like it would have, right? What yeah. would it be? Trying to have the best affair you can have. Yeah, <laughs> it's a tough. It's a tough uh, series to to turn into a game. Ad I sales. I mean, make ad sales. That's what that Spinny Long said in the chat. In also, in 2011, uh, Rich Summer said you'd have to be 21 to buy a Mad Men board game. Oh, oh, that's <laughs> right. I remember saying that. Starts right. That, that sounds like you're 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 on your way to designing it. You've already got the age limit rule on the right. Uh, right. Must uh, be 21. Don't, I don't remember this interview, and I really <laughs> don't have to do what we're doing. Thank you. That's, that's better. Right. <laughs> I just wanted to get the full quote. I want to get that. I appreciate that, uh, but it's okay. I think that yeah. headlines enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, a lot of shows that you've been on feel like there should be, like, feels like there should be some kind of glow game. Sure. There's got to be an office game, right? I think there are office games. Yeah, but it's like office. Uh, yeah, you know, like like that's the Star Wars Life you showed. I know there's an office. Uh, Trivia game. There's an yeah. office. You know. There's that stuff. But, yeah. um, there, what hot American summer one? There there's is a, a, there's a role playing game. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I know that. Yeah. I haven't I haven't played it. It's up on my bookshelf, but I haven't played it. How uh, how was that? Because you're great in that. You're in that a lot. Thanks. It was very fun to do. I I'm a 
big, big fan of the movie, uh, the original movie. And uh, um, actually, uh, <laughs> my, my agent, she's since um, passed away, unfortunately, but one of the conversations, I just referenced this conversation with her a couple of weeks ago uh, uh, with someone else. Um, and uh, when I got the phone call that I was going to get to do Wet Hot American Summer, I got, became a little emotional because, again, it's it's such a the movie. I just love it, and um, you know, having become friends with David Wayne and Michael Showalter over the years, mm -hmm. I still never fully expected that. I never never dreamed that that would mean I would get to be a part of the the work that they did, huh. and I, I so I became a little emotional. I said, "No, Gabrielle, you you have to understand. This is like if a, a huge Star Wars fan got." a call that they were going to be in one of the new Star Wars movies. And there was a very long pause. And she said, uh, this is not Star Wars. And I said, yes, I understand that. It's just meaningful to me. Right. So, yeah. But it's prequel. It's a prequel, then it's a sequel. That's right. And the first one came out. So, I mean, it kind of is. A little it kind like of that. is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you weren't wrong, but you also were wrong. <laughs> yes, <I understand. laughs> yeah. Rich, are you do you know a, a game, a party game called The Resistance? Yes, I have a copy of that over there. I yeah. found a post from BoardGameGeek.com in yeah. 2011, oh. right <laughs> around the same time you made your infamous remark about needing to be <laughs> anyone to play the game. I'm going to send it to Patrick right now, but oh. someone made their own custom Mad Men version of the resistance. Really? Oh good. I was hoping I was pretty sure that was gonna be me talking about the resistance on Board Game Geek <laughs> because I have spent a lot of time on Board Game Geek over the well, years. Now so. I know what to look for. Give me a second. Uh, <laughs> we won't do that. Here we sure. go. Mad Men retheme. Look at these pictures. I'm curious as a board game fan how oh, this retheming a... looks to you. Is that, that Dynamo's stuff? That is. I was Dynamo. just going to say that art is done by Dynamo. Uh, Dyna, so can I uh, tell you that Dyna became sort of uh, unofficially slash officially involved with our show. Yeah. Um, so Dyna, mm -hmm. some, some people might know, Dyna used to do, when I lived in New York and I was uh, sweeping floors at the Upright Citizens Brigade, Dyna was the person who made everybody's flyers for their shows. Mm -hmm. And then um, was a, a legendary improviser. Yes, was that, uh, oh, totally, was an yeah. improviser yeah. And, and a uh, coach of my team as well. She was, you know, a, a big name there. And when the show, when we had our first season, I reached out to Dyna and asked, because we didn't know if we'd have a second season. We didn't know what was going to happen. I just asked her uh, at the holidays, would you, could I hire you to make a Christmas card uh, and Patrick, actually, you could probably search Mad Men Christmas card. I bet you could find this because that, that made the rounds at some point. I asked her to make a Christmas card that I could give to the cast and crew. And she did. And it was fantastic. Um, and it led to a relationship between her, a, a business relationship between her and the show where she um, not only AMC hired her to make, I do have over here Mad Men. Um, this one, right? Oh, yeah, that's the Christmas yeah. card, yes. She made uh, Mad Men, uh, what are those, what were they called? The, the color forms, color forms. Oh, yeah. you and you'd peel it off and you'd stick it in a scene. She made a set of Mad Men color forms uh, for AMC to give out uh, as sort of a gift to reviewers at the beginning of the season. And then um, they did a Mad Men Yourself website that Dinah did all the art for. Mm -hmm. And then Matt, our boss, hired her for every year for the remaining of the, remainder of the show. And in fact, I think a year or two after the show to make a uh, calendar to send to the cast and crew, all with original art. Some of it scenes from the show and some of it sort of imagined. Yeah, there you go. There Guess it is on that. eBay, if anyone wants it, 235. Very tough to find that uh, yeah. this Mad Men. But yeah, so Dinah became sort of a, a, a part of the show, which was really, oh, and she wrote a book. The, book. the yeah, Illustrated World. That's right, and it's really great. And I wrote yeah. a little piece in there about um, learning the, to tie. Right tie. now, who's gonna get it? Only one left in stock. That's it. It's, oh, great. it's wow. really cool. Uh, yeah, it's very fun. Yeah. Now, one question. You did bring up uh, being at UCB a lot. Wado, do you want to ask the question we ask? Yeah. All of our... Rich, look, we this question. isn't gotcha journalism, but we we like to because do we our already, due diligence. We, we already got you. We already yeah, got I've you. Been, I've been got. 
Yeah. We got you on this show. We got, we got Watto pretty hard with the shelf. I don't know if you remember the <laughs> shelf. No, I do remember the shelf. It was phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Probably one of the two or three proudest accomplishments of my time on the show. <laughs> I'm honored to have been a part of it. I, I insist on patting myself on the back for the remaining of this train. <laughs> but, Rich, um, I, I, by the way, can I just say I cannot wait to go back and watch how that all unfolded <laughs> yeah. in the telling of watching Mark. you. Mark. I just tell you this up. I saw you begin to work on something, and I wanted to ask at some point, but then to see it really blew. But also, I want the, we always use the phrasing "put it on the shelf." Yeah. And then this time, I say to George, "And what did they do with it?" And George says, "They put it in the vault." That is never the terminology we use. He almost gifts the entire thing. It never, because I don't, I didn't communicate this to them. They didn't know. This fucking box has been sitting in front of my feet for two goddamn weeks. And George talks about a fucking vault. Got little tools and fucking instructions and shit. And this, look, this is pretty level, all considering. <laughs> it's good. You had to eyeball it, and then it was a quick slam onto the wall. That's pretty good. I think, pretty you, did, good. I think you did great, Wano. <laughs> I had to do research into, like, what's what's a shelf that's sturdy but adhesive-based so I don't have to use power tools because that will tip my hand too much. I don't want to expose studs. <laughs> you want to ask me something about you to be. Yeah, yeah, Rich, yeah. were you ever on a Herald? Yeah, on a Herald. I, I, I was, Wato. on a Herald night? You were on a Herald I, I, was, uh, I was on what I believe it remains historically the shortest-lived Herald team in UCB wow. history. Oh. Tell me more. Tell me more. Uh, <laughs> we were, we were uh, I believe we did, uh, I think we did three, if, if we did three Heralds, I think it was two. In my memory, it's two, but it feels like it had to be three. But I think I it thought, might have been. I two. thought you were about to say we did three first beats, and then they cut us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was pretty amazing. We we Wait, just when you said shortest Herald team. I said, "What? Well, who's on this? Danny DeVito, <laughs> Michael J. Fox, Tom Cruise." <laughs> Boom! You got Watto. They got Watto hard. Uh, I meant shortest lived. If I if I yeah, no, 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 I, got it, I got it. I was um, having a having a little fun. I I understand. Um. Yeah, so we it was we did our the problem. Here's what happened: mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> the two sort of founding members of the Herald team were these guys, Will McLaughlin and Charlie Sanders. And Will and Charlie, it was right when uh, two the very not two very nice bald men. Love these guys. Love these lovely guys. bald men. Uh, yes, they they <laughs> were uh, the theater decided to try an experiment, which was to give two sort of anchor guys a list of names, and Ooh. said. Just circle six names, and that'll be your team. Whoa. Now, that mean, what that means is I have still, to this day, never auditioned for a Herald team. Wow. Um, I've heard many stories about auditioning for a Herald team. And, well, and I, Abby and Alana never made Herald Night. That's I am why we grateful. Have I, I'm grateful never to have auditioned. And I know yeah. that my name getting circled made some people pretty angry. I know because I had been at the theater a lot less time than a lot of people who had put in you know, years. And uh, this is in 2004 that this happened. Um, <clears throat> I believe Charlie told me that the reason he circled my name, we didn't know each other very well. We may have met, we were both from Minnesota, but mm -hmm. uh, we had a friend in common, Eugene Cordero. And Eugene had said to Charlie, oh yeah, Rich, Rich is a funny guy. Uh, and they circled my name. I, I don't know what it says about Charlie, uh, <laughs> that he just circled this stranger's name, that he clearly skipped over several names of people that he must have known. Uh, I don't know what <laughs> happened, but we we did our um, couple of heralds. We did our last herald on a Monday. I got a call on Tuesday that we had been cut, um, but we were signed up to start cage match on Wednesday. Wow. And uh, is, this, is this too much inside baseball or no. this is okay? Okay, no, great. Signed up to do cage match on Wednesday. And um, we, uh, I said on the phone, I was like, well, can we still do you know, it was sort of a wash in adrenaline. I was just like, yeah. Jesus, I didn't expect it to end this quickly. I knew we weren't finding a groove quite yet, but I yeah. didn't expect it to implode right. this quickly. And um, they said, no, no, anybody can do cage match, so you're good. So we did cage match, and we our team was called America. America with an exclamation point. Mm -hmm. And 
our bit ended up being in cage match. I mean, really edgy stuff. We would buy a case of beer um, before the show. We'd hand out about half of it, and the rest of us would drink the rest of it during our 25 minutes. And we won nine weeks in a row, which at that time was uh, a record. Yeah. But our, to be fair, our eighth week, we tied with Krompf um, to the vote. Uh, and then the next week they came back and, and absolutely uh, mopped the floor with us, uh, as they should have. They were a much better team. We just yelled a lot, and uh, we would take a like a beer break. There was always one beer break in the cage. You know, you got that timeout in cage match. Yeah. And our timeout was a beer break where we would just give beers to the audience, and they would cheer, and they would chant USA. And uh, it was um, – So you did, was, not, you did nine total? We did nine total, yeah. So that's a full right. Skywalker saga. A full saga. That's right. I, I want to reassert this show does not believe in gotcha journalism. <laughs> but we have to do our due diligence and we have to follow leads here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's so much misinformation out there as to who made Harold Knight and who didn't. Because mm -hmm. Abby and Alana were never on Harold Knight. And that means we, what? How is that possible? Right. Mm -hmm. We have to ask every time we have a guest on the show. There's another uh, question that I'm sometimes loath to ask because it can be interpreted as too personal. Okay. <laughs> but you gave us a, a big fucking breadcrumb in that story you just told us. You never even auditioned for Harold. No. So when we, we have people, veterans, August performers of the entertainment industry who have sure. risen to the highest ranks of prestige television and film. Yes. We like to ask them what their status is, if they still do reads. But you have already given us the answer. At least with regards to Harold Knight, Rich Summer is offer only. <laughs> only, only for Harold Knight, I assure you. Okay. Okay, so that's the second question. For Harold Knight, offer only. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yes. reads. Otherwise, yes, I've, I've, I have gotten a few offers in my career and they've been a very exciting things to receive, but I would right. say for 98% of my jobs, they were auditions. Can we talk about which ones were offers? <laughs> Why <laughs> would we? Um, I, uh, how about, how about, how about um, you can, you can throw a couple uh, okay. uh, jobs my Ch way and I'll tell you whether yeah. it was an offer Champagne or not. Champagne Hill, Champagne Hill. Offer. There Ooh. we go. The league. Uh, offer. Curve. Let's, okay, let's play the game. Curve with we... an audition. Okay. I was going to say let's keep guessing until we get one wrong. But oh, then... sorry. Okay. Patrick, sorry. Patrick, Patrick as usual. Patrick I'll, as usual. I'll bow out. I'll bow out. Okay. Bow Patrick out. doesn't count. Futile and stupid gesture. Uh, and, and what do I do? You're trying to name – you want me to tell the – You tell the truth, and oh, we yeah. want – Yes, that's an offer, right? Offer, yes. Right. If we if it's a read, then it's like a whammy. We try Got to it. not give a read, but you give us the real answer. George, Understood. do you want to take a guess? Adam ruins everything. Uh, uh, offer. Offer. That was a squeaker. That was a squeaker. Okay. okay. What about, hello, my name is Doris. That was an audition. Wah, 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 wah. Last week tonight with John Oliver. That was an offer. I knew it. <laughs> I've won. I've won the game. I I, won. I guessed uh I guessed correctly on all of those. It felt like staying in that state vein was good territory. Any of the Wayne projects, the show author makes you read. <laughs> let me let me I got I gotta be honest, I'm trying to remember on Doris. I remember that I got the phone call of the job from Showalter at my house. But I don't. I don't. I think it was an. I think it was an audition. I think I hey, read for it. So now, I'm not going to contest it. I'm not going to contest so it. When you get an appointment, when you get an appointment for for a, a potential audition, mm -hmm. uh, is your Depending first question? Yeah. Is your first question? Is this for Harold Knight? <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting years. They keep on telling me it's going to catch up because, with me one of these days. It, if, if it's for Harold Knight, I'm offer only. <laughs> I don't. I. I don't. I presume it isn't Harold Knight. You, now, you go in automatically. 
I automatically presume it is not Harold. Wow. Well, you're default. He's assuming that if your agents or managers are emailing you, yes. you default to believing that it does not have to do right. with Harold. That's the correct. Si the Simpsons. Uh, the Simpsons was an offer. But but uh, but that was that was because I yes it was doesn't it matter was. why it doesn't matter why I'm interested to know why but it doesn't matter why I'm just know that I'm 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 on a hot streak here I'm gonna tell you the truth um I'm I'm getting I'm getting warm from this because I so many of the ones that you've brought up have been offers offers yeah. I promise you I audition constantly <laughs> I mean and I don't get jobs <laughs> who asked who asked about uh, futile and stupid gesture me. I think that's hilarious because who did you play in Feudile and Stupid Gesture, Rich? I played Harry Crane <laughs> from Mad Men. That's I'm right. also it's not like the same guy. I'm in the background and don't say a, a line. It's right. Camera. Yeah. It's a, it's a bit. I mean, it's yeah. just a bit. Yeah. Safe guess. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, it's amazing. Wow. What, a crazy, now, what a crazy industry, right? It is. A, it th yes, George. Absolutely. I can understand why you retired. I look forward to doing the same at some point. <laughs> yeah. When do you uh, think Because George got out. He was a little later in the game. Yeah. Yeah. When do I think I'll retire? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, how many billions do you need to make before you're willing to hang it up? And this is not me pushing you to retire. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. This is not Patrick Kotner says retire, bitch. This is not that kind of thing. <laughs> I would love to someday be a guest on Patrick Codner's Retire Bitch, where <laughs> Patrick berates every guest yeah. into, into considering retirement. Think about He's it. He's a nasty bitch who lives for the drama. That's what we say well, about Patrick. Well, I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this. Not to get not to get crude, but occasionally I've dabbled in a comedy that is um, sexually explicit. Howard mm -hmm. the Duck would be an mm -hmm. example where duck tits, the, duck tits and. Play Duck magazine, you know. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't even know if you're aware of this, but I mean, you, you go to a person's IMDb and everyone wears many hats. You have special thanks. You have when were you yourself and archival footage, you know, what, you know, I have producer, director, et cetera, things like that. Uh -huh. But you're, but you're bread and butter. Your main thing that you would identify as is an actor. Yes. You say, I'm an actor. Yes. Right. You currently, do you know how many credits you currently have? I don't. 68. Oh, oh, <laughs> you are one credit away one from having a very okay, okay, here's funny... How here's, how here's how we do here's this. Rich, how we do it. play... No, 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 because this will go as self. Oh, oh great. Right. Yeah. But, unless... yeah. but unless you play a character right now... Can you debut an original <laughs> character? Rich! Yeah, I'm like, I feel like we all had the exact same idea at the same moment. And I like that we didn't even have to explain to Rich. He ran away. He ran away enthusiastically to prepare. Right. He could have yeah. just done it. <laughs> no, no, he couldn't. No, he couldn't. No, no. no. See, I was going to be a stickler about that. What if, I was going to what if he comes back with the Harry Crane mutton chops? Here we go. Okay. Ding dong, ding dong. Who is this? Hello? Hey! <laughs> Where, where'd every, where's Rich? Hi, who are you? St St Stephen. Stephen. Stephen, what's your last name? What's your last name so we can get it on IMDb, Stephen? Uh, Char Charleston. Steven Charleston, Charleston, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. What, I'm on a show. I'm on TV. I You're always, actually, I always wanted to be on TV. You are. This is huge. You're actually talking to retired filmmaker George Lucas. Oh, Steve. From and the, the slave owner. And Catherine. From the Star Wars movies. From the Star yeah. Wars movies. Yeah. I've Maybe. seen all nine of them. Whoa. There's more if you count the Star Wars stories or the Ewok movies. Right. I was just. I was going to continue. Of course, there's more if you count the. Um, yes. Ewok well, movies were, and the Star Wars stories. Ewok movies and the Star yeah. Wars uh, yeah. stories. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, Steven, what's your deal, man? Well, I'm what's just a little shorter. Deal? I'm a little shorter than Rich. Oh. And uh, and uh, you know, I got sometimes like I, I wear. I, I'll, I'll forget. Like I'll put a shirt over there instead of on, or, and then a towel on my head. Yeah. Oh. 
Wow. That's great. Like that's right. I'm like one of these flubber guys. You're an absent-minded professor. That's right. Yeah, my dad uh, told me that's in, just in those Ch Charleston jeans. Oh. Now, Stephen, can you do me a favor? Can you rate the Evil Dead movies for me? I don't. I don't know if you've seen them or not. Can you I've rate seen them? All of them, all three, and the TV show. Whoa. Wow. Yep. I can rate all of them. Steven. Here we go. No, you George, want, hang on one yeah, sec. Hang on one sec. Steven? So, number one is Evil Dead 2. Great. Then oh Army God. of Darkness, then Evil Dead, then the show. <laughs> wow. Okay. Ash versus Evil Dead. And what do you think? Which which ending do you prefer on Army of Darkness? <laughs> the as smart ending. The other <laughs> one was too creative. I like it straight down the middle. <laughs> What do you? What is your like job, Steven? No job. No job. Nope. Just and hang, hanging out at Rich's. Where'd Rich go? I saw him. He was just here. Yeah. Steven, can we? Can do you have anything in nearby to you that is uh, like a candy or a small carrot, uh, any kind of uh, small food that you can eat on camera? Yep. Just a sec. This, this is All right, George. I, I don't know if we're able to get bumpers for this, but uh, this is going to be a segment called Charleston Chews. Charleston Chew, I believe in you. Charleston Chews, he's got nothing to lose. <laughs> Bryson specifically pulled a bumper this week. I know, I but got, I got these pickles. They're spicy pickles. Take All a right. bite. Take will a you, bite. You take a bite and chew one of them. Yeah, they're hard. To, oh, there we go. Oh, why do I? I just chew it. Just chew it, and the segment will yeah. be called Charleston Chews. We'll get a bumper for it later. <laughs> mm, it's spicy. <laughs> All right, now we've done it. Charleston Chew. I believe in you. Justin Chews. He's got nothing to lose. <laughs> Hang on, Stephen. Can we talk to Rich for a second? Oh, let me see if I can. Rich! Yeah. Hey, Rick. Just a sec. Okay. He'll sit just a second. Okay, great. Okay. This is going to be a fun. This will be fun. Yeah, this will be fun. We got no, to make it work for that credit. You don't hit 69 right. without breaking a sweat. Now, we don't want ever, anyone to add him as himself on IMDb. He has to be added as Steven Charleston. Or else and I know that Bryson said no bumpers, but I do secretly believe in him. I believe there's a chance we'll get a bumper. Bryson yeah. pointedly said, no bumpers, I need to decompress. And George is needling him for bumpers. Steven, you left the pickles over by the computer. Oh, man. Hey, hey guys. Hey, hey, Rich. Hey, Rich. Yeah. How are you? I'm great. How are you guys? What? Uh, how did you get? How did you meet? How did you meet your friend Stephen? Uh, we just we met at a movie premiere. Which movie premiere? What, what picture? Uh, he. It was at the. Um, it actually wasn't a movie. It was at the uh, New Girl season three premiere. Uh, he was outside, uh, and I uh, bummed a cigarette from him. Uh, and now he lives with you. Now he does. Would you Do say? You your, would you say he's your best friend, Rich? Oh no! No, absolutely. No. Are you, no. are you his best friend? Are you his best I am, friend? I am absolutely his best friend. We should uh, we should ask him. Rich, my, my, wait, Rich, can you get Stephen back? We should ask him if he's your best friend. Yeah, just a sec. Hey, Stephen, they want they want to talk. I I can't. I'm I'm busy now. You are. Oh, but we were just we were uh, just over. No, I'm busy now. Him. Rich, ask him if he's your best friend. Oh, okay. Oh, just ask him if. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's hey, all we Steven, am, am I? I'm sorry, Stephen. Am I? I told them that you're not my best friend, but am I your best friend? Absolutely. That's what I was saying. There's oh, the good. answer. Yes. No, we, you no. know, I mean, we we work hard for definite answers here in the yeah. <laughs> yeah, you really do. Rich, where did wow. you go? Rich, where did you go when Stephen came on camera? Where were you? Uh, it was over. Um, there's another door here that I went in. Now, what Rich, you. Well, what? I'm, Wado, go ahead. Ask your question. What were you doing over there behind that other door? I was reading uh, my a text message from a doctor. Fuck. <laughs> now, Rich, I have a question. It's 2020 yeah. right now. Uh, a lot of 
a lot of stuff has changed this year. Where yep. do you think Max from Celeste and Jesse Forever is? Has he found uh, his Celeste and uh, or Jesse? I don't, I don't know. That's a really that's a really good question. And to be a hundred percent honest, it's not something I've considered at all. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know. I I, I, I guess I guess he's um, he's de- he's married and and happy. That's and, great. Never thought about that night again. Okay. You, you want to hear something weird? Yeah. <laughs> Watto once genuinely ended a relationship because of that movie. <laughs> what happened? Watto went to see that movie by himself and then was like, oh, weird. I think if I wasn't dating the person I was dating right now, I would never have any impulse to speak to them ever again. The only thing we have in common is that we're dating. <laughs> and it sent him on an existential tailspin. Wow. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that movie, could, it does, it, it forces some questions. Yeah. It really did, yes. Yeah, yeah so that was, uh, you know, it turned out that, uh, you know, it was not really uh, Watto and Carol forever. <laughs> Right. Carol Channing. I was I was dating Carol Channing. Oh, oh my God! Wow. You had nothing in common with her except that you were dating. Nothing. I thought the showbiz thing was enough of a tie. But we have very right. different approaches. Right. I'm more right. business oriented. Yeah. Uh, wow, that is truly that's a good story, Lotto. Thank you. Hang on, I do want to. Now we might have an issue here. Why is that? Uh, we have an issue, guys. This is a problem. What is the problem? What's the matter? Hang on. Oh, let me let me refresh this. What's the problem? Do you go to self? It no. puts self system under self. Nope. Why is it there? I don't know. It says um, Stephen Charleston. <laughs> Someone's got to edit. Someone needs to fix this. I don't care who does it. Someone needs to, though. Wow, you don't care who does it? I don't care who does it. I don't can care. I, can, what I, if it, can I? Patrick, what if it's those guys that tried to kidnap the governor? Let's have some yeah. standards. You want them to do it? You're telling them to do it. You're dog whistling. No. For them no. to do it. I want someone good. I want someone who likes our show. Yeah. I want someone... We have lots of good fans who are willing to edit this. I'm not willing to just let anybody no. edit our IMDb. It, it, it should no, be someone good like that I, senator that got kidnapped. It's my Richard. IMDb. <laughs> yes. it's, not your it's, our, it's all belongs it's to ours. Our. It's, it's, our. our. it's the internet. It's the internet. Right. Right. Patrick, oh. have some standards. <laughs> You do a great job on this show, and then all of a sudden you let quality control go out the window. That's, Someone was uh, that napping is, at the wheel. That is truly infuriating. <laughs> it ought to be. It I, is. All she, wanted, all she wanted was for people to wear masks and yes. follow some basic safety instructions. Infuriating. I think, I think we've gone down a uh, – yeah. taking a hard left. but Look at yeah. Patrick. I don't think it's a hard left. I think it's a moderate stance. That, you know, there's no need. There's no need to resort to that kind of behavior. I, I really. I think you could. I think you could be against this across the political spectrum. They were in the wrong. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. <laughs> Rich, what? Tell me about Noah on Grey's Anatomy. I've, I, I, I don't know where. Is Noah here with us tonight? Could we speak to Noah for a moment? No. no, That's how we get to 69. No, I've done what I can to get to 69. (laughs) I I will say this. What I remember about that Grey's Anatomy. uh, Sorry, I have heartburn. uh, Oh, no, the pickles. I don't know why Stephen should have the heartburn. Stephen ate the pickles. But I have... uh, Anyway, um, I, I... had to do a kissing scene on that show with um, a woman uh, who's on another show right now. Her name is Angelique Cabre. And, and uh, Angelique, uh, what I remember specifically <laughs> was we had to hold the kiss while the camera went past us and down a hall to pick up another scene. Wow. And as we were kissing, I remember Angelique saying, are they done? Is it done yet? <laughs> is the camera gone? And I was like, I don't, I don't know. And then finally, she said, "They're done." And 
<laughs> walked the other way. I was just like, you're willing, you hate this so much, wow. <laughs> this moment, that you are willing to take the chance that we're not done. Yeah. Yeah. To ask me with your lips on mine in what is clearly her wow. Uh, uh yeah. Potentially blow the take in the hope that it's the last the take she'll ever have to do. <laughs> with me, yes, yes, yes. It's what I think about whenever someone says Grey's Anatomy. I think of the feeling in me in that moment. Yes. Oh. Wow. So, I mean, those are two good stories for for two credits that we just pulled out of the blue. Oh, yeah. Two pretty good stories. <laughs> I mean, let's let's talk about LBJ. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, um, what do you want Wait, to talk Pierre about? Pierre Salinger. I'll tell you this: um, I uh, Woody Harrelson, who played LBJ in that movie, mm -hmm. uh, is a. I knew that he was a backgammon player, mm -hmm. and I like playing backgammon. And um, I had a friend on. Uh, Mad Men, with whom I would play uh, backgammon all the time. We'd play for, I don't know if you know backgammon, but it, it you play by the point. So mm, if you're yeah. betting, you play like 50 cents a point or a buck a point. And a game can still get pretty expensive at only a buck a point. It can end up, if you're really going back and forth, it could be a $64 game by the end. Mm -hmm. um, Woody, uh, I I said, hey, I heard you play backgammon. That's what it looks well, like. That's backgammon. Patrick, thank <laughs> that's you backgammon. So much. <laughs> yeah, thank People you for that. Lost. that the game that's been around for it for three thousand years. Yeah. Uh, yes. I'm glad no, that we got we, that reference. The photo. screen gets minimized, and I went, maybe Patrick has a picture of you and Woody Harrelson in the that's movie what, together. That's sort but of what no. I figured, but no, uh, it was no, that. A, a necessary visual signifier of backgammon. <laughs> So, Patrick, I, I hope this is the beginning of a trend where anytime a noun is uttered, <laughs> you will have a picture ready. I think I could really spice up the show. George, I want to hear this story. I do too. I don't want to look at pictures of fucking back then. I want to hear the story. <laughs> so I asked, I said, hey, Woody, I heard that you, um, you play back. Now I had to sort of get up the guts to talk to, you know, it's a big ensemble movie. He's playing LBJ. I'm in in the cabinet basically that was left over from Kennedy. And, mm -hmm. you know, so we have, we have very few scenes together, but I sort of wanted to get up the guy. So let's you play backgammon. He said, Oh yeah, I play backgammon. Let's, let's play at lunch. I said, great. You say, you got a board. I said, I brought a board. I have a board. Cause I had been playing with a couple of the other cast members. We had found a new Orleans board game or a, uh, a backgammon night. We played backgammon and I'm not very good at backgammon. I just thought it'd be fun. Anyway, we went to his trailer and uh, you have to take off your shoes. His trailer travels with him. It's a, it's a, uh, like an RV that he's sort of turned into. He takes it wherever he's shooting. In, if he's in the continent, it, it goes with him. Uh, but there are rules. Uh, there's no meat allowed in the trailer. There's no uh, shoes allowed in the trailer, you know, things like that. So I took off my shoes. We sat on his couch. His wife was making lunch and she was making a salad. She offered me some salad. I said, yes, please. So, so I sat in the trailer. It was me and Woody and his wife chatting, and Woody is in full LBJ makeup. Patrick, this is an image you that might be worth finding because it is, yeah, it is quite I a mean, sight. Woody check in the it out uh, right here. yeah, yeah, Woody in the makeup there. Uh, the, oh, oh. Right right there, there. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't hoping for you to <laughs> zoom in on. I was thinking, I was talking about Woody's. Uh, oh Woody's. yeah, yeah, yeah. But thank you for that. that there we go. <laughs> So Woody sitting looking like that, me looking like I did in that other uh, shot there, sitting across from each other on a, a bench, eating salads barefoot with a backgammon board between us and playing for Woody's minimum stakes, which was $20 a point. <laughs> um, and again, the game can quickly get to where you're playing for up to, you know, sometimes 64 or 128 times what you bet. So I, I said to Woody, uh, 20 bucks a point is a lot for me. And he said, well, it's, you know, I usually pay something more than 20. And I said, right, but you, to be fair, you make a lot more money than I do. Yeah. And he said, all right, well, let's do 20. I said, okay. And we played, and uh, I lost over the course of three games, something like 120 bucks in Ooh. short order. What a relief. He happily took it, yeah. <laughs> which is fine, as he should. He should. I, we yeah. gamble. He absolutely should take it. Yeah, yeah. I consider it still $120 that I spent to sit with him dressed as LBJ yes. uh, in bare feet playing backgammon. It was it worth was every penny, but it, it was, was a tax on the story. It was a tax on the, it was a story tax. Yes. Yes. There you go. Uh, 
What are those? There you That's go. him saying, you give me my money. $120, please. Yeah. It's, the, the stack should be this big, and I want to just place it between my fingers. <laughs> I can't believe you have a picture of the exact moment he was that asking was it. for his money. Yeah, That's, someone was there. I don't know. Who took yeah. it. No, you took, obviously, you took, that, you took that picture. That's right. Well, it was his wife because he's looking at me. I'm just over here off camera. So. Uh, yeah. The Air Force on the yeah. RV. That's right. I will say I understand what your point for what that story was, but I found it completely unrelatable. This, the know. stakes were too small. It was too yeah. small. God, and, and it's like it's. Just, I lost a penny, and uh, I spent all week crying about it. <laughs> Not even that. It's like, oh, I dropped a penny, and a little bit chipped off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> but again. Yeah. <laughs> it's all relative. It's all relative. Sure. I, I mean, it'd be like Ooh, you losing. That'd be, a, a, that'd be a good tagline for uh, Star Wars. It's all it's relative. relative. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. When was the last time you saw a $20 bill, George? <laughs> I've seen $20 bills. When was the last time you had one in your pocket, George? Oh, God. I don't have any money in my pockets. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you keep it, George? In the cloud. <laughs> oh, my. Rich, Rich, I have, I have a really, it should be a simple question for you. Okay. Who is Mr. Stash? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's a simple guy. Yeah. Who uh, wanted uh, nothing more in life than to have a mustache. <laughs> and so he grew one and we we saw what, what befell him because of it. Great. Great. Oh, you have a Mrs. Stash too. Well, Mrs. Stash was Amy Ryan. She, she, we ended up uh, finding each other in that. Wow! Wow! Yes. My son, Patrick, when yes. he was a little baby, played Baby Stash. In not, the, not, not Patrick. Patrick. Not, different, Patrick. different Patrick. Different okay. Patrick. Wow! I was, I was like, wow, you're pulling an empire. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because you would cut be off, my father, Patrick. Cut would, off, uh, Patrick, cut off your hand. Cut off your hand. Oh, way to commit. Not your arm. That would be so stupid. <laughs> They're not best friends fighting. They're father and son. Best friends fighting, cut off arm. Father and son, cut off hand. What's the poster? You, uh, what's the frame poster on the wall there, Rich? That is uh, one of my favorite movies is Creep Show. Ooh. Oh, um, yeah. This is an Italian uh, Creep Show poster that a friend of mine gave me. And behind the computer here, I have the only one sheet I've ever purchased, which Whoa. is an original uh, Creep Show. Creepshow. Uh, one I like that movie. Uh, That's the movie that probably got me into horror movies was Creepshow. Right. Aren't they doing a creep show on Shutter right now? They are. Yeah, it's a, a creep show series. They're shooting season two right now. I, I oh. um, have been chasing uh, something. I said I would play a dead body on that show. If yeah. I, I definitely want to do that show. Yeah, yes. We like to make dreams come true here on the George Lucas talk show. Make yeah. True. Why don't we do a little self tape for Creep Show? Why don't we put together a little? And you can even be a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You like to do costumes. It doesn't have to be on IMDb. We're sure. just saying, let's show them some of your your range. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> or, uh, or or whatever. Uh, listen, I'll do whatever you guys want. Obviously. I don't know. We don't even know what they're doing at this point. <laughs> I'll know from the shelf. I don't know how we're going to keep this thing going. Uh, Rich, who did you work with in Devil Wears Prada? I worked with Anne Hathaway, yeah. uh, Tracy Toms, and Adrian Grenier. The big three. Uh, yeah, those were who the people with whom my scenes happened. However, I did get to... Uh, so Devil Wears Prada is my first job job. You know, I had done commercials. Mm -hmm. I was living in New York. Um, I did my grad school showcase on July 25th, 2004. On July 25th, 2005, I had the callback for Devil Wears Prada and, and, and was told that I had gotten it. And oh, they told me in the room that I got it, but then the casting person was like, as she walked me to the elevator, she said, don't believe, they say that sometimes in the room, they have to go through the studio, they have to do all this. George, have, you know. They have to, yeah, we, never, never tell them before the fireworks, wait till after the fireworks. Right. So, so then it, that August, I got married in Minnesota, uh, and on my honeymoon, 
we got a note from the people at the the place where we were staying. They said, you need to go call your manager. We didn't have, it was 2004. So our phones didn't work up there, whatever phones we had. And I, so I had to go to a pay phone with my wife and call my manager. And they said I had gotten the movie Devil Wars Friday. So my first job ever <clears throat> doing anything, we had two re table reads for it. And at the second table read, uh, Stanley Tucci couldn't be there. And so they asked me if I would read Stanley Tucci's part at the table read. So I sat across the table at my second table read ever uh, that wasn't for a play in school or something and and uh, read uh, with Meryl Streep. And it was the greatest, uh, just the greatest. Just I, wow. I have been chasing that since. It was amazing. Yeah. Oh. Rich, I have a big question for you. Yes. Uh, because, as you said, your scenes were primarily with uh, uh, Tracy Toms, Grenier, Hathaway. Yeah, that's what you have to say. The big three. That's all you have yeah. to say. The big three. The big three in the yeah. movie. Uh, but, but obviously, if you're working on a film, you know, on set, in the trailers, uh, you meet uh, some of the other people who you don't share scenes with, but are in the cast. Mm -hmm. Did you ever get to meet the Jarlsberg? A Jarlsberg? Yes, Adrian Grenier's character buys Jarlsberg cheese <laughs> and makes fruity sandwiches with Jarlsberg and then shames Anne Hathaway if she stayed so late at work that she right. missed out on the Jarlsberg. I remember that now. Uh, I did not get to meet any of the Jarlsberg. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> no. No. No, that's fair. I, I just had to ask. I had to ask. No, I understand. Of course have, you did. We have to do our due diligence. Yes, I understand. <laughs> yeah. uh, how often do people tweet you about The Office? Because I feel like The Office is perpetually the most popular thing in the world for no, a lot of people. Of all time, apparently. I yeah. Still, I, still, I still do get uh, tweets about it. My uh, favorite memory of, of someone talking to me about The Office was when my daughter was just a baby. She's now almost 13, but she was a little baby. And I was carrying her onto a layover flight. We were flying home from Columbus. We were laid over in Cincinnati. And I was walking onto the plane with my baby. And a guy leaned into the aisle and he said, hey, hey, don't fuck with Pam and Jim. <laughs> and uh, this is when only one of my episodes had aired. It had, it had been clear we were sort of flirtatious, but yeah. not where it was going to go. And I was like, ah, and he did not smile. He wasn't like, just kidding. <laughs> Love the show. None of that. It was like, don't fuck with Pam and Jim. Whoa. And uh, it was terrifying. Whoa. So I, I do know that people take that show very, very seriously. And to be fair to that guy, I guess it's not, a, still doesn't make it fair, but we were coming off, you know, this was the beginning of season five of The Office. Season four yeah. of The Office was the big. Uh, Jim, the John Krasinski and Rashida Jones thing mm -hmm. that had happened, and the audience was just sick of yes. Pam and Jim having strife. Right? Yeah. And so I think that, and and to be fair, when when that show happened, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> uh, when I got that job, I was told it was going to be a longer arc. I was told it was going to be more like what happened with Rashida. Okay. It was going to be a several episodes. Um, and in fact, I shot an episode that never aired because when the first episode aired, it aired before I had shot my third episode. Um, oh, this is how you, that's how you make, that's how you tell a story. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So, but the audience response to my appearance and Pam's clear like flirtation with my character was so uh, vitriolic, was so angry uh, that they immediately changed course. Wow. I had a speech that I was to give in what was going to be my third episode. They cut my appearance from the second episode entirely and made it a phone call with Pam that she's out with friends. But there was a whole thing where I drew a picture of her and we had this very clear flirting thing happening at a tiki bar in North Hollywood where we shot it. Um, yeah. And that's all gone. I'd love to see it, but it's gone. And then uh, the third episode, uh, Stephen Merchant was directing it. His first episode ever mm -hmm. directing. That's um, cool. And, well, um, <laughs> I had been given this speech where I profess my love to Pam, where, where Alex professes his love to Pam. And they, they called and they said, we're changing it. This is going to be your last episode. You're going to just tell her that she should stay in New York. And it's not about love. You're not in love with her. It's just art. 
Now, I uh, ha maybe didn't have the chops. Maybe I still don't have the chops to make that kind of a U-turn when all my interactions with this, you know, character had been sort of, um, I was, they were loving, they, I was interested in her, quote unquote. Um, then uh, to, to have to turn on a dime and deliver this speech that's supposed to be effectively devoid of any sort of emotion. I, it was meant to just be, don't, don't give up your life for, for him. You, you have to stay in New York and chase your art. I was, you know, now I think I could maybe figure out how to be in love with art so that sure. I could tell her that. But in the moment, Stephen Merchant kept, he was like, cut, cut. I don't know why you can't get this. You're not in love with her. And I was like, I know, I, I know I'm trying not, I didn't know that I was. And here's the other, uh, to add to the awkwardness. I don't know if you remember that episode, but in that episode, Jim and Pam have Bluetooth headphones that they're always yeah. talking to each other. Yeah. So John Krasinski is under the table where we're filming. So he can say his lines to Jenna Fisher. Uh, and John is sort of lovingly pats my shoe after I've just been sort of <laughs> torn down by Stephen Merchant. It was a very kind gesture that I've always yeah. wanted. But it was, um, it was not uh, the best day of filming. I did, I have run into Stephen Merchant since, and uh, we, we, we talked, he said, I, I, it's fine, you were fine, you were fine. I was like, oh, great, sorry <laughs> that I, it was, it's all good now. But wow. yeah. they, they should have, the way they should have handled it, they should have, that guy that approached you on the street, they should have flown him in yeah. and had him stand on the set. Yeah. That would have worked. You know, just worked. glowering at you like if you break up, Jim and Pam. Yeah, I don't will. fuck with Pam and Jim. But yeah. like, I mean, Rich, you're you're being hard on yourself and saying like, well, I just didn't have the chops to figure out how to translate this to that. It is this weird fucking thing about TV as a medium. This is why Watto works in features. <laughs> I understand. I don't blame you. Because you, you can, get, like, oh, I'm getting cast. I'm auditioning to play this. I understand that this is the function of my role. Well, and this was an hard, offer. I'm on... This was an offer. Of Go course ahead. it was. Of course, I knew it was. You said audition. I just wanted to make sure. I didn't. I didn't. I am. I have a solid track record. I know when you have auditioned and when they have offered it to you. I know. I, I figured you had. <laughs> I would never ordinarily say that, Wado. I just wanted to, to. I don't know. You seem to get a lot of joy out of telling me it was an offer. <laughs> I did. I did get a little joy out of that. I'm sorry. Okay. So I stand correct. Call <laughs> you up. It's not on a silver platter. If you don't sweat, please don't even sit up. Here it is. We're bringing the part to you. But they go, here's the function. It's you have the chemistry with her. You go in, you meet her. Everything is through the prism of, I got to sell the idea that we have some fun going on between mm -hmm. the two of us. Mm -hmm. For them to suddenly just go like, mm -hmm. everything you thought about is towards making some magic happen. With your scene partner, and now they're That's like, correct. "Oh, there's nothing here." It was a little tough. It felt a little uh, rug pulled out. I mean, it sounds like you know where they put that old script that you had, <laughs> right up on the, uh, right on the shelf, right over on the shelf. Yep. Uh, you say you say it's you say it's gone. The 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 things that the, you filmed some stuff that didn't make it in. Is that true? That's correct. And you say it's gone, but they shot. Did they shoot this on thirty-five millimeter film, or did they shoot this digitally? Uh, I have to imagine it was digital because they were always rolling. They almost never cut, so I have to imagine it's digital. And it's there. They have it. That's yeah. probably true. They Damn. have it, and even if they don't, it's just a matter of finding the right combination of billions of ones and zeros. <laughs> right, right. We can That's generate. Point. We can make it happen. It's okay. Um, we, we, we can find it. We can find it. There's still time for you to split up Jim and Pam. They've been together, <laughs> it's not they've been together long enough. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Look, if, if, if George has learned anything over time, it's the more rabid a fan base becomes, especially when it's been years since the last piece of original first content, off, when people off. are starting to study the original work and invest way too much emotion in it. Yeah. That's when you pull the rug on them. <laughs> and so right. fuck you. That's never what I intended. <laughs> Jim was supposed to get do? cut the entire time. Uh, yeah. That was always my intention. Yeah. We're going to, uh, first of all, we're going to activate the fan art squad because they can do fan art of Alex <laughs> breaking up Jim and Pam. <laughs> oh, no. And I want to make it clear. I want to make it clear in this artwork 
It's permanent. <laughs> <laughs> it's canon. You're saying this artwork is canon. It's yeah. canon. It's canon, and I want dialogue bubbles to indicate that Pam will not choose. She will not change her mind about this. Uh -huh. I'm the staying in New York. I'm going to art school it's forever. It's not a mistake. It's uh, a choice. Yeah. I can't, and, I can't really... and, and Jim, Jim should say McClunky. That's what Jim should say. He says yeah. McClunky. McClunky. I'm going to dress like Charlie Chaplin for Halloween, but everyone thinks it's Hitler, right? Didn't right. that happen? Right. I, I think don't that know. Did that happen? I think that happened maybe in your episode, maybe I'm wrong, or around that time. I don't and know. We're gonna and we're gonna and the thing is, once the fan art gets popular enough, yeah, people will start it'll people will start doing cosplay. Uh <laughs> people will uh and eventually they will have no choice. By the time we get to uh the big office reunion, which is inevitable. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, the fan uprising, the demand oh, no. for Alex just permanently split up Jim and Pam. Uh -huh. be we'll right show them. Know. We'll show them that Alex really did. Alex really did love Pam. Yeah, love that him. drawing exists somewhere. That drawing that oh, Alex that did, of Pam. That's yeah. somewhere. Someone has that. Yeah. For sure. If you right. if you have that drawing or you know someone who does, release it. <laughs> it is. It's, it's like still, three episodes after you, Rich. Oh, the Halloween, the Hitler yeah, Halloween. Yeah. Now, we did get some fan art. Rich, you're going to have to show this to Stephen, but we did get some fan art of Stephen Charleston. Oh, oh, oh what? <laughs> this is the only, this is the only ah! show where fan art arrives during the same episode wow. in which it is inspired. Wow, that, uh, that really came quickly. And the crazy thing is, it came 18 minutes ago, and I'm just getting to show it now. <laughs> <laughs> We had we were is, busy. That's yeah. great. Thank you. For I that. honestly think uh, Charleston is a great name for a, a series of some sort, and I think it would be great if that character's first appearance was on this show, and you ended up getting a series. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think that'd be great too. It's all about Stephen Charleston. Yeah, I mean, a Quibi, a Quibi's perfect. Absolutely, oh. you can watch it this way, really, this way, whatever yeah, way you want. Eat pop and landscape. You can't screen cap it. Can't screen cap no, it. No, 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 no. Watch, you gotta watch you, it in the you, app. Have you done a Quibi, Rich? Acted in one? Yes. No. Wait, what have, you, what, wait what have you done in one? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't done anything Watch. in one. I, I <laughs> you did something in a Quibi. No, I didn't do anything <laughs> Very in suspicious, one. Rich. No, perhaps Acted I emphasized. No. I may have emphasized the wrong word there. <laughs> I, I uh, have watched a Quibi series in its entirety um, be because I, uh, for 26 weeks of quarantine, mm -hmm. uh, my friend Andy and I did Travolta Tuesdays. So every oh, yeah. Tuesday we would watch a John Travolta movie oh. for, for six months. And it just ended a few weeks ago. Um, and uh, as somebody uh, so so perfectly put it on Twitter, uh, because all I would do is just tweet the name of the movie we watched. They said, mm -hmm. it's like a podcast without the podcast, which was exactly <laughs> right. It was basically that. Um, we we one week uh, did watch Die Hart, which mm -hmm. is the like Kevin Hart, John Travolta thing. We were a little frustrated that every nine minutes we had to start again because sure. we had to sort of count down to start because we weren't together. We were watching yeah. it over the internet, to, uh, you know. Uh, so we had to count it in. It got a little frustrating, but it was fun to watch. So I, uh, what I meant to say is, I've watched a Quibi. I've yeah. not been in a Quibi. Rich, right. this, I'm not trying to gotcha you, you, but I have to ask. I wonder if we're going to ask the same question. Go ahead, Wahoo. Portrait or landscape mode? <laughs> <laughs> not what you're going to ask. Not what I was going to ask. Uh, landscape the whole way. Wow. We did in the first episode. We did try the portrait thing, and we were like. Okay, it does yeah. that, I guess. But we stuck with it's landscape. almost like making content in portrait mode is fucking stupid. <laughs> no, I, I, I actually think that my buddy Steve made a movie a couple years ago, and it didn't do very well. And I think it was just because it, it really should have been uh, a Quibi, um, which is uh, BFG. Uh, the, uh, this is the my buddy made it was off the Roll Doll, and it's about. Right. A, I saw it. I saw it. Big fucking so, giant, and yeah, it, uh, it didn't mean big fucking giant, but um, I think it did. I it's fine. Why? Um, why yeah, why I really think like if it had been a quibby, people would be like, "Oh my god, he's so tall!" But he right, filmed but a then, landscape, which you know he's obviously he's a master of landscape filming, but uh, I really think it was just a few years ahead of its time. 
Patrick, you had a question. Yeah. Did you uh, subscribe or was it a free one month trial and then you canceled? I did the uh, trial and then I canceled. That's what I thought. Okay, great. This is a guy who cries over $120, Patrick. That's <laughs> that is such an insensitive. Stop it. <laughs> and it's, we, Patrick, I want to say this and I say this with all sensitivity. I hope I don't phrase this wrong. I did not create this show so we could taunt paupers. <laughs> That's not why I decided to start doing it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Rich. I'm so sorry. No, this is okay. This is okay. I'm, uh, yeah, it's okay. Popper, yeah, fine. With not expecting the use of the word popper. <laughs> it surprised me, but I'll take it. It's all relative, right? It's all relative. That's a yeah. great point. Well, Charleston. A lot like Star Wars. Yep. It's all sorry. relative. Oh, Patrick, you had a question. You had your hand up for a long time. Yeah, I asked it, George. Yeah. That was the question? Yes. You sat there on the couch, and that was you had... I thought that was something you blurted yeah. out in a moment <laughs> of, of, of thoughtless abandon. You that's sat awesome. there for five minutes, waiting, knowing that's what your question was? It was planned? Okay, oh, good. Good. all right, all right. All right. Uh, uh, Patrick, you had a question. Hey, Rich, Patrick. Uh, yeah, long time, first time, all that stuff. You bet. Uh, don't call you're, watching all of Travolta. Just you're watching all of Travolta, right? We were watching what? a lot of it. We didn't watch all of it, but we had okay. okay. Six months. What's, what's number one? And what's like, you know, I don't want, I, I'm not saying you got to you know, take a, take a big dump on some art. Cause like, oh, I'm not, no. hard. and I want to be clear. I, I made a pretty strong effort not to, to yeah. comment on the you know quality okay. of each of these from you, don't have to, you also don't have to do this. I'm no, not... no, 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 no. I, I will say that one of the performances that we talked about a lot, it's probably not one that you've seen. Mm -hmm. It's called From Paris with Love. And he is, is he bald. Off, he is bald. Yeah. He's off the wall in it. I mean, just yeah. bouncing everywhere and and sort of like says a bunch of crazy catchphrasey stuff and uh i'm mistaken in believing that travolta reprises the entire quarter pounder speech in that movie <laughs> you are it's not word for word he does okay. call it a royale it's more of a more of an homage it feels like he doesn't do the whole weird. speech but he does call it a royale with cheese it was very weird it was very weird mm -hmm. um down near the bottom uh, you know what? One that really, one that really <laughs> stuck in our craw was mm -hmm. the movie Michael, mm -hmm. uh, where he plays an angel directed by Nora Ephron. Yeah, uh, that yeah. one was a frustrating film on a I lot have, of levels. I have a question, Rich, because I, I, I saw that film a long time ago, and mm -hmm. you've seen it more recently. I saw it so you recently, yeah. Okay, yeah, a lot so of has a lot to say, I think, on it too, probably. So, uh, Fresh memory. I've only seen it the one time, but I remember being surprised by how quickly the journalists, mm -hmm. uh, upon seeing a man walk into a kitchen with angel wings, demonstrating mm -hmm. no magical powers, just having, you know, mm -hmm. realistic looking wing attachments, they start doing it in private after immediately after seeing him once with no acts, no miracles performed. They start dancing around saying, like, we just saw an angel. We just saw, an, like, they're very excited about this scoop. What do you think yeah. convinced them that they had seen a real angel enough <laughs> that as journalists, they were ready to, you know, go with this story? I actually remember it slightly differently than that. Well, it's George. been a long I, time. That's, but, but it's, it's not entirely off from what you're talking about. It, it, my memory, it was, it was less that they, they sort of were like, we just saw an angel. They were very uh, sort of underwhelmed by mm -hmm. the fact that they just saw a fucking angel on mm -hmm. earth. And right. um, it is, I do seem to recall that his powers are slightly more proved. I mean, he does have the wings, mm -hmm. but it becomes right. pretty clear that I think they, the, they're sure it's an angel. It's made, it is made sure that, that it's an angel pretty quickly. How? But, but I, I, can't, I, I honestly don't remember the exact thing. There was something, <laughs> Uh, Wado, do you know, remember Wado, do you remember why they why they are convinced that he's a real angel, not someone dressed up like an angel? 
it is the wings, but there's something else too. Well, what's a uh, uh, Stapleton from All in the Family is the yeah, woman that he's living with. She and is. Doesn't he do some fucking trick with her breakfast or something? They're, she's making breakfast for them, and he does something magical. I think I think he performed scared. some sort of a miracle. If I he if I recall some correctly, now breakfast adjacent miracle as I remember. <laughs> yes, and it's it's just frustrating that they are so. It's not like we just saw an angel. It's <laughs> William Hurt and Andy McDowell who is at a career low in this <laughs> performance. You know like, like my song? Not not not, uh, not in this one. Um, and then the, I can't remember who the other guy that's with them is. I think he's since passed away. But anyway, the three of them are Wait, sort of. Like, isn't it Murphy Murphy Brown's house painter? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. It was yeah. rough yeah. life. That guy had a rough rough go of it. Yeah, we can they, talk about that. Patrick, Patrick, why are you smiling from ear to ear while you say that? <laughs> no, well, did, Patrick, did Ennio Morricone die again? I'm not. <laughs> Rich. Pat Patrick burst into the live stream with what what we assumed looked like he had the greatest news in the world. <laughs> You're doing from ear to ear, and he said, "You guys, guess what happened?" And we thought, "Oh, something wonderful, something to look <laughs> a big guest, some some great news for 2020." Mm -hmm. And he said, "And Morricone died." Jesus, <laughs> good God, Patrick, Rich. It was like a nine, no, it was more than that. It was probably like a 12 hour live stream. It was like three sure. in the morning. It was one of those that just, you know, just it came out. I didn't know that death could still happen. He and was laughing and rubbing his hands together as he said it. Like let's, move past, let's move past Robert Pastorelli's rough life and we'll keep talking. Sure. I, I was just going to say that the three of them seem sort of uh, very matter of fact. It's like, well, so what do we do yeah. about this angel? We should, uh, yeah. we should try and get him to go back. To the paper with it, and you're just like, what the fuck? It's a fuck. You should be screaming. You should be crying. You should be bawling. You've just also, seen God. You have also, just seen God. Also, like all three of them, traffic and bullshit. Like yes, Pastorelli and Hart like make up fake bullshit stories yeah. for this tabloid. They stage photos and right. shit. And Andy McDowell is a dog trainer who is. Posing as an angel expert, like She's all three of them are constantly lying in every aspect yeah. of their life. And they bring and their dog. dog. They bring a dog. Yeah. There's a whole. It's a. It's a real bad movie. Just want to say. Right. I just want to say, and I can't believe I'm only finding this out now. But Robert Pastorelli and I uh, are part of the same trilogy. He played Vinny in Beverly Hills Cop Two, and I was, of course, in Part Three as an annoyed customer waiting in line for a, a roller coaster. Roller coaster? Yeah, you heard it. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> uh, George, do you want to hang on one sec? Should, do you want to tell Rich your line? I'll pull up a picture. It, explain you what happens yeah. in your. All right, so it, I'm waiting in line. a customer here with us right now. Can we talk to him? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Well, I know where I am. Uh, and I'm with a lady friend. And. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, Axel Foley, the Beverly yep. Hills cop of the title of those films, uh, he, cuts, he cuts in line, <laughs> like, do, 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 do. just cuts in line. And I say, hey. <laughs> and then he, he gets to go on the roller coaster. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, it's a classic. Yeah. yeah, three. Yeah, Beverly Hills Cop three. That's the classic. That's the big. <laughs> well, that's, that's, the, the, that's the end of the trilogy. That's where it yeah. all. It, it was all building to this. Finally, yeah. they got all that pesky comedy, all those darn jokes out of the Beverly Hills Cop franchise. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, well, you know, uh, Rich, we're, we've actually we're we're closing in on. Um, you know, we used to, we started off when we were, we used to do these shows at UCB. Mm -hmm. uh, Wado and I, Wado and I both took uh, classes uh, mm -hmm. years back. Uh, and then we started doing the shows. Under yeah. Uh, I had, I had one one with uh, Kevin Hines and two one with Will Hines. And oh, wow. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, just cause I wanted to get the full 
perspective. Heinz, you know? yes, I understand. The full Heinz perspective. That's um, right. And um, and then uh, we did our show for many years there. And then this year, of course, the theater uh, in New York shut down because of the pandemic, and we decided to start doing these live streams. And for a while, we were doing these very long. We started off with this thirty-hour. Um, marathon for charity where we watched all of the star wars movies and yes. raised money and everything and then we started doing a series of these longer watchathons. and at a certain point we thought you know what let's do some short shows and we'll do it every week and we'll do short little shows that aren't you know tiny little shows and we said well what's quibbies. a good format they're like they're like quibbies yeah right, right and so our format is what we call for our short shows is what we call the irishman plus and we just aim to be one minute longer than Marty Scorsese's The Irishman. Yes. And, and then we'll take a ball and go home. All we need yeah. is one minute on Marty. Yeah. Just to show him, like, your movie's not so long. Our short shows are a little bit longer than right. uh, what, right. what we did. Don't go Don't go thinking you made a real long movie because you're we actually do doing it. A, you're doing him a favor yeah. in a way because a lot of people right, say, because, oh, I don't want to sit and watch that whole movie. You go, yeah. actually, uh, sure. I mean, it's not even as long as like the George Lucas talk show, for example. No, one of the short episodes. That's one of the great act. That's one of the great actually. I want people to start doing that one in casual <laughs> <the> conversation. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and so uh, I'm I'm proud to announce that I believe you you've been here for. We just crossed the uh, we crossed the the mark. We've now uh, um, we've we've now achieved the Irishman Plus. Because uh, we're at three twenty nine and twenty seven, so we've done it, right? That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh. And the thing, Rich, is what we often discover about ourselves when we hit that Irishman plus is sometimes it feels good to be black. get to see you again wow. tonight, Stephen. Yeah, well, I just was, I came back in. <laughs> that explains it. Yep. <laughs> that sums it up pretty well. Yeah. You are a sight for sore eyes, let me tell you. Well, 
Couldn't agree more. <laughs> oh boy. Um, what have you been up to? Have you been watching the show? Yep. Yeah, what have you been doing? Been just over there watching the show. That's great. It's a shame. Why doesn't Rich let you be a part of it more? It feels like he's like. That's what a good question. Yeah. Uh, great question. I don't know. Like, <laughs> uh, but I'm here now, so. That's great. We got you here. Have yeah. you seen Celeste and Jesse forever, Stephen? Oh, tons. Yeah. What's your favorite scene? Well, the one where they they're on a date, and it's um, Celeste, and yeah. uh, uh, the character of, of Max, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and he's that's who uh, Rich plays. Yeah, and they're talking, and then Andy Samberg comes over, and he talks to them as well. It's yeah. wonderful. The titular Jesse. That's right. <laughs> yep. Now, Stephen, I heard you met Rich outside of a premiere. It was a new girl premiere. Yeah, he bummed a cigarette from me. From the cigarette. You mm -hmm. live in you live in or you lived in Hollywood before you moved in uh, with Rich. I sort of bopped around. Okay. Yeah, it's why it's nice to have a sort of a soft place to land now. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite board game? Uh, well, uh, what what's your favorite thing uh, to breathe? <laughs> uh, air. Well, right, but but I was asking more like, uh, duh. Um, oh. Patrick, he's answered your question. Okay. George, do you Steven. have any questions for Stephen? Yeah. No, I don't have any questions for Stephen. Everything about him is self-evident. He yeah. tells his own story. Thank you. We feel like you've really been popping this episode. We were talking earlier about how we feel like you really got potential to carry your own series. Thank you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. No, I know. I mean, I know you said that because I was watching it, but um, but you really mean it? Absolutely. Yes. Thank no. you. Yes. And got it. Now, Stephen, you're here, and guess what? I have a big update for you, Stephen. What's that? I got another piece of Stephen fan art. Wait a minute. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. look at that. That is, that's me. That's Who, you. Would take a photo while I was eating those pickles. Yeah. In Charleston. Here's, wow. what I think, here's what I think about Stephen Charleston. Crudely D. And this is, I think, I think this is the, the, the tagline for, for your series. Mm -hmm. Stephen Charleston, he's a mystery who solves himself. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think it could be, it's very true. I want to write it down. Okay. Uh, now, Stephen, you weren't here for this, but here's another piece of fan art from Bring the Noise. Uh, oh. so you got wild. You got wild. And there is a third piece. Of, this won't make any sense to you, Stephen, but there is a third piece of fan art. I do want to, well, I mean, maybe it will because you live with Rich. Uh-huh. Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the old McClunky. McClunky. No, I know because I was paying attention earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so great. I yeah. mean, I think it says a lot about Alex uh, that he was on the Maid of the Mist boat with Jim yes. and Pam. It yeah. was, it was a weird. I thought it was an odd choice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, the, the oh, wait, creator. What is, what is this? Oh no, it's backwards. Stephen Steven Charles. Charles oh no, that's great. That's a great mystery. No, yeah, turn, 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 turn. Turn. He's a mystery that solves itself. Yeah. yeah. Now, hang on. This is making me rethink this I, whole... I wrote it down on an envelope of a birthday card that my <laughs> in-laws, or Rich's in-laws, bought when they were here once, but they forgot it in my office. And so I wrote it on that envelope. Wait, Wait so it's like not the card that was given to you. It was a card that they bought to send someone else and yeah, they forgot to send it's it? it's not signed. It's just here. Right here. I mean, it's very nice of you that you've let Rich use your office all night. Uh, well, it's his office, but I just live here. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. I get it. Wow. Wow. Well, guys, we have to go. <laughs> Steven, it's been so good seeing you. We should say goodbye to Rich, though. I feel bad if he would just leave, you know? Well, I think he's fine. Yeah. Or do you want him to... <laughs> Well, I, I'm not no, going to speak well unless no, I say goodbye to his oh, face. Don't him. <laughs> it's really right. I mean, it's going to feel I weird. Would, we don't, I would feel weird. It'd be it's, disrespectful. It would be rude. Hey, 
Hey, Rich. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. They want to say goodbye. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, give me one sec. I just got to put this down. What, what is you, Rich, what are you carrying? Oh. He's got the answer. Stephen Charleston <laughs> just asked him. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Did you hear him? He answered, but someone was talking. Patrick! Patrick. Oh, he never repeats himself. No, that's right, Stephen. You know better than anyone. I never repeat myself. Wow. Hey, guys. Hello. Just back Hi, Rich. Back Rich. Yep. Rich. Yeah, no, I, I was going to say, it's. It, thank you so much for coming on. We really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. This was a, an absolute pleasure, and I, I look forward to doing it again next week. Oh, can't wait and every week. week. And every week, yes. And every week, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you, thank you so much, Rich. Uh, I, 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 know that we we got you a few times, and this isn't yeah. a gotcha show, but, but you, you know, get got. I have been. I usually get got on a more regular basis than I have been during this entire quarantine. So <laughs> we had to catch I, it up, saving up for a moment like tonight. So All right, now's the time. Well, thank you. Rich. Show, show, show you. Show your kids the Star Wars films; they'll love them. I, I will. I, I, I absolutely, absolutely will. You're paying for them. You might as well. Yeah. They're they're uh, essentially free now that we're paying for them. Mm -hmm. They're free. Yeah. Free. All right. Well, thank you so much. It was so nice to see you, Rich. Thank you, guys. Likewise. You're Thanks for time. having me. All right. We'll see ya. Okay. Bye. Bye. -bye. Thirty million dollars. Hey guys. Hey guys. Guys. Wait, hang on. I'm looking in the I'm looking in the uh, uh, waiting room right now, and I have someone that I want to bring in really quick. I don't know how long they want to stay for. Hi. What? What? Stephen Charleston. What's happening? Hey, hey Stephen. So what are you doing? How are those Charleston, Steve? Do we have the what? bumper? For, do we have the bumper for Charleston shoes? Oh yes, we do. Hang on, Stephen. Don't chew anymore. No, stop. Stop. Charleston Chew, I believe in you. Charleston Chew's, he's got nothing to lose. Ooh. Okay, put it back in your mouth quickly. Chew it. <laughs> oh, that's a good chew, that's a good chew, Stephen. Close. That was really that was a really nice bumper. Yeah. Right. Can we see it again? That's the first time I've seen it. I actually see it once that. more too. Yeah. Charleston Chew. I believe in you. Charleston Chew's he's got nothing to lose. <laughs> it's a good yeah. bumper. It's a good Great. Really good. Great. Uh, really good. Steven, we're almost, uh, we're getting close to $5,000 raised, Steven. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, but we need, we're at 4782 is where we are at right now. Uh, you what? What did you say? What are you at? $4,782. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're knocking on the door of five grand. Yeah. Knocking on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Um, we're getting there. We're getting there. George is very cold, Stephen. Oh, I see. Crazy. Yeah, I can tell because he's um, he's got blankets on. Yeah. That's the giveaway. That's the yeah. Hint. That was that was the hint. My that's my tell. Mm -hmm. so, I can, so I can never play poker in the freezing cold. <laughs> I'm realizing no, no. that bundled up cold George Lucas is starting to look a lot like firebrand graphic novelist Alan Moore. <laughs> <laughs> I won't even. Am I, wrong? I, won't even, I won't even watch the HBO series. <laughs> wow, that was really good. Oh right. gosh. <laughs> um, how how is your how is your week been, Stephen? Since we saw you, I have newfound fame. <laughs> what? From your from this show, I've never. I never thought I'd have a someone has a Twitter handle that's my name. Yeah. And yeah. I have a, a bumper. Have you guys seen my new bumper? Oh no, let's watch it. Yeah, I we watch it. It's great. Charleston Chew. I believe in you. Charleston Chew's he's got nothing to lose. <laughs> Thank you.
Do you? It's really good. Really good. Is, is I like that, that like ending. Startup music of Windows ninety five. <laughs> it sounds. It does sound <laughs> an awful lot like the startup music from Windows ninety five. It sounds like it. It has that character. Um, it is smooth AF. By Rich. whoever typed that. These are very spicy pickles. Rich. I mean, I think I mentioned. Yep. You know oh, why, Stephen? Yeah. Yeah, Sorry. George. Sorry. Wait, wait, George, you want to talk to Rich? I mean, I know people. Yeah, Rich, I want to talk to Rich. Let me see. Let me see if I can get him. Yeah, see if Rich is there. Shit, um, Rich. It's okay. Yeah, I thought I was. I thought I was not going to do this one. I know, but George wants to talk. He's freezing. Okay, one sec. One sec, guys. I'll go get him. George, I got to talk to you. It's very rude of you. We all know that Rich <laughs> and Stephen live in the same house. But it's very rude of you while Stephen is on screen to just say Rich. It makes him right. feel like Wado, he's less Wado. 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 Can I tell you a secret? What? <laughs> Patrick, this is just me and Watto. It's not yeah, okay. Sure. Right. Leave. Right. Leave. I'm one rude dude. <laughs> Hey, remember how we have to do like four more hours of this? You got, yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, hey, hey guys. nice to see you. Hey, what's hey, welcome back. Thank you. Oh, this is great that you're here because now someone can add this to yourself under IMDb. Oh no, now you're up to yeah. seventy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That my IMDb took oh, a oh, no, through the I'm roof. Sorry. But isn't isn't it if it's another episode of the same series, it won't up the number? I think it but will also, just count. Also, if he goes as self for this one, it'll go under self. Exactly. So we're fine. Yeah, uh, we're covered either way. Yeah. Rich, yeah. Are, you a, are you a Rolling Stones fan, Rich? Uh, a Rolling Stones fan? Yeah, you like the Rolling Stones? I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a dilettante when it comes to the Rolling Stones. I like a, you know, I like a couple of the like songs. The, you, like the a rainbow. you like the singles? Yeah. yeah. Well, we played a bumper before for your friend Steven. Or, oh. And it had the Windows 95 music in there do you want really to do you want i'd to love see? to see it I, I didn't know there was a bumper yeah, yeah. Just in chew, i believe in you justin choose he's got nothing to lose <laughs> uh right at the end there is that um the music that's playing is very familiar yeah. yeah, well, it's the Windows ninety five startup music. Oh, okay. and part of part of uh, I think it was the Windows ninety five campaign was launched using the Rolling Stones "Start Me Up." Stop me up, never stop. If you stop me up, if you stop me up, never stop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You make a dull man cry. And that's pain. And that's pain. Start me up the first time. Oh, 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 singing, you make a dead man come? Yeah. Um, my first film credit, if you go to my IMDb, my first credit, I was a, I was a camera person on the uh, documentary Gimme Shelter. <laughs> Is that right? That's right. Yeah. That I, right. Was at, I was at Altamont. And I ran out of film. My camera jammed after I shot like 100 feet of film. So anytime you hear a Rolling Stones song, think of me. Or anytime someone is senselessly murdered at a concert or a rally, mm -hmm. you can think of me. Think of you. <laughs> I would think that would be something you wouldn't you wouldn't want us to think of you for. There are so many things you've done. Don't blame me, but think of me. I think Oh. So, okay, but I, I'm just worried well, about guilt by association. No, I'm not guilty. All I am guilty of is unsuccessfully filming part of a Rolling Stones documentary. <laughs> right. right. Not, I'm not guilty of murder. <laughs> right. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear it. Did you see the murder, George? I saw some stuff happening. I don't think I saw the murder. <laughs> you, I mean, you, I saw, the you film saw some shit. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen that movie, Rich? No. It's a good movie. Yeah. It sounds like, great. I'm just saying, if you like George Lucas movies, why not watch <laughs> The Shelter? Also, if you, you're ever in one of those pickles where you're like, Ugh, can't decide if I want to watch like 
a verite concert documentary or snuff film. Gimme Shelter is a good two birds with one stone. It's, it's yeah. kind of got a foot in both worlds. Yeah. yeah, it's like a it's like a kill kill one concert goer with one movie. <laughs> it is like that. Yeah. yeah. See, George, uh, are you you seem like you're just uh, really cold or well, something? I was, was going to ask because Rich, I'm assuming you're in Los Angeles right now. I am in Los Angeles. Yeah. What, yeah. What's the weather like? Because George is up in Marin County. Oh, it's been pretty warm. Uh, today, yeah. it, it got right up to the 90s, but the last few days have been well into the 90s. George, George keeps on complaining about how cold it is in Marin County, and it's like, from the way he's reacting, you'd, you'd think he was somewhere like Missouri on a porch or something. <laughs> yeah. Right. I, I think you're confused. I think you're confused, Rich, because we're watching, <laughs> we're watching Muppets Tonight, which was made in the mid-90s, and I think you're confusing when this show was made with what the temperature is. Um, is, that get, what, is that what's going on? Is that what's I, going on, Rich? It, it's fairly he unlikely. Freezing, but the guy still got this fastball. <laughs> that's, that's you, a really good point, Wanda. Because, because you know I like you, Rich. I appreciate that, George. But I don't like, I don't like that you call yourself Rich. <laughs> Well, uh, Actually, but that, that, that may just be me. I'm a billionaire. It feels sneaky. You know what I mean? Well, it feels sneaky. Like, uh, well, if you'd like, if you'd rather call me something else, you you may. I, I'm I'm all open to that. Well, how would you like if I call myself? I was on Mad Men. <laughs> well, I suppose I wouldn't like that. But if if your parents had named you, I was on Mad Men, then I think it would probably never be blame your parents. It George, what do, you, what do you want to call Rich, George? I want. I'll call. I'll keep calling you Rich. Okay. But I want you. Don't call me George. You said you call me. You were on Mad Men too. Okay. How's this? Hang on. How's that? Look at his name now. Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> and but I can only. I should refer to you as you were on Mad Men too. Yeah, I like that. Okay. That feels fair. Yeah. I guess. You know what I mean? It feels weird, right? That's just how I've been feeling, and I wanted to share that with you. Every time I call you rich, I'm like, come on. All right. Do you think, uh, do you think that Harry saw Star Wars? <coughs> Harry Harry Crane? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was um, a big media guy. He was all forward thinking. He was a media guy, yeah. Uh, I'm sure he saw Star Wars. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he, I bet he bought the early bird uh, action figures for his kid. <laughs> Unquestionable. Uh, you know, a uh, fun little trivia fact. Harry Crane's uh, daughter has the same first and middle name as, as my daughter. Was that an intentional? Which came first? It was It was intentional, and my daughter came first, and then Harry's, uh, Harry's was okay. named after her. Okay. Better well, that I, than I, the other I, way. Yes, I was going yes. to say, I feel a sense of relief. Um, but my son's name is Harry Crane Summer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Rich, do you want to see something that someone sent all of us? Uh, yeah. Let's all pop out of frame and show Rich the thing. Oh. Do I, should I pop out of frame? No, no, no. no. Stay oh. exactly where you are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to count down. You ready? Yeah, oh, no. yeah. Um, hey, yeah. hey, you were on Mad Men too. You're not exactly out of frame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's> still not. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Wow. Ah! What? Those are amazing. Or is my frame yes, set low? They are. You know, you, you were on Mad Men too. Your face is a little ruddier uh, in the puppet form than than in real life, but it's. I mean, these are Watto spot on. Patrick spot. These are beautiful. Oh, yeah. look at that jacket! I know. Those are no, I I my belly. Look at my belly. <laughs> yes, my belly. <laughs> Have you guys considered doing a, a puppets only version of the show for an entire day? Yes, uh, but it hurts our arms. <laughs> I don't yeah. know how these fucking puppeteers do it. You know, I. I uh, I knew a choir conductor who told me that he had to have the suits let out on on his conducting side because his shoulder was so big. So I'm sure these puppeteers just get jacked. Yeah, yeah. I, I bet you. You know what would be a good way to make some money? <clears throat> to set up like a a 
fight between like Frank Oz and The Rock. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody would... like, oh, The Rock, The Rock's gonna win, The Rock's gonna win. You're like, nope, not if Frank Oz, not if Frank yeah. Oz, can get not back. if he th throws in that piggy arm. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's an arm wrestling match. You have them go head to head at the table. Oh, Frank Oz should have been in in uh, over the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've said that for years. Uh, he should you, you have been the final Man, boss. The final <laughs> boss. <laughs> the final boss in over the top. Yes. I could. Um, Rich, uh, we have to start an episode in a few minutes, but I do. Okay. I feel bad uh, if, like, we just got to say goodbye to you. Uh, yeah. You uh, would like to say goodbye to Stephen. We yeah. must. It's not even that we'd like to. We must. We must. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, it was great seeing you guys. I'll go great grab him. Great Real seeing quick. you, Ricky. Good to see you. Steven. Hey, Steven. Yeah. Just, yep. They want to say goodbye to you. Oh, that's so nice. Guys, yeah, nice guys. Nice so. guys. What? Wow. Okay. Well, I'll be right there. Okay. What, what are you whispering to us? Just, uh, I said we need some donations. Otherwise, my mom's never going to come on. Stuff in order. Oh. You got to get that Julie Jamboree. I want to hear what the twisted mind of Julie Cotner would contribute to Austin Powers' madness. Oh, oh, oh there they are. Right. I was looking for my pickles. I left them right oh, here. Of course. Well, of don't course. eat any of those pickles yet. Justin Chu, I believe in you. Justin Chu, he's got nothing to lose. <laughs> That the bumper makes me feel like I should have a, my own show. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't want to make you, uh, you know, break any NDAs, but the rumors are going around that you're you've signed an overall deal with CISO. I've heard. Yeah, you're rebooting CISO. That's correct. Oh, that's wild. Yep. It's a good move um, on their part. What? It's a good move on their part. Oh, it's a great move on their part. I have a lot to offer. Yeah. Is, is it true that it's going to be relaunched this time called Steve So? That's correct. It's Steve So, um, starring Stephen Charleston. Yeah. Yes. And uh, it's going to be a, a little boring at first. Sure. sure. But it will get more entertaining uh, incrementally over the years. Can you give us a little I, sneak peek? A sneak peek of it? I want to know what happens in the season two finale, Stephen. Oh, yeah. the season two finale of yeah. of Steve So's mm -hmm. yeah. starring Stephen Charleston. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi. Um, let me just get ready. Because it... Okay. We've, <coughs> excuse me. These the pickles, I think I mentioned, are, there's a habanero pepper in there. The very oh, no. Um, yeah, I no, Steve, the, I, however long it takes for you to get into character. Yeah. Oh, I'm in character. I'm just me, but I just have to get oh, my okay. stuff. Okay. Okay. Be right back. I hope people donate while Rich is gone. Yeah, it would be real nice surprise. It would be real nice surprise. I'm Steven. Rich is still gone. Yeah. The no point one. still stands. That's a good point. Thank you, Steven. Yep. Patrick, please don't be cruel to Steven. Refresh the number. What are we at, Pat? Yeah, what are we at, Pat? What are we at, Pat? What are we at, Pat? We're at four eight two one four three. Uh, what is it? What? Ah! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Are you all right, Stephen? Yeah, I'm okay. I just dropped my my shawl, my my cowl. What's that green thing in the distance, Stephen? On the couch? Yeah. It, um, shit. Hold on, my ear, my ear thing fell out. Oh my god, Steven. Right. Hey, George, you would like, or not George, you are a madman too, you'd like this uh, pillow. <laughs> this is a, a, it's like a board game guy. Cool, oh, cool. I dropped my ear thing, god damn it. Cool, Steven. See, I got two you of these. You doing all right, Steve? Yeah, I'm doing good, just get ready for the finale, one sec. Cool. Yeah, no, no pressure, but a lot of people are watching. Yeah, I got it. I just got to get ready. Yeah, Stephen, no pressure. Three hundred and fifty people are waiting for you to get ready. I'm working there. All right, so this no is pressure. the finale. The finale of season two. Yeah. 
There's a lot of stuff you've missed. There's a whole thing with the doctor <laughs> who always yeah, comes in. Have time for you to cast us off. We just have. We need you to just give us the finale of season two and trust that we'll be able to understand everything that led up to that point. All right, this is the final moment of the season two finale. And when you're done, we will pull you from the stream. It'll be this will be the climactic ending. Yeah, that yeah. sounds. That, yeah, that should it ought to be. Yeah. You're giving us a blackout. Line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I I know that Rich. Uh, was on the shortest lived Herald team. <coughs> hold on, hold on. America, yeah, hold we on. heard all about it. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Just very quickly, because I think this would be exciting. Can we get a uh, uh, a screen to cut to when we pull out the screen that just says in simple letters, executive producers. Uh, who's the executive producer? No, we're not gonna have time to do this. I'll do it on the YouTube. We'll do it on the YouTube. No, I want it right now. <laughs> I want to see if Bryce can do it. I want to see if Bryce can do it. All I have to say is executive producer, uh, George Lucas, Stephen Charleston, and uh, uh, Stephen J. Canals. Yeah. Evan Shapiro. Yeah, Evan Shapiro. Yes, go ahead. So, uh, Bryson, it'll just take you as, as long to make that. It just needs to be simple uh, white letters on a black background. That's all we need is to cut to it. All right. I think you can do it. Everything, everything's going to be good. Yeah, it'd be great. Hey, I don't know if you guys, uh, <clears throat> I know the viewers can't see this private chat, but um, Patrick's trying to soothe whoever is supposed to come on after me and says, This will be done. <laughs> this will be done in one sec. <laughs> Rich Summer is doing a silly character, and the response was, Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, I, I don't to... appreciate Patrick uh, trying to blame. Whatever Rich is doing off camera right now for yeah, the delay. I don't know what, uh, That's irrelevant. Rich yeah. might be doing a silly character. Who gives a shit? Stephen Charleston is giving us the raw feed. Thank you, Watto. <laughs> uh, and I, sorry to uh, whoever's coming next. No uh, spoiler. No, I didn't say. I said whoever's coming next. Do you listen to what I'm saying? Unbelievable, Patrick. Patrick, Patrick has got a new show he's hosting called Blame Shamers. <laughs> And he, he thinks this, this whole benefit is a backdoor pilot. It's a go behind the original series. Yeah. Blame shamers, eh? Yeah. Huh. Blame shamers. All right, well, maybe there'll be room for it on the Steve So schedule. Once once we start, when we get less boring, it's going to slow down a little bit. So sure. we're going to front load it a lot. Yeah. All right, so the final moment, and I don't want any explanation. No, no context. Let us surmise what has happened up until this okay. point. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm allergic to birds. Shut the door! Wow. We didn't get the graphic. Oh, there it is! Uh, yes, we did. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Steven. Bye! Bye. Thank you, Steven. Oh, boy. All right, uh, guys. That was great. It was great seeing great. our old friend Stephen Charleston. One of the greats. One of the greats. This is one messy Deborah who lives with the drama. This is one messy Deborah. This is this one, is me one messy Deborah. <laughs> wow. Oh, my. Look at that crystal oh, skull. Hello. Rich, you are. A sight for sore eyes. Let oh, me get you in. Thank you, Otto. How, how are you, George? How are you, everyone? Oh, now uh, this is rich. Oh, can we get a bumper for whenever this you pop rich. in like this and say, oh, this is rich. This is rich. <laughs> yes, great. he's a picture of great Rich thing. Sumner, but also Macaulay Culkin is rich here. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, Watto, that reminds me of a story. Yeah. I used to be a temp in New York City at Ernst & Young in Times Square, and there was a woman named oh. Gloria who worked at the desk next, uh, desk next to me. And she was once talking to me about Macaulay Culkin, but she opened it. She said, have you, hey, Rich, have you ever heard of that actor, Cully McCulkin? <laughs> and I said, um, uh, I think so, the guy from Home Alone? And she said, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, I love that guy. And uh, it, it, 
it was only she she I never broke her of it, but she only referred to him as Kelly McCulkin. So that's now how <laughs> I refer to him. Actor, Kelly also, the guy the guy from Home Alone feels I know he's a man now, but like it's yeah. still funny to say, you know the guy from Home Alone? <laughs> the guy. Yeah. You know what the guy, the guy. Yeah. You yeah, know the, the guy. guy. The guy, his family yeah. leaves him and he's alone. You know that guy. <laughs> Great to fill you in quickly on the continuity. Yeah. Great show. Zach Carey, Arden Marine, great guest. Great. All stars. We had a fun time. We hit the Irishman. Plus, it was easy breezy. Did the quick Julie Jamboree. The thing was on rails, baby. Yeah. Outside the Patrick Champion, really hard to debate for the new job at Fallon now that they have all those openings. Oh, wow. But we forgot about the continuity. That last week, we had this special guest, the Crystal Skull from Indiana Jones and the Kingdom, oh, the Kingdom of, the of the Crystal Skull. Skull. Oh, I his see. Yes. power, of course, comes from his endless knowledge. <laughs> but Patrick stumped him on some trivia question, and wow. thus his power was taken. And now Patrick has become the Crystal Patrick. It hurts his head. Wow. Wow. I, he I is infinite. Alive. Knowledge of the past, present, and future. Too much and knowledge, Rick. Too much knowledge, it hurts my it head. Was, it was giving him a headache, but he revealed that next week, if Watho were to come on to the George Lucas talk show, he would die. That there is a mortal threat to Watho's life in next week's show. So I have announced my retirement from the George Lucas. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It, you said if Watto comes on next week's show that what you said he, so the pronoun was real vague at that point, but you were saying that you, that you, Watto, would die if you came on the show next week. Yeah. I want yeah. to be clear, I don't think I ever officially said that, but he is correct, he will die. I'm extrapolating, baby. You said it was going to be very dangerous. This is upsetting. So, so Watto, you're, you're retiring, so this is it? I don't know what to do. My hands are tied. Well, it's existential this this moment. Right. I mean, you have to you have to deal with it, I suppose. But I am going to be sorry to see you go. Me too. No one's sorry. He yeah. show is like breathing for me, but breathing is also like breathing for me. I don't want to give that up. No, no, I would hang on to that one more than I'd hang on to the show. I mean, yeah. but, you know, yeah. it's still a bummer. Yeah. Don't know what to do. Wow. I mean, George is going to be without a sidekick. Right. Well, well, maybe the Crystal Skull can stick around. Well, That's Patrick. Patrick, he, Patrick be will probably be at the show. Maybe the Skull will show up later. He's not uh, a sidekick. He's a producer. A little, it gets a little confusing for guests sometimes if the Crystal Skull is there. Right. right. More, yeah, we we sometimes more. lean away from the continuity during the regular show, and then and we find ourselves in the middle of an ongoing arc, which is not something we ever planned for or anticipated. No. That's here we never are. plan for an ongoing arc. Rick, how are you doing? How are you? Rick? How, am I, how am I doing? Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm great. I had a great weekend. I'm. I'm elated at the results of the the election and and. Very good. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm feeling good. I'm not. I'm not as happy. You know, there's other things happening in the country that are kind of bringing me down. That's for another day. But, but uh, otherwise, you know, uh, I'm. I'm overall pretty. Pretty good. You guys. You guys good. Well. Rich, I was thinking back, and I've probably told you the story of my very first film credit, uh, uh, working camera on the Rolling Stones film. You did, yeah. Right, and that sets me up to an amusing remark, which is that if Deutsche Bank, uh, uh, which was looking at not calling in uh, uh, Donald Trump's uh, immense debts that he owes to them, if he right. got reelected, but they supposedly, if he can't pay these debts back now that he hasn't been reelected as president, they will start to seize his assets, which could include his buildings, Trump Tower. It could include Mar-a-Lago, where he's planning to go live. So very soon, uh, Donald Trump could be saying, "Give me shelter." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He absolutely could. That's a nice, very uh, fun, very fun to say. That's a very fun little through line you built there, a little yeah. wraparound bit there. That's yeah, nice. it's a little fun. It's just a little fun joke. Welcome That's back, nice. Water. Yeah. Sorry, I just lost back of my tab. That's all right. Got to be trying to clean up some tabs. Yeah. Ooh. How was your Halloween? Uh, Halloween was great, thank you. I I uh, 
I dressed as uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. Ah, oh, very funny. With, with my son who play. My son's name is Patrick, and he wanted to be Patrick from SpongeBob, so he was Patrick, and I was uh, I was SpongeBob. We didn't go trick or treating because uh, you know we we're, we're we're adhering pretty tightly to some uh, you know coronavirus uh, rules, but we did uh, walk around the block on a, the day before Halloween holding hands. That was fun. Um, my, my daughter took a picture from inside the house of a very strange, uh, sad walk of SpongeBob and Patrick by themselves, uh, walking down the street. That was, so we have that picture to remember this great Halloween with. Great. And, um, otherwise that was it. We, we watched some movies in the backyard and just kind of, kind of hung out. It was nice. What were, the, what were your backyard movies? Uh, Hotel Transylvania yeah. two, I believe. And, ah, uh, yeah. and then some some sort of Disney shorts, you know, just some Halloween-y sort of shorts. Trick or Treat? Did you watch Trick or Treat? We did not watch Trick. Are you talking about Trick classic, or Treat? The, the classic uh, Disney Halloween short. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. We did. Is that with Huey, Dewey, and Louie? Yes. Yes. I, we did not watch that one this year. I, I think they did. Well, the, there's uh, always next year. There's always all the skeletons year. dancing. and all Yes, the Silly Symphony. That's yes, great. Silly Symphony. Yes. Rich, uh, are you uh, often a guest at the hotel team? Do you like to check into the Hotel Transylvania? Uh, I, I, are you asking if I've seen the movie often, or if I, if I do you check in extended yeah. stay, or are you just a sort of weekend? We yes, I'm asking I, if your familiarity with the trailer. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say just a weekender. I'm, I've never done an extent. I've seen the, the full trilogy. But, You've uh, seen it. How would you rank the three <laughs> against each other? Um, Ooh, what, what are the other options? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't how sure. Do you rank, was how do you rank them against the whole of cinema? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, not not quite as hot. I, I, I guess I was wondering if you were saying, how do I rank that trilogy against other trilogies? Let's um, get there. But, Let's get there. Let's do it all. Uh, again, I'm not that familiar with the the whole. I've only seen, I think, I think I only saw three once. Yeah. And uh, maybe maybe I've only seen, actually, I think I've seen the first one twice, the second one, and the third one once each. So The first wow. one twice, the second yeah. one once, the third one once. That's right. So a uh, total of four viewings. If, uh, For the three whole... movies. Yeah. What a riddle. So a man sees the Hotel Transylvania trilogy, which is three films, but he has four screenings. Which movies did he watch? <laughs> uh, well, again, I, I think he watched... Unsolvable. You don't have enough information with what I've laid That's out. That's true. That's true. Not That's to answer true. with confidence. And be certain. Uh, that's right. Yeah, oh. I, I can't. I can't answer. Uh, that's a great. That's a great question to ask trick or treaters next year. Once we hopefully have an open Halloween yeah. before yeah, you give them the candy, you say I've George, seen the Hotel Transylvania trilogy four times. George, I but there are only three prefer, movies. I find the kids prefer a riddle, a riddle. to candy. Uh, yeah, at Halloween. I have a question I, for I, Rich. Yeah, I think the Crystal Patrick has a question for Rich. Question for you, Rich. Hello, yes. Rich. Hello, Crystal Patrick. Have you seen Hotel for Dogs? <laughs> I have not seen Hotel for Dogs. Rick, but you Rick, like I have a follow-up question. Yes. Have you seen Hotel Rwanda? I have also not seen Hotel Rwanda. So you're less into the Don Cheadle Hotel movie. <laughs> Is he in both of those? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Then I guess oh, yeah. so. I guess so. Yeah. Yes, I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> then, then it's a well-asked uh, pair of yeah. questions. You know, uh, it's funny, actually, Crystal Skull, that you mentioned Halloween yeah. costumes. I was talking – I have a, you guys have met my – I have a friend who lives here with yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, Stephen. Uh, he yeah, actually – he's been wearing his costume since the day. Uh, do you mind – should I grab – I want, can I grab yeah. him just to show yeah, you his? I want to know. I guessed it on the first try, but I I want to see if you guys can. I'll be right back. Okay. Hold on one second. All right. Wow, it's nice it's to see Rich. It's really taking my mind off the fact that there is a threat to my life looming on the oh, horizon. It's really it does it makes you forget it because we're having such a good time. I'm forgetting it, the continuity. It's, I'll tell you what. It's easy to remember what a terrifying autumn we're experiencing when you're with Rich Palmer. 
It might be a poor fall, but at least we're having a rich summer. Here he is. <laughs> oh, right. okay. wonderful. Oh, my wonderful. Lord. <laughs> what well, a sight I, I this for us. Charleston. <laughs> of course. Would you, like hey. to, would you like us we to know, We you? know, uh, Stephen, we know who you are. It's a I wonderful costume. But I'm we not a costume. Know. I'm not Stephen. I know, oh. I know. You're a, you, Patrick, you might want to reveal who it is because it, you are a famous producer. Yes, I believe that, that this man here in front of us is none other than Kermit the Frog. Yes! There he is. There he is. Right. Kermit. Yes. See? Yeah. Kermit, baby. Nailed it. Kermit, Kermit, baby. Thank you. Kermit, Kermit baby. baby. Here's Kermit, the thing. Baby. I was never scared because I knew I was right the whole time. I guess it was not fair. He's got the infinite knowledge. That's true. true. I forgot about I, Well, I heard about it. It's also just such a good costume. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to kind of swing for it this year. And oh, baby, you did. It's a big now, year. A swing and a hit. Steven, did you see how many people dressed up as you for Halloween last week? I did. I was. Waco, Shut, Waco, what? Waco, what? What did you just call Kermit? Sorry, I, and Kermit. I, you should be Kermit. just scattered me for responding the way I that won. I did. I was getting confused. everyone made mistakes. We don't all have infinite knowledge, Chris. I, I, feel, I feel like that was a trap laid that I walked right into. Yeah. No, I feel like that was more uh, Watto's been broadcast <laughs> four hours straight. Uh, Kermit, so, Kermit. Yes. I don't know if you're familiar with a man named Stephen Charleston. Yes. But did you happen to notice how many people were sharing on social media photos of themselves dressed as Stephen Charleston for Halloween? I did. I did. Oh, look. Yes, there's one. Got this spicy pig. Very good. And then uh, <laughs> there's another one. There's another one. Very I good. Was, I was very... <laughs> Or Stephen was very pleasantly surprised to see how many people seemed to really have really taken it and run with it. Me, yeah. it's a. I, I predict it's only uh, going to become more popular every year. This is just the first year. I think it's going to become uh, 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 much like Kermit, an evergreen Halloween costume. Mm. I think you're right. I think with time <laughs> to fully prepare. Uh, for right. to people to look like me, Stephen, that, yeah. that, that then they'll they'll have the, the time to get all the things they need. Hey, God. A trilogy of facts. A trilogy of facts that I know to be true. One, it's not easy being green. <laughs> Two, you said it. It's good. To, it's good to be Vlad. Yeah. And three, it's very fun to dress as Stephen Charleston for Halloween. <laughs> Wow, a bumper. That was the timing bumper was that the... was supposed to be played at the beginning. Yeah, I was going to say, kind of poor timing on that bumper. <laughs> Had to show uh, it, though. I do think the Stephen Charleston costume has, it's got everything going for it. Uh, very recognizable. Absolutely, no right? problem identifying it. Right, like wide pop culture saturation. But also, right. very easy, very cheap. It's not hard to do, I'll admit. Yeah. It's how I've got, I'm going to pretend I'm not, I'm just Steven again. Oh, um, okay. Hey, Steven. Okay. Hello, Steven. Hey, uh, hey, guys, it's me. This is not going to come off for a while, but. You need to um, get some soap, Steven? How's that? You need to get some soap? I don't know that soap will truly help in this exact moment. Uh mm -hmm. I feel like there's a process. I'll take care of it later, but. I, I feel like I would know, but okay. Cold cream might be cold cream. But to your point, you're right. It's not hard to maintain this look. Right. It's um, you know, I'm an easy guy. I'm just easy. But the, it's it's easy being Steve. You it's know, easy being Stephen. It's not easy being green. Mm -hmm. Stephen, one of these one of these days, and I'm not going to put you on the spot. One of these days, it would be wonderful uh, to hear you perform because I see you got that guitar back there. Uh, <laughs> Keith Carradine's uh, uh, famous song from Robert Altman's Nashville, I'm Easy. Academy oh, Award-winning song. I'll admit, Academy Award-winning song. 
I'll admit that's not what I thought you were going to say. No, nope. the song that I, you might request. I, that's something, and it can happen. It can happen years from now. We're not putting any pressure on you, but yeah, one of these one yeah. of these weeks, it's just something to look forward to. Maybe it'll never happen, but one of yeah. these weeks when you drop by, it would be wonderful to just have you pop in, perform Keith Carradine's Oscar-winning song "I'm Easy" from Nash from Robert Altman's Nashville. Yeah, I don't think and I'm then, ever going to do that, but I, <laughs> I, I do like. Uh, I wrote it down just to see if. Yeah, I think the I think the first step is writing down <laughs> the idea, and then I just wrote, live with it. I, I, know, I started with "It's Not," but that that was wrong. It's "I'm Easy" by <laughs> Keith Carradine. I got it. Well, I'll say if you'd like to season. sing "It's Not," the this. the closing track from Amy Mann's 2002 album "Lost in Space," you can sing that as well. But "I'm Easy" is the one we're really hoping for. And Stephen, I'll and, say this. I would say a few weeks ago, you probably never would have thought you would have shown up on this show three or four times. So never say never at this point. That's and a really good point. Here's the thing. If you, just if you find yourself looking for something to do and you're picking up that guitar, uh, which I believe belongs to Rich. That's Rich's guitar, right? Yeah, that's Rich's. That's I don't know how sensitive he is about you playing it. but No, he's fine. I, I just woodshed all day anyway. <laughs> well, if you're ever woodshedding and you uh, find yourself looking like, well, maybe I'll see if there's some easy chords to learn I'm Easy by Keith Carradine. I think it would be a really beautiful moment. Okay. George, may I ask Stephen a question? Yeah. Stephen? Yeah. Who are your guys? My guys? Yes. Yeah. Who are your guys, Stephen? Like my dudes? Yeah. yeah. Who are your guys? Yeah. Who did you come up with? <laughs> <laughs> Is there any more context to this question, nope. or just no. oh, who are my guys? Who are, guys? Who, are you, who are you coming up with? Um, <laughs> I like uh, Kevin Bacon. Mm. <laughs> All right, uh, fan art, fan art, start your engines. Uh, mm. Um, mm. Uh, uh, Ed Harris. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Boom. I, I mean, I got definitely just one more for sure. One. Uh, Joe, Joe Biden, I guess. Oh. <laughs> right. oh, oh. Stephen, I have one more question for you. <laughs> yeah. We good? We definitely good. Wow. We we great. Also. I don't know how I don't know what people have access to resource wise out there, but some of you must have enough access to Stevens talked enough on the show that there must be someone out there who's able to uh, use the words and sounds he's made to fashion a version of I'm easy uh, to start with. I, can I tell you where I, what I thought you were going to say? And I have think? no reason to have thought this is what you were going to say. That makes it even more wonderful, whatever but it is. I thought for some reason. You were going to say, Stephen's spoken enough on this show <laughs> that someone could fashion a voice like how Roger Ebert's voice was manufactured yeah. near the end of his yeah, life yeah. from life all the words show. he said on his show. <laughs> I thought maybe <clears throat> for some reason you thought somebody could cobble together an entire vocabulary just from from the times we spent talking. together. But I think the I'm easy thing makes more sense. Just, again, in the context. Even just of the fact that you just said the words I'm easy, they can pull that from that sentence. <laughs> You're right. Auto-tune it down. Yeah. Steve, maybe we, should get, maybe we should get the clean take of you saying the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Just so they have every letter, not every yeah. sound, but every letter. Correct. Because that be very helpful. does not have all the diphthongs yeah. or consonants. Right. It's just no. all the letters. Yeah. Okay. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. I believe right. it's, is it jumped or is it jumps? What did I say? You said jumped. Jumps. There you go. Uh, and and one more thing we need from you quickly, uh, yep. Stephen, just because, as you said, this technology was pioneered by uh, Roger Ebert. I don't know uh, if he pioneered it. It was it was definitely no, created he for him. He did. I know. He, okay. he did it with his bare hands. Okay. Like, the what the one thing we need, it's just one last little thing we need to be able to put together this uh voice simulation is a full commentary track for Citizen <laughs> King. So obviously it's late now, we've been going for many hours. You yeah. can do that on your own time. 
But that's just the one other thing we'll need, and then we can simulate you saying. So just to clarify, you would like Stephen Charleston because I, I I'm a guy who likes to say yes, <laughs> but I just want to make sure I understand what you're asking. A full a full commentary <laughs> of the 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 film Orson Welles masterpiece Citizen yeah. Kane. Mank. Yes, that's right. Mank. And and I. I also have only seen that movie, I think, maybe once or twice. So uh, I don't have a lot to offer on it, but you just want to hear what I have to say about it. it just in the name of science, yes. Yeah. It would really help in the development of this experimental technology. Okay. Also, Stephen, show us your thumbs. You want to give the full Roger Ebert experience. Thank you. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Look, right. Thank right. you. That is all we need. Right. Great. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, George. What are you working on? I'm I'm gonna try to make this easy on you. <laughs> Thank uh, you. <laughs> so it's just gonna be it's just gonna be a second before mm, okay. I get. I, I didn't mean to. No, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're right to ask because I am. I do have something cooking. Wado, no. can I just ask if you're? I heard Rich just mentioned that this is your maybe your final show. I have no choice. My hands are tired. I must retire because apparently a death awaits me if I return to the George Lucas talk show next week. Is there anything you want to do or say on, on your final episode that, that I can help you with? How kind of you to ask. Why, yes, Stephen, I've always had one desire. No one has ever given me the chance to express the one segment that has always been in my heart that I wish to share with the George Lucas podcast. Alex Trebek passed away today. Many people were sharing his comments because he was diagnosed with cancer. Was... <laughs> wait, wait. Uh-oh. Um... Oh, no. Watto. Oh no. Oh, Steven, you What's don't happened? know this, but all night we've been plagued with technical difficulties. Oh. And it seems as though we have lost Watto's microphone. Oh no. He's what? giving us what I imagine to be the meaning of life, as, as told by Alex Trebek, what will get us through these tough times in America. Wow. But I'm this, not sure. The timing of this malfunction is so unfortunate. It also a little bit feels like he's the uh, ASL translator for us talking. It does a little bit. A little. I'm not I mean, sure. His his gestures aren't exactly lining up with what we're saying, but no, no. But maybe he's not that good. Maybe that's yeah, maybe. what this is. Did um, you did you think when tonight started it'd just be pretty much you and me? No, you know, you know, I didn't. I didn't. And, you know, I was the only one who knew uh, that you and Rich would be making appearances. So yeah. I'm happy that it happened, but I'm not really sure what George is doing. I'm not really <laughs> sure what Wado is talking about. It's, it's a real fascinating night, and this is not really how I... It started off very hot. It started <laughs> very hot. Uh -huh. It only grew from there. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, is this what you expected? No, I thought it would be a lot shorter, but <laughs> um, this is good. I mean, I'm, I'm here. I don't have any spicy pickles left. Oh, no. Do you have anything of equivalent? Well, I have like the jar that <clears throat> some pickles were in, but there's a, there's a one habanero pepper in there that I don't think I, I am that interested in eating. I have a choco taco in the freezer. Steven. Yeah. Will you eat that choco taco on the air? <laughs> Yeah. Steven, you should not have brought it up if you, <laughs> you did not want to eat it. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure. As fa in fact, I'll be I'll say that once I said it, I <laughs> immediately knew that by invoking it, <laughs> it would lead us to this inevitability. It is the check off taco taco. <laughs> it is. Man, it's really just you and me. Here's the other thing, Patrick Skull. If I go and get that taco taco, it's just going to be you. I can monologue. It's okay. Steven. Wait, George, George, I thought you'd take a deep breath. Did you have something? What are you, what are you saying? Oh, fucking Jesus. Here, hold on. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you're crushing it. 
No problem. I, I, because I don't want this to take forever. 20 minutes off. Just real quick. Just real quick. And, 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 and Patrick, please let this be clean. Just repeat after me. Okay. Uh Okay. Clean audio. I'll just say a word and then you say it. Okay. Okay. It's. It's. Not. Not. My. My. Way. Way. To. To. Love. Love. You. You. Just. Just. When. When. No. No. <laughs> Ones. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just remembered that Watto is telling something about Alex Trebek. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that last word? Ones. Ones. Looking. Looking. Take. Take. Your. Your. Hand. Hand. If. If. I'm. I'm. Not. Not. Now, Rich, remember, he is making this easy on you. Patrick, what did I ask you one thing, which was to do nothing. What was the last word I said? Nothing. Not, not, nothing, not, something. I got to back up now, Patrick. You just, oh. you just fucked, you just fucked up, Patrick. I'm. I'm. Not. Not. Sure. Sure. Let. Let. See. See. What's. What's. Going. Going. On. On. Inside. Uh, inside. Of. Of. Me. Me. When. Oh my god. When. Uh. Uh. Won't. Won't. Be. Be. Needing. <laughs> needing. Your. Your. Not. Not. <laughs> Free. Free. Please. Oh my god. Please. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Pulling. Pulling. At. Hey, George, can I ask a quick question? Yeah. <laughs> what percentage of this of the song? We're there? very close. We're very close. We're very okay. close. Okay. At my my sleeve. Sleeve. Just. But how close? Okay, just. Very, sorry, I need to clean. Oh, just. Playing. Playing. The. The. Things. Things. Make. Make. <laughs> me. <laughs> me. Want. Want. To. To give, give, I, <laughs> I never, never cared, cared <laughs> to, to much, much. Did you ever see that show, Gravid Water? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this feels like <laughs> the worst Gravid Water show. <laughs> <laughs> I promise it'll be worth it. Okay. Four. <laughs> four. Sorry, Patrick made a noise. Just say four again. Four. Games. Games. All right, let's just get around this. And this one's driving me insane. And this one's driving me insane. You're not half as free to wander as you claim. You're not half as free to wander as you claim. But I'm easy. But I'm easy. I'm easy. I'm easy. Give the word and I'll play your game. Give the word and I'll play your game. You could reuse some of these. I know that. <laughs> I was trying to make it easy before, but you didn't like that method. It was taking longer. It was <laughs> taking longer. I right? thought that whole time. You just took out every word that is said, but took out the duplicates. So I took out the duplicates. I did. But no. then I, everyone was getting frustrated. How much is left, George? How much is left? Very little. Just a few verses. <laughs> All 
All right. Return. Yeah. <laughs> We yeah, but it's going quick now. It's going quick now with these full lines, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, All right. go, go. So that's how it ought to be. So that's how it ought to be. Because I'm easy. Because I'm easy. Don't lead me on if there's nowhere for you to take me. Don't lead me on if there's nowhere for you to take me. If loving you would have to be a sometime thing. If loving you would have to be a sometime thing. I can't put bars on my insides. I can't put bars on my insides. My love is something I can't hide. My love is something I can't hide. It still hurts when I recall the times I've cried. It still hurts when I recall the times I've... <laughs> I need it clean. Oh, it still hurts the times I've... It still hurts when I recall the times I've cried. It still hurts when I recall the times I've cried. But I'm easy. <laughs> but I'm easy. <laughs> I'm easy. I'm easy. Take my hand and pull me down. Take my hand and pull me down. I won't put up any fight because I'm easy. I won't put up any fight because I'm easy. And then just we'll we'll skip the last part. And just go da 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 da. <laughs> da 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 da. Great. That was easy. Thank you for making it so easy. What happened to Watto? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened to Watto. But hopefully, uh, now we didn't do the full song, but I think we have enough. Uh, in the first section, it actually took longer than I thought to break it down. I was, I was deleting yeah. the words and there were duplicates. It yeah. was harder to go word by word. Yeah. It and was. It, that did take longer than I thought it would. Certainly. Yeah. And I apologize for that, Stephen. I, I, I hope this hasn't soured you on this show because I do feel like the people are going to do a lot of work and they're going to make it. Wait, what wait, happened wait, to Watto? Can I, can I clarify one thing? Sure, Stephen, but I am concerned about Watto also. Oh, I know. I asked about Watto earlier. You, you yeah. said it didn't matter, but now... Well, we're working. Oh, that's true. I was oh, just going to no. ask, were you planning to work with these words, or you're hoping someone else no, will... Other people, other people are going to take all those words and Holy. cobble them in a perfect version of I'm Easy. that will just end a little early, but it will be great. It's a touch mm -hmm. potential. Sure. You. Yeah. Stephen, I just realized something. You asked what happened to Watto, and I said... I don't know. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh you no. Have knowledge and oh god, no. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here at this Steven. Moment. Yeah. I don't know what's happened. I was preoccupied with recording this version of the song in a way that music has never been recorded before. Yeah, we were I doing can... something new, and while we did that, something happened to Watto, and now hey, something's happened to Patrick. Patrick, hey, maybe guys, one of these plot threads will be resolved. Patrick, you're 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 normal again. Yeah, what are you talking about? Oh, Patrick, you were the Crystal Skull. Do you not remember now? I do, I genuinely don't. I've had a headache all night, so like it could really be anything. But if you if, oh, if you say so, I don't know, man. Oh Patrick, man, something happened to Watto. The crystal skull. When when you were the crystal skull, when it had taken you over, he said mm -hmm. that uh, if Wada was on the show next week, it would be very bad for him and he would die. Yeah. Well, I mean, but he does, then Watto he was trying to tell a story about Alex Trebek, and his sound wasn't working. George, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Maybe, oh God, should we? Hey, can I just say, ask one quick question? Yeah, sure, sure. It's kind of off topic, but... Yeah, that's fine. I just noticed it was dark in there earlier. You have a lot of soap. Um, I'm going to need some to take this off. Yeah, sure. Later. Could you just... Could Nail I have it? one of those? Oh, do you uh, want the whole package? Do you want the whole package? Whatever you're willing to do. Sure. George, what's going on with your lights? Go back, go back to your thing. I'm sorry. Go back to your thing. Oh, I just oh, oh, yeah. George, what's going on with your lights? I don't know what's happening with Watto. They seem to be probing a little bit. I'm not sure. George, should we figure... Yeah, Steven, I will mail you some of this soap. Thanks. Um, hopefully, you'll be able to get that off this week. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. George, maybe we should go figure that out. Should we end the show and figure this out? Steven, do you have the Choco Taco? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Were you listening during that part? Of course I was. Yeah, let me go back. Sure. Paying attention to all of it. I, the only thing I wasn't listening to yeah, was what Watto was saying. Feels 
feel we're like still yeah. here. we're still oh, here. Oh, okay. Yes. We just want to see the taco. Oh. oh. You just want to see it full. Steven, George and I are both famously diabetic, so we don't get to have it at all. I'm sorry. I'm working on it. Yeah. There it is. I mean, you got to take a bite. And there's got to be the bumper. Oh, yes. Take another bite. <laughs> when you finish that one, when you finish that one. Thanks. Patrick, Stephen's our guest. You don't just tell him what to do. I got excited about the bumper, George. It's a very rich, <laughs> rich dessert. Just in you, I believe in you. Just in choose, he's got nothing to lose. <laughs> Now, Bryson, I think we need an update on that bumper. I think we need uh, a Choco Taco dancing in there, too. Is it going to change every time Steven has a new thing? Also, hi, Steven. Hi, Bryson. I'm sorry. I had I ran out of spicy pickles just, like, yesterday. It would make my job a lot easier if you had spicy pickles on hand at all times. <laughs> I'll get more pickles, Bryson. <laughs> the people in the comments are very concerned because Thank Watto... You, Thank you, Bryson. Watto appears to be in some distress. I mean, and and we're and we're going. Quite frankly, we're going to have to end the show without resolving that. But here's what I would like to say, Patrick. When you had the knowledge of the Crystal Skull, you knew everything. Yeah. The Crystal Skull did not seem to indicate that Watto was in any danger in this week's episode, but that he would be. <laughs> That's a great point. If he, if he wasn't, if he was in next week's episode, that's when the danger would be. Yeah. So I have to think that that you would have warned us if there was anything to worry about now. You know, I didn't say that. I think I said if he was, if I remember correctly, and I don't really, it's a little foggy. Right. I remember saying, I have a headache. and I have a headache. Mm -hmm. I have a headache. I remember saying if he showed up in the next week's episode, it would not be good for him. Right. This and then he said. Something. He would die, and then you said you confirmed that. I did confirm that. So this yeah. might be something where, like, he might be fine-ish now. Like, he's still alive right now, which seems like it because it looks like he's breathing. And maybe yeah. if he shows up next week after lying on that couch for a week, it would not be good. That's my guess. I don't know where George went. <laughs> where what are you looking for, George? <laughs> I, I saw what looked like flames. <laughs> like... I saw flickering light that genuinely terrified me. <laughs> and it turned out that I, that, that I have a television on and it switched to a commercial that involved flickering flames and it really <laughs> genuinely looked like this part of the room might be on fire. I'm glad that's not what happened. Oh! oh my, my guys! <laughs> you guys. <laughs> um, oh. Well, Anyways, George, I, I... The important takeaway oh. is that We'll know that we'll know more next week. That's true. Right? Yeah, that's a good point. We'll know we more can't next resolve week. This now. It might also be that Watto has simply fallen asleep. That's the hope. That's the that's the hope. And this is this is a new hope vember. This is a new hope vember. Wow. Wow. Um, well, Stephen, Stephen, it's been so nice to see you. Thank you for recording a song. Pleasure. Thanks for having me back. Thank Thanks for coming, Stephen. And hopefully, we'll get uh, someone to put that song together for you. Yeah, I hope so because it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work, and you never asked for that. Absolutely, did not ask for that. Nor and, did and, I ask to eat the choco taco. Although I sort of asked for it in that. that yeah, way we don't think like threatening. that. You should you should be able to mention a choco taco without being forced to eat it. We Fair don't want to live in a world agree. where. Where summoning a, a food object by mentioning it means you are required to eat it, but you've been such a good sport. I yeah. appreciate that. I'm trying to make you record almost every it. word of "I'm easy," but when you when you indicated that you weren't going to ever record your own version, I thought this is my one opportunity. Yeah, 
Yeah. And you can't blame any of us for it because it was really the crystal pat. It was not us. It was yeah, the crystal true. skull. Yeah. Um, I'm yeah. a little sad that Watto's uh, <clears throat> probably not going to be back next week, and this is how he's going out. Maybe he'll be back next week. I don't know. It'd be dangerous if he was. It'd be dangerous if, if he's he not back next week. My guess is he'd be back the week after. That's and I hope. think I think oh. things will be fine. Oh. I think that what one thing I I said last week that we were going to learn something this week, mm -hmm. and the truth is, and this is something that if we learned anything from Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, it's mm -hmm. that their gift was knowledge, mm -hmm. and. That is the gift that we, every week that we are on this earth drawing breath, we learn something. Mm -hmm. And that is the gift. Sometimes we learn good things and sometimes we learn bad things. Um, yeah. But we'll learn more next week about what's happening with Watto over the course of, you know, if we don't learn it now, then it's a cliffhanger. Someone in the comments is also pointing out, you guys, it's fine. Uh, Watto can't be dead. Patrick isn't laughing. So that's a clue, I'll a wonderful point. clue. Uh, all right. Thanks well, so much for having me. Thank you thank for coming. Thanks so much for being here, Stephen. Thank you, Patrick, for a, a wonderful job producing. And thanks to all of us for and everyone uh, in the comments who helped out and did their part in this week's election. I think uh, this would have been... Uh, we had plans to either do the show that we did tonight or <laughs> a completely miserable show that no one would have liked, but we would have been compelled to do out of a... a moral support to try to boost people's spirits but instead we we were able to do this which was i think a perfect show i voted for jorgensen thanks steven oh can we say goodbye to rich <laughs> fuck yep be right go back get, uh, i won't be back he'll just, be back okay see you next time i'll go All get right, him. Bye, steven. Steven, i just next. realized it would be rude i just realized it would be rude to not Say goodbye or, to Rich. Do you think it's yeah. weird that we asked Steven to record a song, but not Rich? Yeah, but I, I think I <laughs> we can't ask Rich. He's been I don't know why Rich and Steven don't why why Rich never sits in the background while Steven's so there. Weird. It's so weird. weird. It is weird. Hey Rich. Hey. Hey Rich. Sorry oh. that was so long. We meant to have you back sooner. What yeah. happened to Watto? Oh we don't we're not know. Sure. We're not sure. We're not sure. But we, you remember, we were at remember the crystal skull that was here? <clears throat> What's that? Do you remember the crystal skull that oh, was here? Oh, yeah, I do. Hey, Patrick. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, I know I wasn't here earlier. Um, He basically said, uh, Watto, if you show up on the show next week, something bad is going to happen. Um, and then Watto went to tell us a story about Alex Trebek, but his mic shorted out. And we weren't really paying attention because Stephen uh, Charleston was singing a song from Nashville. Why well, yeah, do you hear him singing so much as just saying... Uh, one word at a time for yeah. what seemed like an interminable amount of time. How did that make you feel? Oh, very. I me bored. Yeah. Were you jealous? I, you weren't jealous. I wasn't jealous. No. Oh, okay. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't know what happened. We weren't. I'll have to go back and watch the tape. But I, uh, I'm sure he'll be fine. I'm sure. I don't know. Okay. All right. Well. All right. All right. Well, Rich, thank you so much for dropping by. Thanks for having me. Uh, we've already said our goodbyes to Stephen, but uh, yeah. give our regards to him. Absolutely. I'll, I'll give them to him again. Later. Yes. Later. Later. Yeah. Later. Uh, thank you, Otto. Leave thank it a while. Otto. Leave it a while. Yeah. A, 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 like maybe an hour or two and then mention it to Stephen. Yeah. You got it. Don't you do it right it. away. All right. No, I wouldn't dream of it. Good night, All George. Right. You saying good night to me? Yeah. Oh, good night, Patrick. Good night. Oh, and Patrick, may the force be with you. Always. We do have a stretch goal that we hit, which is a, a message from a friend. Bryson, can you bring up our other message from a friend? Uh, we're just going to watch this really quick. We have to put on our glasses to watch oh, Shannon. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can it's see. The I got only way we, yeah, it's the only way we can see the message. Okay. Right. Bryson, whenever you're good, go ahead. Well, hello, George and Patrick and Watto. Uh, it's your friend, Rich. And I'm just reaching out to say I'm sorry I cannot join you today for the uh, holiday spectacular, but I'm with you in spirit. Uh, I'm going to be spending some time with my family, helping to uh, try to make things as festive as possible here in sunny Los Angeles. It can be a bit of a challenge sometimes, but um, I do want to say uh, thank you for letting me be a small part of the George Lucas talk show in 2020, and I hope for 
uh, many more chances to visit with you guys in 2021, which brings me to my life day wish. My life day wish uh, is that I get to meet all of you in the third dimension sometime. We've done almost all of our <laughs> interactions throughout the entire time that we've known each other uh, virtually. Exception of Patrick, I, I know we've met in person mm -hmm. uh, yeah. back a long time ago, but the, but uh, George and Wado, we've never even met in person. So I would really like the uh, the chance to to spend some time with you, uh, physical realm, sometime in 2021. That's my life die life die life day wish. Uh, thank you guys for uh, again letting me uh, get to hang out with you for a little while, and and I'll see you in 2021. Wasn't that um, that dude's character on Mad Men was in charge of TV and film? He knows he could have taken another, another, uh, done another take, right? What? Harry Crane, yeah. No, well, Harry Crane, yeah. Uh, is a done, that guy could have done another take. Yeah, but Harry Crane, Harry Crane would have not created his job. Uh, also, that yeah. guy was on a Herald team, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell yeah. I got to bring on the next guest. Oh, oh boy. What I'm just going to bring him on and we're going to see how he needs to be introduced. Okay? We'll just see how he needs to be, whoever this is, we'll see how they need to be introduced. Am I, am I, am I on? Yeah. Yeah, you're on. Okay. And, it, and <laughs> it's how I, I get to pick how I'm introduced. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm under contract, so I have to be introduced as Stephen Pickleman Charleston from Sucker Punch. Okay, uh -huh. take him out of here. With the TM. Don't forget the TM. <laughs> Folks, I, I, I'm almost at a loss for words here. Sometimes we have a surprise guest drop in, and this is one of those moments. Grow, grows and grow, grows. Please give a hearty round of applause to... Bring them back on. Pickleman, Stephen Pickleman Charleston, TM yeah. from Sucker okay. I just wasn't sure what the TM was. Give a hearty round of applause to Stephen Pickleman Charleston, TM from Sucker Punch. What's up? Picklebox! Picklebox! Woo! Stephen, can you refresh that gun and do it again? That was fun. Yeah, I don't know if I have to. It's still going. What? I have more Picklebox than anybody. Pickle bucks. Tell us pickle bucks. Yeah, they gave me they gave me all the pickle bucks I want. Just uh, I just gotta wear this shirt and um, eat, just keep eating. Yeah, let's take a look at this shirt because this shirt's important. <laughs> yeah. Now, Stephen. But I can't. I'm not allowed your... to cover it when I eat it. I have to eat around the shirt. Did Sucker Punch send you a new camera? You appear to have one of Bono's early '90s cameras from this new TV tour. That's right. They said you got to go wide. The problem is, <coughs> God, these are so hot. It never stops being hot. The problem is that where where I have my camera is in this narrow little area. So a lot of the picture gets cut off anyway, even though we went wide. But now we're wide, worldwide. We're worldwide. I know. Okay, wait a second. Yeah, this is clearly historic television. Yeah. As of this moment, we have 645 people watching live. I see, I, I see 671, Watto. It's the most we've ever had at a single moment, I believe. Probably. And my, my response to that is not high enough. I think this is the moment to do the call to action. I've been waiting for the right moment all day. If you are watching this stream, please text one other person you know with yeah. the link to this stream and go, yeah. can you please just do me a favor and, and tune in right now. We're trying to break a viewing record. I want to surpass 1,000 views with Stephen Pickleman Charleston, TM. Pickleman, Pickleman. We're not going to get a bigger guest today. No. This is the moment to spend tough. all the cachet we have with our friends and family. Let me ask a right. question. Where are we on the money? Oh wait, I'm actually someone is Jersey Dave is saying 737. Uh we are currently at twenty-three thousand three hundred and seventy dollars and sixty-seven cents, Stephen Pickleman TM it's Charles. Fair, okay. Fun. I, here's the situation. Yeah. I prepared something because I want to make more money for us. Yeah, we yeah. do. So for every um <laughs> for every hundred 
more dollars we get. I have poured spicy pickle brine into these shot glasses. And I have five of them. And for every hundred more that we get while I'm here, you tell me when. It's going back, baby. Okay. Uh, what's that, what's that number punch, packing? Sucker it is, punch pickle brine is smooth and silk. We are right now at 2337067. So this is your time to get in those $4 friends. To get okay. in your one, two dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, whatever you can. Now's the time. I, I mean, look, it, all it would take is five one hundred dollar donations. How many shots do we have there? Four or five? Five, five. I had to put one in this Prince Edward Island shot glass, but Ooh. the rest are these. So it could be five one hundred dollar donations. It could be ten fifty dollar donations. It yeah. could be one five hundred dollar donations. But the clock is ticking. And we want to see Stephen Pickleman Charleston TM from Sucker Punch have to drink all of this spicy pickle brine. It's up there. smooth as silk. You guys have 12 minutes. We got 12 minutes to get this done. The 500. Oh. Wow. Stephen, how have you been? I've, I've been better than ever, George. I've actually been better than ever. I could now, I, you know, for a little while, I was sort of leaning on Rich for some. Uh, some sustenance, but now I've got my own income. It's uh, yeah. it's all all me all day through through my friends at Sucker Punch Gourmet. Uh -huh. We should That's we great. should explain this. You ate Sucker Punch pickles on stream, and it caught their attention, and their social media team reached out to you. And That's said, right. This, this is real. This is real. They because real. of your appearance eating those pickles on this show reached out and said, "Can we start our relationship? That's true. And now I'm sponsored. This 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 part's up for interpretation, I, uh, but I believe it to be true. I think I'm now sponsored, and yeah. I believe I don't have to worry about anything anymore from here on out. No. Now, now, Stephen, what is uh, what is the status on getting branded pickles? Oh, that, that's a great question because I think we can all agree that this guy's great and everything. Yeah. But we'd love to. We'd love to. Let me see if I can take down some of that. Boy, it's awful yeah. bright. Uh, we'd love to see, we'd love to see me on that jar, wouldn't we? Now, Stephen, I mean, all I got to say about that guy on the jar, he could use a T-shirt on his head. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a T. This, this is a, yeah. this is a a, a dish rag. <laughs> it's a dish dish rag. rag. <laughs> Famously, he wears a dish rag atop his head. I didn't know the lore. So wait, so wait. <laughs> What we have been doing is telling people to tweet, what was it, at Sucker Punch Pickles? Is that their name? Yeah. Um, it's at, it's, I think it's at, uh-oh. I got to look it up. I'll look, <laughs> it up. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Uh, look it up. It's at Sucker Punch Pick. And we've been yeah. telling them to say, I want to Steve in my pickles. Is that what it is? <laughs> I think it was something like that. I don't remember what the, uh, my hashtag. Yeah, we're going to make it. reload. Pick, we're gonna make it. I want to squeeze in my pickles. Pickle box. Pickle box. Uh, so here's what we need. We need people to tweet at Sucker Punch Pick. I want to squeeze in my pickles. But more importantly, we need people to to donate a hundred dollars or five hundred dollars yeah. to feed right. America. Yeah. Yeah. That's even more important. That's Get to a person who can do both. Can can we update? Can we see? Has there been any donation of size? You guys want to update? You want the new number? Yeah, yeah we, we were number. at 370 last I saw. Okay. Yeah, those new numbers. Hold on one second. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> okay. 30, the new number. Hang on one sec. This is very exciting. Um. Did you do you still have your old camera? Or are you are you still at Rich's house? You know, I'm still at Rich's house. Yeah, but uh, no, I threw that old camera in the trash. All right, Here we so go. You haven't your life. Here we go. What do we have? Uh oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> that. Wait, if my math is correct, <laughs> you're drinking all five, big boy. <laughs> Definitely drinking all five. Even I think you're finishing that jar, or whatever's in that. Jar. <laughs> Well, that's good because this stuff's so smooth; it doesn't matter. I'm I'm excited about it. Yeah, frankly. yeah, good. All right. Well, just, you just, drink, just drink them. You start whenever yeah. you're ready. Just pick one and drink it. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Uh, yeah. It's not, it's not a problem for me. Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> that's so good. 
Wait, should we be watching these with the goggles? Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, should I wait? <laughs> I no, know, you're I, doing I, everything right. We just want to make sure we don't get hurt watching this. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Just keep going then. Yep. Yeah. Uh, good job, everyone who donated. That was $1,000. Oh, no. <laughs> What's nice is they have a <coughs> it's a there's a low acidity yeah. in it, and it doesn't like normal pickle juice would be eating away at your stomach lining by now. But not this, not sucker punch. Not sucker punch. Steven, did you see this for your consideration uh, billboard? It's yeah. up in it's up in Los Angeles. Doesn't it? Yeah, doesn't it. it? Doesn't make sense to me uh, any yeah. of what it says. There's no, a typo. It says really rich wrong. summer. Someone made right. a presumption that's not true. But I love it. it I love says that rich people are summer as Stephen Charleston, and what it should say is rich summer was Stephen Charleston's old roommate. That's or, right. or or rich summer used to support Stephen Charleston financially. Right. Yeah, he but still not anymore. He still lives with them. Yeah. Now I got my own thing going on. Wow. That was really good. Thanks, everybody. You finished oh. them all? You finished them all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What about what? whatever juice is left in the jar? Is there more in the jar? Is there an amount that could be raised that would make you do another round of five? Here's the thing. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little piece of truth. When I poured these originally, I poured them through a little strainer. So uh -huh. like the mustard seeds and the pepper flakes wouldn't be in there. <laughs> but this second round ought to have... Um, a little more zots, as they say. Yeah. <laughs> now I um, think we should. I think we should double the amount at least. Well, the, we, have, these are we, have, we have raised an extra two hundred, so I think. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, then this is great. This yes, is this has already been paid for. It's, it's yeah, two hundred per. Ooh, this one's a very. I don't know if you can oh. see this. Let me see if I can get you. Get this uh, lit from behind it all, but it's a real floaty. You oh, see boy. all the stuff in the oh. bottom? Oh, yeah. boy, Steven. <laughs> yep. Do you guys mind if I just run and get a glass of water real quick? Not you, at all. Not. you do what you got to do. You got five minutes. We got five minutes. Oh, We've never okay. seen you run. We've never seen Steven Charleston run before. Oh, this will be this interesting. Is great. This is one of the things I do. This is great. <laughs> More lore. More lore. So, wait, it's $200. Do I don't know if my... Like, I don't know if my stream froze for a second <laughs> yeah. but he ran away the way a cartoon character just disappears from the spot i don't think yeah. I these pickle box. <sighs> oh boy steven what a jolt of energy mm. oh. steven, you couldn't have arrived at the better time i'm glad that i'm glad that you didn't have to spend time with rich's family even though you live with him today because i know he was yeah. busy he was, he was busy, busy, but not me. I got nothing but time to talk about Sucker Punch and their smoothie silk pickle brine. Speaking of which, at Sucker Punch Pick, I want to Steven my pickles. Yep. Uh, oh, that's a different experience than the first round. And make sure you let them know that you want Steven Charleston branded pickles. Let them know what we're trying to say here. A limited run. Small batch. Yeah. yeah, and that you would buy them. All all they need to know is if they made a batch of branded Stephen Charleston pickles, they would earn their money back and then some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm, I'm debating whether this is a great. <clears throat> I mean, it's a good cause. It's a great cause. It's, a great it's just the idea that I'm questioning the merit of at this point. I think there's. I think there's merit in it. Oh yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, we're bumping up against Stephen. Steven, what's Bumping your life against capabilities at this point? What's that? What's your life day wish, Steven? Uh, my life day wish is uh, ooh, uh, for some alkaline mm. mm -hmm. in my stomach to, 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 to counter some of the... I mean, these, this, it's not from this. It's from yeah. something earlier. Yeah. yeah. What, were you eating, what were you eating earlier? Uh, just, um, <laughs> you know, um, excuse me. I'm sorry. This is rude. I know. I apologize. That was upsetting to me as well. I will assure you, it wasn't a choice. 
Um, I was just eating some real acidic stuff, not this. Other yeah. acidic stuff. I don't remember all of it uh, specifically. Well, well Patrick, I, I, let's check the board because maybe Stephen doesn't have to drink the remaining three. Maybe we didn't raise enough money. Maybe he has. He can stop now. I think he can uh, probably stop. I haven't. I haven't seen any more. So unless they yeah. get it in the next two minutes, I don't think he has to drink anymore. Okay. I also yeah. think for the for the meme makers out there, for the people who are making the memes, I think we have come across. We have. Uh, we don't. I don't want to lose this. Another classic Stephen Charlton quote, which was, "I think we're bumping up against some capabilities at this point." <laughs> yeah. I feel like that I would look that. good on memes. I feel like that. That's a great turn of phrase. It's classic. Even pickle man Charleston TM from Sucker Punch uh, catchphrase material. Oh. I think another classic Stephen Pickle Man Charleston TM from Sucker Punch line. This is a different experience. <laughs> if that's not a marketing slogan, I don't know what it is. That's a really good point, Wado. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> that made me wow. a little thirsty for the smallest one, but only the smallest one. Here we go. Yeah. I mean, the funny thing is he doesn't have to keep going, and he is. No. Yeah. At this point, it started out he would only take the shots if people donated, and now he's taking the shots and well, hoping people donate in response. To be fair, Wado, they, they had already doubled the donation I was hoping to help achieve, and so right. I felt as though I owed it. But you also, you also just said, as you drank that last one, that you were a little thirsty for that one. So the thing yeah. that the thing that is punishing you, you have water there, and yet you drank oh. another one of the pickle juice and said you were a little thirsty for that yeah. one. Here's the thing. Once you get used to Sucker Punch, you don't want anything else. Of course. <laughs> what a great, <laughs> great marketing slogan that it builds in a certain amount of resistance to the product once you get used to Sucker Punch. You <laughs> <don't> <laughs> I just mean, I mean when your body, your body eventually starts to crave Trust it. Trust Once you get used to Sucker Punch, you won't want anything else. <laughs> Steven, can you say McClunky for us? McClunky. Steven, you're yeah. the best. We hope you come back soon. Thanks for having me, friends. Wait a second. Update the total before he leaves. Oh, yeah. You can wait till right after I go, or we can look now. No, you're good. You're good. It was good seeing yeah. you. Okay, right. bye. Bye bye. Oh my gosh. Paul, People are saying that I start. should eat the crust last. Uh, I said I was going to roll it up. That was my thing. I'm going to eat it talkie style. Um, now, can I can't pre roll it? I imagine I have to eat it the right way. Right? You're okay, here we go. It. Guys, we're losing people. We got to eat this bread. I think we got to eat this here we bread. Go. Okay. I'll okay. say okay. this. We don't want to lose people. Yeah. All right. So wait, am I, if it's going to start on me? Yeah. Maybe with, when, when Jar Jar's tongue hits the six, five, I, four, okay. four, three, two, one, go. You got this. You got this, Sheer. You got this. T minus 50 seconds. Minus forty seconds. Yes, yes. T minus yes. seconds. This is impressive. <laughs> oh, big bite. Be careful. Be careful, please. Swallow, swallow it. Three, two, <laughs> zero. <laughs> oh, wow. That, I'm nervous. Be careful, please. Wait, who joined us? Wait, yeah, who joined us? That was incredible. Stephen Charleston. That was outstanding. Stephen. I was Steven, blown what? away by what I did. I stepped in here and I was blown away. Steven, what happened? You changed um, your name. Oh boy. I got cut loose. Oh no. You it's lost fine. The sponsorship? Yeah, it's no hard feelings, but it was they said it was I wasn't on brand. 
Guys, Stephen was sponsored by a pickle company. That was a, oh, a new okay. Yeah. I was gonna, I do in a, the private chat, I was going to ask what this game was. Yeah, no. Here's a quick refresher. This is Stephen yeah, Charleston. He's our good friend. He lives with Rich Sumner, okay? And he loves spicy pickles. Yeah. God. Rich and Summer. Rich Summer, Rich Summer met him at a premiere for New Girl in season Got five, it. and now he lives in okay. his house. Oh, so there's a film right on camera, by the way. Just for a second, I just. Um, that yeah. was impossible. That was an impossible task. <laughs> yeah. That was incredible. I did it the that wrong looked, way. It I looked... did it the wrong way. I could have done it differently, um, but I almost died. It's, I was like, it got a little, it, it all just stopped the top of my throat there for a second. Oh. <laughs> that was scary. I was also was scared when George was eating the carrots that he, because carrots are real chokeable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, but Wait, I know no. I know the importance of mastication, and I wanted to make sure that I masticated on camera for several minutes and didn't rush uh, eating the carrots, so there'd be no choking hazard at all. You have to okay, be good. responsible with these things. I want all to right. try it again. I want to try it again in another time because I feel like I could have a better. I understand now. <laughs> Abigail wants to chase that dragon, but I get it. I get why. What I other? Why could you, you have done it? I got it all in my mouth. I just couldn't swallow it. Now right. here's the thing. I, I think it's we may phrase, have been a little. It's a phrase you should not have said. I think we may have been a little bit lenient in that. What you want? Know you should have done. Put this on me. I'll tell you what? how you eat. I tell you how you eat that oh, bread. Put this on me. Put this on me. You got. You got. <laughs> you got. You got to suck those lips first, because oh, bitches geez. be horny. Oh, oh, oh. oh God! Oh, oh. People. George, what were you now, trying to say? I was well. I think we may actually, I, I, unless I'm mistaken. I think it's fine to wet the mouth down first, but I think Hell once yeah. you're in the challenge, you're not allowed to be drinking during the actual challenge. So it's maybe even harder okay. than you think. Guys, can I uh, say definitely something? harder? I mean, I needed that water a little bit. Uh, although I do believe that that we water, water. <laughs> that water created a concrete like uh, thing going on in my oh. throat. Oh god! Like it, it, it actually, it actually felt like. It it you were it, like you were plugging it up yeah it felt like i couldn't get any i was like okay this is funny i can't swallow oh, it. and then as soon as the minute was up i was i needed to get to a place to make sure that that was gonna now this yeah. might be me just getting drunk with with money and power at this point but we're so close to getting double our goal for the day which was what again remind me 20 20 20 okay we can do this. We can oh, right. we can do this. Well, let's hear now, about especially this. now that we have the added extra power of Stephen Charleston, shirtless yeah. Yeah. Stephen Charleston. Because wasn't part of your whole thing, Stephen Charleston, you would go shirtless for a certain amount of money? No, I'm I'm usually shirtless, Jason. Okay. You probably already know that, but of course. I don't really <laughs> get what again the... super familiar with the the, yeah. the specifics. Well, the that's pretty popular. Of this character. Pretty popular. <laughs> Well, I, I, I thought, I thought, I'm sorry, I thought Stephen Charleston was part of the uh, legacy universe now. <laughs> no, he's not legends. He's not oh, legends. legends. That's what I meant. Sorry. Now, Stephen, they let you go. They said you were not being brand friendly. Is that true? They didn't. They just said I wasn't on brand, and they they said we're cutting you loose. Okay. It's okay. fine. As I'm realizing, they had Dave's killer bread, and that truly almost killed me. Oh. That's uh, if you add water, it grows. <laughs> but like, I mean, I mean, yes, physically, but I mean, it takes life and sprouts. <laughs> That's that the problem. Is, that was danger. That was oh, very that was dangerous. dangerous. I'm still getting over it. Um, I will. I am all in for the the larger goal of getting to forty. But I have to. I literally have to do some important work yeah. that I've been putting yeah. off for two hours. <laughs> I'll come back. I'll come back to see what's going on. Oh, okay. Wait, how did we lose Wano and George? <laughs> we cut them loose. I think I think Spo was too much, and they were like, "We got to get to a breakout room." Paul, oh, thank you for coming in. You, uh, if you want to come back later and see if we're still here, there's. I, I'll, I'll just keep myself here. Just keep me in the, uh, the yeah the yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, great. We'll see you, everybody. Great work, great work. That's what that, look at we look at what we did, guys. We really we did something exceptional, right? Well, I got I got a um I got a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> the first person to donate twenty dollars, I'll forward them my my Coles um email I just got. <laughs> okay. He'll forward them an e he'll forward them just a Coles email. Now, yeah. now Shannon, uh, bitches be horny for Spo. Yeah. 
How many times do they get to email you then after that? They can email all they want. Okay. Wow. Doesn't not answer, but for twenty dollars, well, you can get twenty percent off at Kohl's. Okay. Bitches be horny for spell. Okay. Will you forward their emails on as well? Yeah. Oh, when oh, I get their emails, yeah. Yeah, when they email you back. Yeah, I'll forward their emails back to them. Uh, I will say awesome. this. I will say this too. Now that Sheer is gone, mm -hmm. we can have a proper Mando Monday breakdown. Well, uh, if we want to do, I know Mando Mar Monday starts on the West Coast uh, in about forty minutes. <laughs> it's already Just starting. Another on the Mando Monday. Well, if we if we want to count me into Mando Monday, um, also. I gotta say, I know it's all the fundraiser, but this this for a little while now has not felt like the uh, it hasn't felt like the show, and it hasn't really felt like the after show either. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Hmm. You think we're just gonna hop right into it, George? Straight to I think, it. I think we did it. I think it happened. Wow. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I could see that being the case. Uh, do you guys all agree with that? I agree. I heartily agree. I, I've, I I suppose already there, so I mean I guess I can I can go. All right, I was just gonna say it. Am I supposed, should I howl too? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I Shit. Alexa, <laughs> turn off the lamp. Well, guys, welcome to the George Lucas Talk Show After Dark. And, um, welcome, and welcome to Mando Monday. Welcome to Mando Monday. Now, George, Mando, there, yeah. there are two people in here where we don't know where they stand, if they're okay with hearing about Mando Monday. You should ask. Absolutely. W would you ask for me, Patrick? Sure. Uh, bitches be horny for Spo or Stephen, just Stephen Charleston. Do either of you care if this week's episode of The Mandalorian gets spoiled? <laughs> No, I've never seen any episodes of it. Yeah, I can't afford Disney Plus with my uh, current employment situation. <laughs> All right. It, um, if you want to... George, hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Okay, George. I could hear you that whole time. No. <laughs> did, did it play? It did. Yeah. I don't see the bumpers. So we're in Mando Monday now? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hopefully this uh, this will contain enough warning that for those of you who are watching who don't wish to be spoiled for Mandalorian season two finale, because this will completely spoil it for you. <laughs> so you've been warned. Should Baby Yoda be a thing that is 51 years old? He has a name, it is Grogu, and that's what we have been told. It's Mando Monday now, my dear, you buy things from a store. They made a lot of things for you, and they're going to make more. Hey, did you see the episode that ended season two? If you have not watched out, my friends, I must spoil it now for you. The time has come for me to say I'm about to spoil the show so if you have not seen it yet it is time for you to go i'm giving you this warning now so you will not be glum 
When I start singing things about the most recent Mandalorian. Oh no, you say this is not fair. I want to watch your show. But I still have not seen the one that they dropped two days ago. Okay, I say, then how about this turn off for just a bit? Maybe a minute, maybe two. I'm about to spoil that shit. Okay, here comes a spoiler they brought back. Yet I look sky walker. It was Mark Hamill, yes, with the aid of CGI. Luke showed up and he killed some droids, then took away Grogu. Then after all the credits, Boba Fett, Boba Fett killed this for two. And now we have to wait a year to watch the season three. Thank God for Mando Mondays, which keep on selling things to me. For Mando Mondays, yub a nub, it's every seven days. They make the things I buy, the things all because this is the way. Wow. That was incredible. Wow. Wow. I am like legitimately moved. So what happened? Uh, Luke Skywalker showed up, killed a bunch of robots, and then he's like, I need your baby. And he takes the baby away. And then meanwhile, Boba Fett, he goes to the club and he's like, Hey, you, I want to sit where you sit. And he's like, Oh no, I thought you were dead. He said, No, you're dead now. He shoots him. Sits well, no, down. I mean, if that's Bib Fortuna. George Bib Fortuna. He shoots yeah. Bib Fortuna. Bib Fortuna. Yeah. The the Star Wars fans, Mike Pence. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 he, was, he shoots Bib for tuna because Bib is made of tuna, and he's right. like, "Yum, yub nub, I want that tuna." Yub nub, right. I want that tuna. And there's Jason, show, there's Jason's catchphrase for his. That's the t-shirt. That's the teacher. Yub nub, I want that tuna. <laughs> and and we have to say, you know, we we like to do a thing on this show, which is we ask viewers to. Uh, Tweet at Mike Pence without tagging, without putting anything in the tweet. No hashtag, no tag. Just tweet pictures of Bib Fortuna at Mike Pence. <laughs> yeah, and, because timeline. Yeah, and there is a photo that we prefer. Let me find it. Yeah, there's a photo we prefer. But here's the thing: we always say Mike Pence is Bib Fortuna, and Bib Fortuna got shot the same day that they made Mike Pence take the vaccine. <laughs> 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 Wait, is he dead? We think he's dead. Wh which one? Bib, Bib Fortuna. Fortuna. Oh, Bib Fortuna. oh, yeah. R.I.P. But yeah, R.I.P. Bib Fortuna. This guy. This guy yeah. Right? yeah, and he had he had to go. R.I.P. BFD. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just I'm... this big pasty white loser who works for the most disgusting club owner. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it seems as though he's taken over Jabba's operation. Yeah. Now, Jason, let's ask you this. How do you think he got off that sail barge? Good Fortuna? Yeah. That's a good question. I mean, and certainly some of those people survived, you know? Yeah. You think Max Rebo survived? Of course. Okay. Of course. He's got to bring jizz to the universe. He's got to bring... <laughs> he's got to bring jizz to the fucking... Uh, he's, get, he's bringing jizz to wild space. <laughs> Patrick. Patrick. What? Patrick. What? Are you not even going to update the total and see how much money we have raised after all the friends, after two big ticket donations from Zooks and Watto? I think I think I did Watto, but I will update it again. Also, death count should be ninety-one now. Uh, we are uh, at. Yeah, Wado, I did this already, but uh, we are at thirty six thousand six hundred fourteen and ninety seven uh, cents. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. That's pretty good. Got to get forty. I, now I remember. Now that I'm seeing this, I remember. But we this do this looks familiar. Oh, <laughs> he looks familiar. Thank you. Familiar. 
What I'm what I'm wondering is um, hang on, hang on, Watto. Did you just say this looks familiar, vaguely familiar? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. My question to Stephen Charleston is: Are you now that you've lost your sponsorship? Are you off of pickles? No, 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 no hard feelings. I'm a I'm a pickle fan uh, from early on, and uh, you know it, they can't kick me off of that train. Mm -hmm. You know that saying? Yeah. 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 They can't yeah. kick me off of that train. Can I, like like in the Mandalorian um, episode two episodes ago when they mm. when they kicked a lot of people off of that train. Right, but they, but not me. George, George, can I ask, are there pickles in the Star Wars universe? Sure. <laughs> what is, George, is that tape? George, George, have you been going through the tapes? George, tell him what that is. Somebody was very kind and sent me a copy of uh, a pre-McClunky uh, VHS of episode four, so I destroyed it. <laughs> No, I wear it. Like There's one suit. less in the world. And Jason, Jason, Chris Eliopoulos came on earlier and drew this. <coughs> oh my God, that's wow. amazing. <laughs> and show the Vieira pick. Show the Vieira pick. Because, because Jason, this is why I would, uh, we always wanted to have you on the live show, but we were never able to make it work. One of the I things we would that. do is we would take old copies of the pre, like the, the pre special edition cuts of Star Wars movies sure. and we would destroy them. And there would always be a 50... I mean, America is a divided country, so there would always be a 50-50 split. Half the audience would be braying for us to tear apart these laser discs and VHS copies. <laughs> and the other half would be crying and weeping and begging us not were to you, uh, Oh, Not were you. Uh, George, it, I'm not going to ask you that, but I remember the weekend that um, Deathly Hallows came out. That's Meredith um, Era destroying a, a, a pre-final oh, cut. that's amazing. <laughs> That is incredible. Waddle looks like he's got a huge honker between his legs. Waddle looks like he's off to the side, like jacking it. Honk, honk. Look at that honker coming yeah. through. <laughs> Waddle's, like, Waddle's like straight perving it out there. What is oh, going that. on, here, Waddle? Waddle! Look at that white ass. At least Pee Wee Herman was in an X rated movie theater. Killing it. Bryson. <laughs> Bryson on fire. Just be careful. That tape is very flammable, George. Just be careful. <laughs> what a way to end, though. Fire. What a way to end. I what a way to end. Going up. You don't have. You don't have any actual candles near you, do you? I got a question no. about Are after there... dark rule. Yeah. I have to. I have no to take way. my laptop with me to the bathroom. Sure. Oh God. No. What? No. We don't. Nobody wants that. No. <laughs> We're trying to raise money. Bitches be horny. Honestly, if we get to if we get to forty thousand dollars, we can watch Spo take a deuce. Spo, the answer is no. Who's saying no? <laughs> hey, Bryson. Bryson, you can't see it, and though you can't see Bryson. it, Bryson, we're in the dark. Oh, make, me, make me full screen, Bryson. We're in the dark, Bryson. Oh, <laughs> Bryson, we're in the dark. Bryson. <laughs> if you're gonna come onto the stream and rhyme like that. Saying something like "spo," the answer is no. You best be coming back with a bumper that says that. <laughs> you can't come on with a rhyme like that and not make a bumper. George, I hate to tell you, it's life day. It's a holiday. The bumper factory's closed. But I know that's why I'm saying you don't come on and be like a rhyming little bitch coming on and teasing us with those bumpers that are just made to be bumped. But I'm I'll say this, Bryson. I Bryson, it's life day, and I think sometimes the rules don't apply on life day. <laughs> I just kidding. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Come on. Uh, good. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> I think I came back just in time. You did. You got the right time. Uh, okay, so Bryson, you'll get to work on that for us? The Spo, it's a no? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Bryson. Thank you, Bryson. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I didn't bring out Bryson to his proper uh, bumper. Hang on. Hey, Bryson, you're going to go make that?
Uh, yeah, before I go, can I show a bumper? All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. What is it? Oh, wow. Well, I got you guys something for Life Day. Whoa. It's, it's, it's an evergreen bumper that I figured you guys could get a lot of use out of. Sure, let's see it, Bryson. Let's Patrick Connor finally living his lo lifelong dream of being on camera. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't like being on camera. Doesn't like being on camera. Wow. Oh, now, cool. look at him now. Look at him now. The kid, loves it. the kid loves it now. The kid. Now that now that now that the kid now that the kid's the rat, he loves that camera. <laughs> Patrick, you can do the thing to me now. Okay. Hey Bryson, you're gonna go make that bumper? Yeah. Bye bye, Bryson. <laughs> Hey, Steven. Yeah. Earlier on the show, you were drinking a lot of pickle juice. I was. You got any more? I mean. Trust in you. I believe in you. Trust in choose. He's got nothing to lose. I will say that I have had a lot of milk <laughs> oh, since God. we were last together <laughs> and some Why? ice cream. Well, because God. a lot of pickle juice is an acid. There's a vinegar. Oh, God. And so I was trying to get alkalines in my system to, <laughs> to save some of my stomach lining. Oh, God. Do you have any, like, apple cider vinegar? What would that do? Um, I don't know. Probably make would it worse. Would that make it worse? <laughs> do, you, do you have any, like, batteries you can chew into? Why are you giving me all the stuff that's going to make it? That's terrible. I did the stuff that was good, the milk and the ice cream. <laughs> but now you're going to have diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. Hey, listen, <laughs> at your age, dairy is not your friend, Stephen Charleston. <laughs> I am aware of this. It's been a very bad day. Uh huh. <laughs> I do. I do want to bring up a tweet that's been brought to my attention. Tomorrow, you guys are all going to get a text from Stephen Charleston saying that was not worth it. I feel awful. <laughs> Here's the text that or a tweet that I was uh, was brought to my attention. Nice, Spo. Okay, but this is do be a little. Oh yeah. First of all. Yeah. I'm down. Yo, I also got I got um guest number ninety one. <clears throat> oh <What>? yeah. <laughs> Let's. I mean, I, I I mean I wouldn't. Can we get? I mean, I I'm, I want to steal some of this thunder. I want bitches be horny for Zooks. <laughs> I want to be I, in this. Like, I'm sure we could search on Twitter for I that. I want in on that. I want <laughs> in on that catchphrase, but all right, guys, if anyone out there wants to tweet hashtag bitches be horny for Zooks, we'll show them on the air. And it doesn't you know have what? to be a hashtag. And you know what? Men, let's men let's always are taking women's fucking it's true. I, it's true. I'm stealing Spose things. So you know what? Get rid of it. it okay. Spose, get, rid of it. Spose, crush, get rid of it. Get rid of it. If you, if you tweet that, it will never be on the show. Nope. <laughs> if you tweeted it, here's here's my new catchphrase. If you tweeted it, you better deleted it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Bumper. 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 How, about, how about cunts be wet for Zooks? Oh, God. Oh, God. That got oh, racy. No. Wow. That's it's really very aggressive. Bluff. That is a, some good bluff calling. Yeah, let's see how many how many tweets we get for that one. <laughs> Man, Zook is retreated and Spo immediately attacked. It, <laughs> it's not. so true. She sensed weakness. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, get your burner accounts ready to tweet from. Yeah. What? For Zooks? Man, Zookas, I I want to uh, uh, thank you for your advice. I do think it was a bad idea to combine this torn up videotape with these Christmas lights. Yeah, be careful. Uh, I'm now untangling them, which I think is might be the rest of my life's work. Yeah. <laughs> now, Spo, I believe this is a mixtape cover for you. Oh yeah, I just. Oh wow. yeah. Yeah. Um, oh no. boy. and I want to remind people 
uh, that it, I don't want to leave Steven out of this. So I, you got to tweet at Sucker Punch Pick. Hashtag I want to Steven my pickles because we want the brand Sucker Punch Pickles to make some Steven Charleston branded pickles. Put, oh, the, wow. put my face here. Even though uh, even though they, they've cut me loose. Yeah. I still think that how do you, that, that uh, this yeah could be me because that would then then I would literally be on brand and yeah. we don't have to we don't have to go through this again. <laughs> hopefully this is hopefully this is the last time we see Stephen before we have pickles for him. I agree. Hey, Patrick. Yeah, water. Check the private chat. Sure. Oh, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Check your DMs, Patrick. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Private chat. Oh, no. I see it. I see it. Here we go. What's happening? Oh, I. I... <laughs> <laughs> what do you see? Wow. Oh. That like crafty it. freak out. That crafty <laughs> freak out. I like it. Now I'm on board. Now, now I'm on board. <laughs> Yeah, seeing it in print really kind of softens the blow. Now I'm like, oh, you know what? You know That's what? That does look one. good. That does. That does. There is a certain a certain elegance to it. <laughs> it's kind of cute now. Now it's kind of charming. That's yeah, adorable. That cussing. Oh wait! Oh boy, guys. There's another. Uh, there's a big update. You know who else is tweeting about this? Are we trending? Your mom. Oh, so. So. <laughs> oh, the defunct they streaming saw it. They saw it, so they the real question is who still has that login? Now now Jason, I believe I believe CISO let it lapse and then someone hopped on it. Uh okay, okay, okay. I believe that is what happened. They they also made sure to make it look exactly like it always did, so that we'd yeah. forever be confused. That's, just, <laughs> that's really <laughs> funny. That's so funny. That's very funny. That's been retweeted. And, and they have 72 followers, which is more than I think CISO had uh, when they were running the account. So Wow. That's I was like, I that dead horse down. Just I work there. I work there. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you work there? Is that why they went out of biz? Yeah, that was yeah. one of the reasons. It, you you didn't didn't the thing. Guys, here's the thing. Let's let's go through them. CISO. The Chris Gethard show. R.I.P. The President show. R.I.P. What do all these things have in common? You. A rap. A rap. And then oh. they're gone. You can't search for cunts be wet for Zooks. Really? Because of language, you mean? Yeah. It has, to, it has to search a hashtag. You. It's a hashtag. Oh wow! Here's a here's a good tweet. Um, to UCB Theater in New York. Yes, that's another thing that, that Patrick touched. That that is true. <laughs> uh, this is hashtag. Daniel Stonebreaker says we named our dog Zook. So obviously, hashtag. What is that Zooks. real? That's amazing. Yeah. We named we named the dog Zooks. <laughs> R.I.P. R.I.P. <laughs> it was in the dark, but uh, R.I.P. <laughs> thank you, George. <laughs> oh boy aren't you allergic to dogs zooks no i'm allergic to like some dogs uh like i could I, i'm a uh like long-haired dogs are no good but i can do like a short-haired dog like egg dogs i can't have an egg dog wado no because <laughs> i'm allergic to eggs i talk I about it on I, all the podcasts I learned it on I nailed it. where did you learn that steven i nailed it <laughs> Are you a big fan of Nailed It? My children watch it See, whoa. all day. Whoa, whoa. Not my, wait, wait, wait. Not my children. They're like my <laughs> children. Whose children are they, Stephen? They're riches, but they're like mine. We've become very close. Oh, no. oh, this is oh. really weird, man. This sounds weird. <laughs> Because you also like it seemed as though they were in the same house that you're in without a shirt Shut on. Up. Yeah, Shut yeah. Up. Now the cra hey Stephen, Stephen. Yeah. Is Rich still awake? Because he sent a video earlier saying he couldn't stop by. I mean, I can check. Can you go check? Yeah, give me a sec. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I hope he's awake. I don't know. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's he doing back there? Like a naked person. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is this is, the content, this is the content that people want at this hour. Here we are, still raising money. Where are we numbers wise? <laughs> uh, let me do a refresh. Oh, I believe. Oh, oh wow, look at this. Wait, Rich. George, we got to meet you really quick. Hey, uh, Rich. Steven gave me these sunglasses to, to, to put on. Yeah. They're prescription, so I don't know how he was seeing, but now I can see. Oh, that's good. Um, What's happening? Cool. I, was, I was just about to head to bed. Buddy, sure. Rich, it's great to see. It's Jason Manzoukas. Oh, what's up, Jason? Hey, is that uh, in Spo there? Hey, what's yeah. happening? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Watto, Watto. Rich isn't on the show yet. Rich. Ooh, new guest. Yeah. It's Wolfman Watto. Oh, what's happening? I got some bad news for you, Rich. What's that? Technically, you're not on the show yet. Oh, it feels like I'm this on the show. Live. Everyone can see and hear you, okay. but it's not canon because you haven't been introduced yet. Oh. Do, do you How would I... you like? I would love. How would you like to be introduced? Um, <clears throat> I guess, um, you know, um, you could, you could say, uh, uh, loving father and, uh, fan of fun, rich summer. Oh. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> father and fan of fun. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our next guest. He's a loving father. And what was the second part? Friend of fun. Fan, er, of, fun. fan of fun. Fan of fun. This next guest, he's a loving father and a friend of fun. Hashtag cunts be wet for zoops. Rich summer. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I didn't sign up for the hashtag, but but thanks. I'm glad to be here. It's a movement. You can't stop it at this point. That it's was it's from moment. before you were on, Rich. Oh. Sorry. There was like a great a bit or some like a great bit. There was a bit. There was a bit uh, earlier. Yes, that's fun. I'm oh, sorry wow. you got bent into it. Hang on. Well, yeah, I, was... I actually I just got something sent to me. I'm gonna bring it up. It's another tweet. I love tweets. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Holy shit! Wow! That is huge. Yeah, now, that's not oh, from his man. VP. That's not from his VP account. That's from his account. His I mean, RIP Bib Fortuna. It's his wow. personal that, account. That vaccine took quick. The guy oh, yeah. they watch now is asking, "Is that real?" <laughs> yes. Yep. Who's saying this? They, they, they watch every, now. Everything is real. Everything is real. Huh. Everything is real. Well, Rich. I mean, it was good seeing you. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for having me, guys. You could probably go. Oh, thanks for the video earlier, Rich. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm sorry I couldn't be here earlier, but you know we were just trying to trying to hang out with the fam a little bit today. So that's yeah. totally, <laughs> totally understandable, totally. Rich. If you got to go back to bed, that's totally fine. But can you grab Steven again for us? Yeah, we got. Oh, and, oh, can, we get, it, can we get Rich saying McClunky? Oh yeah, Rich, say McClunky. Oh sure. Oh look at that Inception thing going on there. Uh, McClunky. Right. Yeah, it looks great. Look, you have a rich summer in your in your reflection. Mm -hmm. Also, know that Stephen thinks your kids are his kids. Oh yeah, yeah. He literally, has, rich, rich, we've had Stephen this conversation. Referred to him as my kids. I know. said my I know. kids. What has the conversation been like? You've had this before. It's uh, it's becoming it's becoming like <laughs> close to a breaking point. That oh, no. that exact thing. And I imagine did he did he seem to have any sort of. Um, awareness of the fact that he had said it uh no perhaps a response once to we, it after, once we reacted he started to panic he yeah panicked. yeah panic sounds right because i said if he keeps saying that i he can't stay here anymore so he also uh, was like aggressively not wearing a shirt mm -hmm. well that he never wears a shirt really the only time i've seen him wear a shirt is when he was sponsored earlier today yeah yeah right huh. i'm glad you were watching i thought you were busy 
<laughs> no, he showed me a, a. We passed in the yard, and he showed me a, a right. screen. Why are you guys? Out, you guys are both outside. Just, well, he lives here. We're in my yard. It's okay. We're not. We don't. In our yard, I can be around people who live, whom I live. Okay, Rich, can you go get Stephen again? We gotta talk to him. Yeah. Uh, well, great seeing you guys. Thanks, yeah. Rich. Take care, Rich. Great, great to see you. Great to see you, Jason Shannon. Good to. I'll yeah, see you guys congrats, later. Congrats on that uh, Herald team. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, Rich, Rich, yeah, Rich, come back. Quick, quick question. Yeah. Yeah. What was the first? What was the first Herald team you were on? Uh, first, there was only the one. <laughs> Which one? Let's hear about it. Yeah. I think I've told this story already. Yeah, no, you have. We want to hear it again. Because <laughs> I love, I do, lo I love telling it. It was called America. Okay. Yeah. And we um we lasted for three heralds. Oh, yeah, only which three. Been, I believe yeah, confirmed an inauspicious debut <laughs> as the shortest lived herald team of all time. Huh. And, and five of our members, uh, five of our eight members, went on to other herald teams when we were cut. And three other members, um, of which I'm, I'm included, yeah. we, that was it. Huh. Rich, Rich, before you, you leave, I, can I ask you how you felt after you got cut? Uh, like, were you were you a happy man? I'm going to answer this entirely honestly. Okay. I felt a mixture of things. I felt uh, uh, embarrassed. Yeah. Because that's that was a short <clears throat> run. Yeah. Yeah. But I also uh, went. I get it. Mm -hmm. I I absolutely get it. So it was a. Um, it's something I've never uh, felt compelled to argue against because I was there for those three heralds and mm -hmm. I contributed very little of yeah. uh, <laughs> substance. Yeah. Can I ask a follow-up question? Rich? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Do you, do you feel as though <clears throat> the dissolution of the Herald team America mm. presaged the dissolution <laughs> of the country America? <clears throat> Uh, I think it's do you safe. Think, do you think that the Harold team was a canary in a coal mine for the country? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, as goes America, the Harold team, so goes the country. Well, yeah. it's funny because at the week we were cut, and again, I've told the story on the show, but we were cut on Tuesday, and on Thursday we had our first cage match, and uh, <laughs> we we won nine weeks in a row. But nice. it was it was by bribing the audience with a of case course. of beer every week. Yeah. Classic. And all of this fits perfectly into what has happened uh, to yeah. America. So, so you yes, guys were, you guys yeah. were you guys were stealing the election by That's providing correct. beers. You were buying votes. Hundred percent. So, so wait, Rich, you still didn't answer my question. Did you feel like were you like a happy man when you got cut? Oh boy. Uh, I guess happy didn't. Uh, no, that wasn't one of the emotions I felt. Was there another like a like an angry? Uh, Patrick's obviously trying to shoehorn something in. And yeah, what are we going weird. for here? Were um, you trying to force a bit? Oh, no, okay. were, you like, were you angry? Were you angry? Were you an angry yeah. man? Uh, no, no. <laughs> but but do you want me to say yes? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was angry. What what else? How would you else would you say that? Oh my I god! Can't. That's <laughs> not the thing you want to say. You that you that it? wasn't the destination, no. Patrick. Patrick, you would have fit perfectly on the Herald Team America. Rich, this yes. is how we did scenes. Rich, Rich, yeah. Rich were, you, were you a madman? Oh, uh, I got to go. I'll go get Steve. Ooh. 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 Patrick, Ooh. Patrick, Ooh. You know what? You know what, Jason? You know what, Jason? I live that's, off of this. I live right. off of it. Patrick, that's why in front of you were right. failed. That's why what? Every place you were failed. <laughs> Oh, good luck, Marvel. Yeah. How, how's the money? How's the money? Let's see. Um, look how evocative. Uh, oh uh, my the, god! The oh boy, we're still at thirty-one, thirty. We're still at thirty-six, six one four is where we were at. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Um. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hey, Steven. Steven yeah. Charlton. He came running in like a, like a wolf man. Like a wolf man. Oh. I said earlier that they had never seen me run, so I wanted to try it again. It's true. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Good. 
<laughs> it's true. <laughs> Thanks for asking, Kendall. I'm fine. <laughs> I, had a, I had a terse interaction with Rich. Why? What I'm happened? Like, well. Wait, do you think he was, was he not happy when you saw him? I might have kind of, I kind of fucked up a little bit. You guys know, I, just, I said, said the thing about the kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that doesn't, it's usually a thing in that house of day. And so it was, it led to a little moment. Yeah. We'll say. Right. He was upset with you? He's he's always he's always upset. He's, an, he's I, angry. He's angry. I, I would say I would say he's a, he's a mad man. Oh wow! <laughs> that's, just, that's an organic joke, Stephen that Charles. Organic. Well done. Well done. Well done. That was a nice casual Eff- walk to that joke. Effortless, organic, <laughs> and a light touch. Patrick, <laughs> take note. Like a feather. Like a feather touch. Yeah, the guy. The guy's a pro. The guy's a goddamn pro. White glove service on that show. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to whomever said that's actually really funny, Stephen. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Good. 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 I hope you've learned the lesson here today. Patrick, Patrick. check your DMs. <laughs> Why? Patrick, oh, check your DMs. Patrick, check your DMs. And check Patrick, your check your, check your goddamn DMs. Unless unless you don't want to check your DMs, Patrick, in which you, in which well, case, Patrick, you need to wait, say. I don't, you to I, don't know, know. I don't know if this is it, but could this be what was in my DMs? <laughs> what? That? I don't know. That's crazy. The, they took my <laughs> face. <laughs> 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 That is some excellent face swapping. Oh boy. <laughs> Wait, but but bitches be horny for Spo. Is that what you wanted him to find? I don't know what I wanted him to find. I just saw someone uh, said check your DMs. I imagine that was probably it. That was from had uh, two, yeah. two things in it. That was from Matthew Weinstein. That was who that was from. You just had one. Matt Weiner, creator of Mad Men. That was. <laughs> it was Matt Weiner. Write it into my DMs. Rich, Rich, when he left, did say he was going to send out the, the the he was going to text blast the the Mad Men group and get them on board. He did. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. definitely said that. We all heard it, and it's binding. Yeah. He said yeah. Still, he said they're still on the text chain and they talk every day. Yeah. Mm. He said, wow. "Those guys, w- those guys would love what you guys are up to." Well, I'm sure they're all going to be here any second. Then <laughs> you're missing one, Patrick. What are you talking about, guys? Look at that. You're missing. Check it. your BM again. Oh, Check okay. Your Here's your here it is. Check your BMs. Here it is. Why do uh, people glad. DM me stuff? Oh. Just tweet it at me, and I'll see it. Oh, look at oh. that! Wow. <laughs> I love that. Look, that's my record, guys. Yeah. Remember when I put out my, my record of the Nelson Riddle arrangements? <laughs> <laughs> remember crazy. when I was remember when I went by the moniker Little Zoops? <laughs> what if this just turned into like a great pumpkin Charlie Brown type scenario where we just waited for the madman gang to show up? <laughs> <laughs> Even says they it will does. be here. It has yeah. to be a full cast reunion. Oh man, we wait. <laughs> and we wouldn't the- leave. We need the first set. Guest from earlier in the show, Randy Havens, says, How are you all still doing this? <laughs> Randy was here right. about 12 hours ago, I think. We are about to hit 18 hours. <laughs> um, it's, hey, I want to play a little oh, something of Steven. Wait. George, we should get the reunited apart of Mad Men on the George Lucas talk show. We That's a right great now. idea. <laughs> That's a great idea. All right, oh, George, yeah. George, what do you got to play for Steven? I want to play a little blast from the past for Steven. Do you want to explain what it is? What? Do you want to explain what it is? No. Okay. We'll just say a word and then you say it, okay? <laughs> 
<laughs> this is this is beautiful. It's I went to help you just went up one looking. And I went to take your hand. I'm not sure. It's I made to let you see what's going on inside of me. When it all of you be leaving, not free. Please stop playing at my sleep. You're just playing. You take the things you did me want to give. I never care too much for games, and this one's driving me insane. You're not having free to wander as you claim. Well, this is when we started doing whole lines. <laughs> I'm easy. <laughs> Give the word and I'll play your game. So that's how it ought to be. Because I'm easy. Don't beat me on if there's no oh <laughs> George, we got it, George. Oh, are we running out of time? Oh, I'm sorry. Are we running long? We got are we running long? Patrick. Happy Mando Monday, West Coast. Patrick. Happy Mando Patrick. Monday, West Coast. Oh. Happy Mando Monday, West Coast. Thank you so much. As, a, as the West Coast rep on this call, I'm thanking you guys. Happy Stephen's Mando West Monday. Coast, too. Oh, nice. Sorry. I'm sorry, Stephen. I'm West Coast, too. George, do you have a new song to sing for the West Coast? Mando, 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 Mando. It's Mando Monday on the West Coast. Mando, 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 Mando. It's Mando Monday on the West Coast. Mando, 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 Mando. And Mando Mando, it's Mando Monday on the West Coast. Mando Mando Mando, Mando Mando Mando, Mando Mando Mando, it's Mando Monday on the West Coast. Mando Mando Mando, Mando Mando Mando, Mando Mando Mando, it's Mando Monday on the West Coast. Mando Mando Mando, Mando Mando Mando. Mando, 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 it's Mando, Monday on the West Coast. Mando, 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 it's Mando, Monday on the West Coast. Mando, 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 it's Mando, Monday on the West Coast. Mando, 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 it's Mando, Monday on the West Coast. Mendo, Mendo, Mendo. George, George, George. Mendo, Mendo, Mendo. I was dancing. I was dancing too much. I spilled candle wax on my hand. <laughs> Where's Watto? Watto's coming. Uh, wow. 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 Um, I mean, George. You know, am I allowed to? Am I allowed to fuck on this thing? <laughs> well, it's a nil. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Bumper. The life a miracle. The life a miracle. <laughs> George, we're so close to 24 hours at this point that I feel like maybe we just keep going. <laughs> uh, we're still a ways away from 24 hours. You're a full work day away. You've rounded the horn, though. You're on your way back. I yeah, mean, yeah. This is the only for Spo. At this point, a work day is nothing. Yeah. I, and cats, uh, cunts be wet for zooks. I mean, like, these people are up and ready to go. <laughs> so 500 mm. people watching. This is insane. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, that's so funny. Uh, when did I come on? Am I approaching an Irishman? Now, we're at, we're at 256. <laughs> I would say you came on probably 240 ago. But then you were gone for a long chunk. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay, I would good say call. you're coming up on like two. Okay. Yeah. It was barely a good fellas. Yeah, barely that's good. Yeah, that's no good. I'm not. I'm not going to last an Irishman. Yeah. I, I mean, I really, as, yeah. Yeah. 
No, I want to know what you really. I, I don't have. I don't think I have it in me. I'm fading. <laughs> I came. I, I came in real hot for a, a while. So hot, yeah. so quick. No one can. No one can say you didn't bring it. I, I, guys, I brought it. I brought. I doubled the. I doubled the number of people who were on this thing. I've committed a thousand and one dollars. Yeah. Oh. So we'll we'll see you next week too, right? <laughs> Wait, are you doing this again? <laughs> this is every week until we solve hunger. Wow, oh. that feels ambitious. <laughs> Same <laughs> amount of guests. Same amount of guests. We're getting Bruce Valanche back every week <laughs> until we do it. Okay, Slattery, Slattery is in the chat. Where? What? John Slatt I'm just kidding. Slattery <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> <laughs> in the chat says, I'm here. What do you need me to do? It, it would be that would be the thing that would get us to 24 hours is, is if between <laughs> between 3 a.m. East Coast and, and 10 a.m. We gradually assembled the cast of Mad Men for, for a reunion that no one planned, no one predicted, yeah. and later no one will believe really Josh happened. Gad is not a part of it. Hey, guys, no. I do want to bring up a tweet that just got uh, retweeted onto my timeline. All right. Is it in your DMs? No. Yeah, check your DMs, Patrick. Look at this. Whoa. What is hey. it? Hey. Hey. It doesn't say cunts. Oh, is that say Ryan <laughs> yeah, Where's the hashtag, Ryan? Come on, Ryan. Ryan Johnson, great work. My favorite of the modern trilogy, Ryan Johnson. Well, I like that Cotner showed us that he liked it before he closed out of it. I didn't, I didn't mean to. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah of oh. course I'm going to like it. Oh. Yeah, you had to show us that you liked it. Patrick, yeah. could you shave a little more of your head? I would love to. Here's what I'll say. Here's my, here's, I'm going to throw down the gauntlet. Ryan Johnson, pick <laughs> up your banjo, call into the show. <laughs> Boom! You know it's also, there. Get on the show playing banjo, Ryan Johnson. Bring it, did, Patrick. When was that tweeted? That was one minute ago. One minute ago. All right, so we are probably getting, we are probably getting a lot of first-time viewers. Welcome to the show, Last Jedi fans, fans of Knives Out and Looper and the Brothers Bloom and Brick. Um, Perfect time to come in. <laughs> this, is, I mean, this is the perfect entry really point if you haven't watched the show before. I'm retired filmmaker yeah. George Lucas. This is a great show. Uh, to, 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 just uh, right next to me here is great guy, Patrick Cotnar. Uh, welcome. This is Watto on the other side of me holding. Is that a drum? Is that a percussive log? Excuse me. You should recognize George. Oh, yeah. I recognize it. Oh, it's dark and it's late and I'm exhausted. It's an Ewok drum. Yeah, of course. Uh, I love yeah. Wow, oh, Watto wow. found the clip. You know, that's really good with Watto. <laughs> <laughs> me and Watto, have me and Watto. I got a little Ewok dancing to his drum beat. Steven. Stephen, while they're doing this, what do you want me to say? I won't do the beard, I'll do anything else. Just the, the grayer side. Oh, just the grayer side? Is that, yeah. Is that the side? Just that side, yeah. What's up with these random towels just hanging from the ceiling? Yeah, this seems like a lot of loose, unmatching. No, you're towel. on my, it's on my, like, towel rack. <laughs> Don't be so defensive, just shave What's your that? hair. What's Open the window and scream while you do it. You have to scream while you do it. I have a roommate. I'm not going to do that. Whisper and whisper out the window. Yeah, whisper I love this out the window. Whatever your roommate's name is, scream, this is for you, that person's name. <laughs> I just remembered that you guys made me put hair gel into my hair earlier. And yeah, trying, to my, trying to shave my hair with hair gel is not comfortable. I then just shave off your mustache. No? No. Okay. I like Remember, you if you are just tuning in because Ryan Johnson tweeted about this and you linked to that tweet and are now watching this show, we are raising money for Feeding America. <laughs> this is the George Lucas talk show. Retired, Producer, filmmaker, George Lucas. retired filmmaker George Lucas. Watto. Uh, 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 not very good producer Patrick is shaving his head at the request of Wolfman Steven Charleston. I don't know this why I don't explain all that. This was all evidence. This is the horny for Spo. 
We, we, we have sent out, we've thrown down the gauntlet. Ryan Johnson, come on with your banjo, prove it, bring it. If you want, there's a link down here. You can donate money. We're going to make Patrick look as ridiculous as he can, and he's going to have to spend the next two weeks looking like this. The George Lucas Talk Show, recommended by the New York Times. <laughs> <laughs> Flash back to just a head shaving itself. <laughs> Are you kneeling well, in the tub? Make by the way, Patrick. Make sure no. you're checking to see if Ryan is trying to get in the in the chat. Don't leave him in the green. Oh my god! <laughs> you don't have the link. We'll give it to him. He, he might slide into your DMs to say, hey, if give he me the link. My, if he slides into my DMs, I will send it to him. That's what I'm saying, Patrick. God, Patrick, don't talk back. What are you doing? You need to shave okay. your head and watch the DMs concurrently. Listen, folks, we have to show a little bit of compassion for Patrick. He's a terrible <laughs> producer, but he has a very difficult task at this moment to shave the one side of his head. And I think we need to do what we can to calm him down and put him at ease. And that's okay. why, Patrick, okay. I want to offer you some support. Patrick! I'd like to wail some jizz for you. Not believe that Ryan Johnson just tweeted about the show, and this is what we're doing immediately I know. afterwards. <laughs> people are people are clicking on that link and are confounded. Oh, my God. 
job, Patrick. That Patrick, was amazing. Patrick, you look like what people think will happen to them when, if they take the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> I aspirated pickle juice when you said that. <laughs> now you're going to have to pour milk up your nose. We want to make it clear. Pickles, huh? We want to make it clear to people who uh, thank you for stopping by. If you were directed here by Ryan Johnson's tweet, we want to be clear that this show began at 10 a.m. Eastern time on <laughs> Sunday morning and with no break. And this um, is the best it's been since. <laughs> yeah. And it's never been we better. The show has right. never been better. Did we get a bump? Red Did we get a bump? Morning. Did we get the Johnson bump? What are we oh, at we, now? We, we're, right. we're dropping. Are we dropping? <laughs> we're at 487. Oh, interesting. But we did go up um, to like 420. Hey not on camera. Hang on. Can I say? I did get a, we did get a $150 donation. And the the um, note section says compensation for the marathon you just ran for the Mad Men bit. So, so, so nice. it, it pays. It pays to so, do bits. So you're happy about that? Yeah, yeah, I'm a little happy about it. Yeah, I made a we made 150 dollars. You know what? I'll say it. I made 150 dollars for the show. <laughs> Wait wow. a second. I have some terrible news. Oh, no. Oh, what do we got? Oh, no. no. Terry Crews is trending. <laughs> okay. You got Crews news? What do you got? You got Crews news? Okay. Ready? Is I'm there a bumper for that? Right. Wait, I'm going wait, to get, wait. And find out. My, blue friend, my blue friend, can you give us some clues? No, first? don't read it. Don't read it, Watto. It's not good. It's not good? No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This is bad, 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 bad news. I'm not going to. Oh, read yeah. It. Don't read that one. I what have happened? some good news. I have some good news. Okay, good news. Let's get the good news. You can call me John Krasinski because I have some good news. <laughs> Attack of the Clones is trending on Twitter. That's the best <laughs> news I've heard all day. Okay. We did it. We did it. You guys, we did it. Was that the goal of this? That was the, that was the stealth goal. Is to get episode two trending, and we did it. Wow. 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 Finally, Tones is back in the zeitgeist. Thank you, Otto. <laughs> Thank you so much. The Terry yeah. Crews news is just someone being a dick. I don't understand it, actually. Wait, I, really? I, yeah, I don't understand it. Someone well, made leave, a let's, fake Let's walk away news. from it. Yeah, yeah don't, not, we're walking let's not away. talk about it. Yeah, it's let's just someone. It. It's just like fake news stuff that we don't need to. Oh, don't, yeah, don't, don't, right. don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah, it's not but, anything. But this is real news that wrestler Cody Rhodes <laughs> has inspired fans to do their own ranking of Star Wars movies. And for whatever reason, Attack of the Clones is now the only one that's ranked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cody wow. Rhodes had it number nine out of 14 on his list and yet somehow that is the one that is trending <laughs> you read you you heard about martin screlly though right no what happened he has a friend yes a woman by the name of christy smith who covered his uh crime while she was at bloomberg news she quit bloomberg got a divorce and froze her eggs to have babies with martin screlly She's waiting Wait, for him to get what? out of prison. But 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 yeah. if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> she did did a whole interview about this for Elle magazine, and, and Martin's people from prison said we wish her the best in her endeavors. <laughs> so she got dumped via L magazine <laughs> by Martin. Yes. But she Can won't I admit it. she won't admit it when people ask her on Twitter. She just says well, Martin would say we don't have a relationship, but he's just mad at me. Whoa. Wow. Uh -oh. That's an uh-oh. Wow. Those are uh-oh words. It's a pretty funny. Patrick, make, make me full screen. Yeah, sure, Lotta. I want to formally accuse <laughs> Martin Screlly of starting the not funny Terry Crews thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> wait, wait, is he in prison? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Kenny yeah. Cruz? No. No, <laughs> no not Kenny. Oh. Um Guys, I'm 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 gonna call it. I'm out. Okay. All I'm right. wrapping it here. I'm wrapping wow. what, a, what an Why, you give up easy, huh, Manzukas? Well, you know, I'll have you remember I was here for five hours one week ago. <laughs> oh my god, you're still coasting on that? That was a week ago, Jason. <laughs> when did you here for up, five hours last week? Going. Jason, I've I've seen I've probably talked to you more time in the last week than I've talked to my parents this entire pandemic. Well, I am your father now. Oh, no. oh boy. And Rich's um, kids are our kids. Oh, no. oh, uh, oh I like how I like how you I like how you sort of mashed up uh, Empire Strikes Back with Captain Phillips for that line. <laughs> yes, I am your absolutely. father now. Look at me, uh, look at me. I am your father now. I am your father now. It's yeah. a great match. Patrick, I am your father now. Um this has oh. been an absolute delight. Guys, please, if you're out there, please keep giving. This is for a great cause. You guys are doing incredible work. This has been an amazing time. I've already said my McClunky. It was clean. Let's not worry about it. Mandalorian ended last night. I was in tears. Yeah. Protect Grogu. It's good stuff. I love you all. I love you too. Jason. George. How excited would you be if in season three, uh, Jar Jar is the one that Mando has to protect all season? I wouldn't want that. That's not what I want. And he forms the exact same bond with him. We start to realize that Mando is just, he can Mando's he, just he, needy. He's just lonely. He's just eager to, he's, to bond he's with like, whoever. I'll take my mask off immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love it. Uh, if you don't mind, Bryson, will you play my bumper one more time? Thanks, guys. Take me out. Take me out. Wow. Wow. We stand a king, Jason Manzoukas. We stand a king, Jason Manzoukas. Patrick, let's get the updated total. Where are we at in terms of money? Let me, let me double check. I think, yeah, we got, I think we should follow Jason's leads. <laughs> Have we hit a, a decrescendo? I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go check my I'm gonna go check and see who slid in my DMs and I'm gonna slide into their labia. Oh. Right. <laughs> well, it's a nil. <laughs> wait, wait, we can do one last let's do one last stretch goal because Okay. Because we are at thirty six nine seventy eight sixty five. Patrick, I think I have just this stretch goal. Yeah. I've been sitting on something for this very moment. Okay. Is it your own dick? Because that's just <laughs> huge in that photo we saw. We're so close, Lada. Okay. Let me go get something. I didn't think I was going to share this, but it feels like desperate times come. Desperate. Okay. We're okay. Let me bring it up 36, 978, 75. Uh Come on. All right, so we just need a 20, 27, 25? No, 20, 20, 26, 25? We need $3,012. 26, 25? <laughs> okay, why don't, you, why don't you people who uh, uh, just got here? <laughs> why don't you people who just got waiting, here? If you've been waiting. Now's the time. Twenty 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 six dollars twenty five cents. And if you, you know, I got something for you. Wait, the, the, why are you saying twenty six dollars, George? Isn't that right? What do we got? <laughs> oh, it's left twenty two dollars and twenty five cents. No, twenty dollars dollars and twenty five cents, George. Oh, you just right. want to get to thirty seven thousand? Yeah, I want a nice. Oh, clean you want to get to forty thousand? I want a nice clean number. No, no. I, I want, want I want thirty seven. Nice and clean. No. We'll 40's, be here long. Forty's too much. Forty's too much. Forty's too much. We don't want it. We want. We always wanted it to be thirty-seven. We never 21, wanted it to be forty. Yeah. Twenty-one twenty-five. Twenty-one twenty-five. Okay. I wonder what Watto's working on over there. 
Um, what is Watto doing? What's he in yeah. his toy box? Probably playing in his toy box. Okay. Um, oh. oh, fuck. George, we got a problem. That's it. <sighs> Hang on. What happened? Oh, this sounds serious. What happened? You miscalculated? No. What? Worse than that. What? You, you under... Calculated? No. Terry Crews donated. <laughs> Martin Shkreli donated. <laughs> Shkreli's money. George, we got something worse. We what went happened? past what? 37. That's okay. Let's give back that $5.65. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's not getting a sandwich. No, throw it on the ground. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I have a stretch goal. Okay. Wait, for what, Wada? <laughs> for what? Well, you were gone. We did it. We did it. <laughs> the, the stretch goal was you leaving for 30 seconds. <laughs> 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 what, 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 end, I don't know. Should we just end the stream no, now? No, no, you, got, you went and got something. No, what did USPS finally deliver? <laughs> I got the package from Amazon recently. I was buying some new coffee filters. Is this branded content? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Because it's busy time of year, the holiday season. Hmm. Amazon's sending out more mail than ever. And it seems that they've ran out of packing materials. So in my box with the coffee filters was not air bubbles. It was not packing peanuts. It appears that they have now resorted to using as packing materials for their boxes. Props from canceled Amazon TV show. <laughs> I received in a box of coffee filters. This is garbage that Amazon was throwing away. <laughs> An original Flag 5 Flock Flare from the very much canceled TV series The Tip. Oh my god, wow. Seemingly signed by actor Griffin Newman. Wado, do we want to save this for next month? Is that Papa no. Smurf? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a good tease for next month. <laughs> let next someone, month? Yes, let someone stew about this for a month. Someone right now watching this who really wants it. Yeah. We'll spend all month just yeah. thinking about it. Yeah. I you think can still meet America next month. America, trust me, America is still going to be hungry a month from now. Well, hypothetically, let's see hypothetically how much someone would pay for this. I also agree with Andrea Streeter, who's saying the Richie Riches aren't awake. $69. Yeah, I, I mean, think, I'm I not you could get a lot for that. Whereas right now, we're just sort of trying to get whatever spare change yeah. people can throw at us. Yeah, why do I think you save that? Should we try and organize just real fast a reunion of Rich's Improv Team America to do a Herald? Yeah, right yeah. Now? let's yeah, talk about definitely. that team. Who's on the team? Oh, you want names? Yeah. Do you remember? No, 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 no. Tell us faces. You should, <laughs> get, you should go get Rich, Stephen. For this, I don't know if you know them all. You should go get Rich. You might not know the members. You might tap out after Charlie Saunders. Wait, three hundred. Hold on. Blue Note Viscara says three hundred. Oh, Watto, maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe. We got maybe, to start maybe. going higher than that. If people want to make this an option, they got to start throwing out some real numbers. It's pretty good. 300's not good. I, I'd like to see bigger. Wow. Yeah. That's, That's true. A t shirt went for like 200 earlier. So, yeah. 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 And we know what? from that, and we know from that, zooming in on that photo, that when Wado says he'd like to see bigger, we just judge by the scale of it. He's not, he's not joking around. around. Avalanche size here. <laughs> we want an avalanche. Avalanche size here. We want an avalanche. avalanche Wait a second. Who is What's this? Happening? We want an avalanche. avalanche. Uh oh. What's happening? Hello. Oh, no. oh my Hello. God. Are we putting a cherry on top? I'm sure. <laughs> 
Am I on the show? Okay. You gotta introduce him. Where's on the show? Hi. Well, first of all, I brought my lightsaber, but the battery died. So tell me, tell me if you can hear the sound it's making. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I can't turn it off. It's 3 30 a.m. He just makes his noise now forever. <laughs> I'm pressing the button. I unscrewed the bottom of it and I'm trying to turn the sound off. Wait, wait. Hey Zach, this is great because you're actually this is huge. You're actually guest number 92. Yeah. Well, we need to introduce him. He's not on the show yet. Oh, yeah, Zach, how oh, do you want to be introduced? True. Sorry, that's why I asked if I was on the show. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, a fan. It's always nice to meet a fan. Yeah, j just uh, you can just introduce me as a fan. Okay. <laughs> Grogu's and Gragas, this next guest is just a fan. It's time to go cherry picking with Zach Sherry. Hey. Hey, Zach. <laughs> hey, Zach. Well, I really can't turn this off. <laughs> You know, in some ways, this that lightsaber is a metaphor for this fundraiser. <laughs> well, I mean, I can't, I've been lurking, and I came on, and my plan was to donate an Irishman um, right here at the end, but I don't know if you guys will be able to fulfill it. At well, time. Zach, Zach, here's something. Tom Sharpling donated an Irishman, but he's he saving did. it for another week. Wow. He's okay. back pocketing the Irishman. So, you well, should be an Irishman. If someone that, can figure out how I can turn this off, take the batteries I, out. Take the batteries out. No, I, I, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, if I can turn this off in the next 10 minutes, I'll donate $200. <laughs> <laughs> AKA, I, I, as everyone knows, two hundred dollars. The full Irishman. <laughs> oh, I, oh, here okay, we wait. go. People in the chat are really mad because we didn't give someone a chance to say McClunky. Ooh. Okay, we're making progress. Okay, Zach, let's get this really quick. Let's get this clean. Oh, I, you need a McClunky out of me. No, not from you, Zach. I'm muting you. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. McClunky. Great. Thank you, Abigail. I, uh, Zach, when you first appeared on the stream before I knew it was you and I just heard my voice echoing, I thought that someone had come on who had already sampled the thing I just said and was playing some sort of weird club remix. Uh, I didn't realize it was just that, but the speakers echoing what was playing on the stream. I, I, was, I was watching the stream on my TV. Yeah. And that's what you were hearing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because mm -hmm. when you were trying to get to a thousand people, I fired it up on seven devices in my home. Oh, wow. Oh, you're no, fine. Zach. Zach, you were trying to stop the sound that the lightsaber <laughs> made. <laughs> but what if we go in the opposite direction? Oh. What if instead of trying to stop the sound, we own the sound? We and own it? George, do you want to uh, you want to start up another club club hit to this? Lightsaber, 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 light. Saber light, 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 Light saber, 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 light
light, saber 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 light. Saber light. Saber light. Saber light. Saber light. Saber light. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess doing a long stream isn't that hard if this is what it is. Huh. I guess doing a long stream isn't really hard if this is what you do. I mean, I guess doing a long stream isn't really hard if this is what you do. If this is what you do. If this is what you do. Can we get a clean McClunky from you? You can't. Well, you can't get it fully clean, but you can get it with a little bit of saber in the background. That's okay. Do you guys remember when when bitches be horny for Spo tried to leave like a half an hour ago? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I heard that more was happening. I was trying to give an out for the for the for the real crew, but then it was like, let's do a stretch goal, and I was like, I'll help. And yeah. I got another guest on. Well, this stream this is now hour eighteen of the stream, which means this stream is old enough to be grafted into the United States military. <laughs> if, if hours were years. And they do feel like it now. Hours feel like years. That's really powerful. Think yeah, about oh, it. Oh, what does that mean? Think about it. Hours were years. If hours were years. Hours were years. Hours were years. Hours were years. Hours hours for years. If hours were yours. Hours for years. If hours were yours. Hours. Hours were yours. Hours were yours. Hours were yours. We would be feeding America. Hours were yours. We'd be selling America. Hours for yours. Feeding. It was um, Eli Newell, Eddie Dunn, um, Nessa Renard, Nick Gibbons, Charlie Sanders, Will McLaughlin, Rich Summer, and uh. Allison Becker. Yeah. And may the force be with you. Always. Do you want to boot us all so you can dominate the questions? Jesus. Oh, he left. You guys oh, Jason. That's boot. rich. That's rich. Oh, this is rich. Here yeah, we no, go. You were wrong. That was oh, wrong. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Just like that. I had a bumper. Oh, look at this. What a delight. <laughs>
What a delight. Hello, Jason. Hi, Darcy. I'm Rich. Nice Rich, to, it's so nice to meet you. Likewise. Uh, hi, Patrick. Hi, Watto. Hi, George. Hi, Rich. Hi, hi Rich. I, I brought... Wait, uh, can I ask a question? Was that a bit? You guys have met before, right? We have not met. <clears throat> wow. wow. What? But I, I am halfway through... My daughter, through this pandemic has watched The Good Place. She's on her third full viewing. She watched it wow. once by herself all the way. Who's her favorite once, character? Who's her favorite character? Her mom all the way through it. Now she's halfway through it with me. Uh, so, so we're- Which means favorite character? I'm halfway Who's through it. Who's her season. favorite character? We're, 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 I suppose that Who's makes Who's her us, favorite character? Uh, 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 Janet. What, uh, uh, sorry, Jason. Right? <laughs> sorry, Jason. <laughs> Uh -oh. Who's your favorite guest, Kelly? Who's your favorite guest star? Guest recurring. Oh, who's your oh, favorite yeah, recurring? Uh, uh, Jason's character, whose name? God damn it, Rich! Derek? Derek? No. What is it? Derek, Derek. Bryson, Derek. give me a bumper. Bryson, give me something. Bryson, give me a yeah, bumper. Give, give, give me something. Likes to, likes to, likes to. No. That did that not help, Bryson. That, was, that no. did not help. You guys want give a bumper? I'm okay. Okay. That's better. That's guys, better. Better. Talk, better. If we, have, if we have any good place people in the in the in the chat, J we so Jason's do. character's name is Derek Hofstetler, yeah, and for... one of my favorite um, lines that he improvised that didn't make it was that his name was um, Derek the Eric Hofstetler. <laughs> did, we just get, did we just get a good place legend? You're on that. Yes. Like that's yes. not canon yes. because it's not. And that's canon, no. honey. So and you could shoot that out of a legend. cannon. It's so canon. <laughs> <laughs> there was, there was a lot. I feel like my the name. There was a lot of improvising around what Derek's name was yes. was. Because uh, yeah. at a certain point, wasn't I also cacaing like a bird? Yeah, you were like an eagle. You were the <laughs> eagle. Yeah. I do, hang on. I do want to point out this comment from Horde Jedi. While talking to some family friends today, I unwittingly referred to Rich Summer as my friend because he's on the show a lot and I've been locked in my house for a year. Oh, that's, really that's fine nice. by me. That is that's fine that's by really me. That's really nice. So wait, Rich, before you came in, we were guessing who was in Darcy's hotel room, house. We're not really sure. But right, we've established so far that it's neither Cheech nor Chong yeah, and that the person correct. is alive. Right. Well, yes. well, we well. We each get one well. question. Who's gone? Patrick stole a question. So he's asked two yes. questions. Jason asked no. a question. Wado, have you asked your question yet? I have not. I was going to ask, and then Patrick stole it. We also and learned that the person is in Shotgun Wedding, Darcy's movie. That, oh, yeah. But okay. we should okay. we should oh. clarify. We should clarify because you said something wrong, Rich. You said we have learned that it is neither Cheech nor Chunk. We have not learned that. Patrick also asked, "Is the person one half of Cheech or Chunk?" Oh, that's, that's all we know. Shit. Holy that's shit! That's oh, right. Fair. Also, can I ask a quick question? Darcy, are you able to tell us or are you currently gagged and gooped about whether or not you can say this? Bryson, where's the gagged and gooped bumper? Oh, Bryce? Give me the full screen. I'm I'm working I'm working on it right now. Give me the full screen. <laughs> when I say you make me a gagged and gooped bumper, Bryson, you make that bumper. I'm you I'm made working. me look like a grade A asshole out here. I am on. You're making right me look now. like a moron. I just recorded the audio for it. It'll be up in just a second, sir. You're making me look like an asshole in front of my best friends. Bryson, we're gonna come and find you and we're gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bryson, that's not an idle threat. I don't want you to think that that is rhetoric or hyperbole. Yeah. The six of us, when this is all over, when things are safe again, we're gonna kill you. The six of us are gonna find you. Yeah. And we're gonna fucking kill you. I'm <laughs> gonna fucking slice you throat to hey, Bryson, button, hey, Bryson, you see this? This is you, okay? Hey, Bryson? Hey, Bryson? Get it, get it, get it. Yeah! Whoa! Yeah. Hey, Bryson! Hey, hey, Bryson! You think you think I'm not adverse to coming over there, my guy? Hey, Br hey, Bryson! Hey, Bryson! I'm gonna fucking kill you, man! <laughs> oh, you should not have gotten that in your mouth. Oh. Oh. That hey, is Bryson. for sure toxic. Hey, Bryson! 
<laughs> Bryson! <laughs> Bryson, this is a stylus I got when I voted that turns into a pen. And guess what? I got a second one because one was for the primary and one was for the election. And I'm going to fuck you up. Hey, Bryson. Give me the scream. Give me the scream. You've seen my hammer, but Bryson, don't you worry. I'll also come at you with a hatchet. I will come at you with a hatchet if you don't bring me a gooped and gagged bumper, Bryson. Can I have this? Can I have the screen? Just me and Bryson. <laughs> Bring Bryson, Bryson back. Bring Bryson Brack. Bring Bryson Brack. Hey George. Hey Bryson. Yeah, George. This is you. I want you to remember this. Yeah. Okay. You looking? Yeah, I'm looking. Okay. I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay. This is you. He better not forget. <laughs> He better not forget. I can't drink any more tea because ceramic got in it when I broke my other mug. Oh, oh yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Rich, you might have, you've arrived late. You are in the middle of an episode of Talking Tea with Zooks and the Gang. Bryce. <laughs> uh oh. What do we got here? Wow! Oh! My man's little bow steep over here. He was already steeping. Oh, Rich, Rich, let me ask you as the host of Talking Tea with Zooks in the Gang. Thanks for having what, me. What are you steeping, my guy? I've got a, uh, I've got a, a peppermint tea. Ooh, Ooh nice. Yeah. That's what I that... had. All right. Uh, once again, All I'm right. rocking. Honey, chai, turmeric, vitality, um, <laughs> sweet and spicy. Yeah. Oh. Bryson, Bryson, give me the full screen. <laughs> give me full screen. That was unsettling. <laughs> that was the noise you recorded for gagged and gooped. For eating I, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Bryson. <laughs> Bryson, bring yourself bring Bryson Brack. Bring Bryson back. <laughs> yes, George. Bryson. Yeah. Do you remember what I said to you? Yeah. A few minutes ago, what I say? You said that I was that bread. And to remember it. Your toast, Bryson. We're gonna find Bye him. bye Bryson. <laughs> <laughs> that gagged and goop bumper was not okay. You know, not playing okay. it again. What but my question would be behind the scenes, Bryson, what did you do to make the sound? That's a great <laughs> like, question. Do it on camera. Bryson, let's I'll see just, you make the sound again, please. Just, do, should we get it clean? Y yeah, yeah, hang on one okay. sec. Hang on one sec, Bryson. Oh, God. Wanna, we want to make Wait. sure it's clean. Can we get that clean? Okay, okay, okay. Right. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of what I did. Okay, the only problem is it wasn't clean because people were laughing in the background. So, could you okay, yeah, if I could, That's please. My okay. Darcy, do you have. Can we get that clean? All right. Darcy, do you have any notes? No, honestly, it was perfect. I mean, okay, okay, wait. If I would say it's, you know, you know the note, mm. and the note is it's got to be wetter. Yeah. <laughs> I ran, I ran out of. There you go, buddy. That was just a drip. All right. <clears throat> All right. Sometimes.
that's so fucking gross. We gotta get I feel like there was more, that was a lot more vocalized. Like you had you a guys, tone to that. Yeah. Bye bye, Bryson. That was disgusting. That was I mean, it makes me not want to say gagged and gooped. I know, and that used to be well, the most fun thing to say. Do you see what I mean? There's Patrick, less, it voice, might be time, less voice. It, Patrick, it might be time to hold a funeral. Oh, you think it's time? Yeah. That it's going to be the shortest lifespan of any of any running joke on the show. I, Bryson put on all that work, but we were retiring it. Exactly. Yeah, it's over. We're, none of us from this point forward will ever say G and G or G again. Now we can say them separately. Yeah. Yeah. Just not together. Not together. Okay. Yeah. For, for me, to... for me, from now on, the only G and G in my book is Georgia and Jenny on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> Starring Rich Summer as Jenny. <clears throat> That's right. <laughs> Can I say I feel like things have gotten a little tense here because yeah. of the whole gagged and goop thing. Yeah. I am, I'm sorry, sorry for even saying Why it. Why did you I'm say sorry. it, Waddle? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I just feel like we need to all <laughs> calm down and clear the air at this point. I feel like this segment has gotten a little tense. Maybe we need to go somewhere a little more relaxing where mm -hmm. the water is nice. Oh, you think so? Come on in, the water's nice. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Watto, so <laughs> relaxed. Oh, nice. Ah. Ah. Put your legs up. Ah. was in my room. Let's go back to that. Ah. Oh, that is nice. Uh, is it nice? <laughs> you guys, wait, did, did, did I just, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, you're here. Yes, we just can hear ahead. you. Every once in a while, George goes quiet and it makes me nervous. Oh God, I just, the balls, the disco balls are moving. Um, Darcy, is this house haunted? No, uh, maybe by the ghost of who? No, we gotta figure that out. Oh, we got it. We're still guessing. That's right. Yeah. Oh wait, I, I haven't I, asked my question yet. Wada, did you ask your ahead, question? Baby, no, we both have questions to ask. Are we the only two? Uh, uh, us and Rich. Are we the ones who have questions left? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. George, do you want to go first? I'll go ahead and use my question. Or maybe this will. Some might consider this a waste of the question, but I don't. This is crazy. What you can't see me, Darcy? Okay, I can't hear you, but now I can hear you. So, let, so if I don't react that, if I don't react the right way, that means I can't hear you. Yeah, I'm gonna go like this if I can't hear. You. If I can't hear, I'm gonna go like this. Okay, like that. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Okay, go ahead, George. Okay, here's my question. What's Patrick's fucking deal? <laughs> <laughs> Darcy, general? do you mind? Do you mind if I ask my question now? Please, please ask. Make me full screen. <laughs> Patrick, what's your fucking deal? So you're asking your, you're taking your question opportunity to ask Patrick a question? Because it has to be answered. At this point, things have gone on far too long. Can I, can I ask my question before you answer any? Mine's more of a comment than it is a question. I just want to say I really appreciate you guys taking your questions and using it to find out what the fuck Patrick's deal <laughs> is. But, but you go ahead now. One Rich, screen. can I, can I, this isn't in the question, this is Should a I just tell you guys? I'll just tell you guys. Can you make me full screen? <laughs> Patrick, what's your fucking deal? <laughs> Rich, can we make Rich full screen for a second? Rich, what is your camera focused on? Because it's not 
<laughs> I'm not sure. I think it's this. Nothing. That's it's nothing. I would argue nothing's in focus. I think this. No, it, but that's soft too. Everything. It's soft. The whole thing is soft. Is ooh, there you go. Ooh. Now you got it. Focus. Because I was gonna ooh, say. Ooh, interestingly, now it made everything. Now it changed the light yeah. in your room to be darker and warmer. Whoa. Yeah. But also, by the way, Rich Summer's slipper game on point. And also, if I may say, nice rack. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you see that? He moved his little tipsy, and all of a sudden it rack focused, and he was sharp. Oh, look at Whoa, that. Whoa, good one. Yeah. Are we going to do a Tootsie show? <laughs> Listen, if we're us. all going to. Patrick, no! <laughs> Nice rack. I just. Got I feel like Pat. I feel like Patrick is doing an OnlyFans show right now. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the way I can see up his obvious pajama leg is the, this is a you're doing a show, Patrick. You're was, doing a show. You can see, I can see all the way to the back of your knee. I feel disgusted. And Jason, also, you're, acting, you're acting like I've worn any other kind of pants since last March. <laughs> oh. Also, Jason, did you say did you, you say obvious pajama game? What'd you, what'd you say? What, what was the phrase you said? Obvious pajama game? No, obvious pajama pants. Obvious pajama pants. All right. Do you like, do you like my point? Hang on. So we've all asked this. The five of us have asked questions. I feel like we're missing one person. Rich, is Stephen there? Can should Stephen come ask a question? I can go get him. You should go get him, Darcy. That was uh, deeply felt sigh. Stephen is Rich's roommate. He uh, comes on the show. Jason sometimes. doesn't like Stephen. Yeah. You know what? I've I've rethought him, and he's a cool guy. I feel like I didn't. I feel like I didn't give him a, a fair shake the last also, time. Rich, also, and Rich, I haven't met him. Right? I'm not I really him. Him. Yeah. Rich, if I'm not overstepping, I get the impression you're not wild about Stephen. <laughs> You know, you know, Rich, Rich, you're allowed to say Steve isn't there. You know that, right? I know, but I'd be lying. He's right. He's there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lie. I just don't want to. I don't want to interact with him. So I'm not going to be here, but I can get That's him. That's fine. Just go get All right. him. Just I'll go get back. him. Dar I hope. Darcy, just for like a quick fill-in, you need to understand. Please. He said roommate, but it seems like Stephen is more like a guy who stays with him. Right. Uh, yes. He loves pickles, and there is a running issue where Stephen tries to claim that the rich's wife and children are his own. And he also, if I remember correctly, doesn't stop eating pickles even yeah. when they make him sick. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, Steven. hey, Steven. Hey, Steven. What's happening? Hey, Who are you? It's good to see you, Steven. Who's that? Which That's one? You, uh, I think, Darcy. He hasn't met you. Hey, he Steven, met I'm, you. I'm Darcy. We haven't met yet. Hi there. List some, list some credits, Darcy. Let them know where he might recognize you from. Ronda Basmati. Um... <laughs> Eyebrows girl and uh -huh. um, uh, Jill uh, po uh, Polly, Polly from the Rocket Polly, 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 Polly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or uh, Stephen, you might know her as Ashley in Bachelorette. Ashley is single again. Yep. Okay. Okay. So I guess he doesn't recognize me, but that's nope. um, it's nice to meet you. Anyway. It's nice to meet you too. Uh, so Stephen, Stephen, what are the what are the pickles? What are the pickles you're rocking tonight? This is just the usual. It's a fiery heat, three pepper spears, sucker punch, gourmet, <coughs> gourmet pickle. <laughs> Whoa! Did you so see? So you it? decided to go with the heat. Yeah. Stephen, you're Wait, the last person uh, to have uh, Patrick, a to ask uh, who was Patrick, living. Could in you the pass house Stephen that... some pickles? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Let's have. Let him, well, know. Patrick seems to have chips, and Stephen has spears. Well, we'll see how cameras work. May sometimes magically. Steven, reach up and you can try I guess, to grab I guess, I guess you could Patrick's just hand him, you could hand him the whole jar. Oh, I could hand him the whole jar. Uh, hurry, there's so much pickle juice. Here we go, here we go, Steven. The pickle I have prepared Bring to receive down. from you. Bringing it down, Steven. Uh, <laughs> that, that, uh, Darcy, another thing you should know about Steven is he's been trying very hard to become 
the official spokesperson of Sucker Punch Pickles. And oh, we hey. started the campaign, Make My Pickles, Steven. I want to <laughs> Steven been, my pickles. Oh, That's what my pickles. Been going well. They used to respond to our tweets, and they've stopped doing that now. But they seem, also, it seems like we've happen. driven them from Twitter, Stephen. Yeah, they haven't tweeted about anything in the world. No, the last thing they tweeted about, I think, was the pickle giveaway we did like three months ago. Yeah. Oh, well, no, maybe the pandemic. I think hard. we can liven them oh, up, maybe. right? Yeah, because their most recent um, tweet was retweeting... Rich Summers tweet two hours until pickle o'clock. December third, twenty twenty. Yeah, that sounds right. well. Much like much like the mink population, pickles can get COVID. Mm. Hey, so I'm, I'm gonna um, tweet from GL Talk Show, G Lucas Talk Show. Hey, at Sucker Punch, pick you up. <laughs> I, I just I just want to. I'm it. sorry. I'm sorry to, to kill the fun here, but I have to ask because I'm concerned. Uh, Steven, you're downing those pickles pretty quickly. You're not just swallowing them whole, right? No, no, no. I give him a couple chews on the way down. What? Trust in you. I believe in you. Trust in choose. He's got nothing to lose. Wow. Bing, wow. bing. Now, uh, uh, now I believe Steven, uh, one Steven, question left. Oh, yeah. Steven's the, the holder of the last, the keeper of the last question. The last exactly. question. Exactly. Oh, what uh, am I asking? Uh, we're trying to find out who it was who was in this um, place that Darcy's at prior to Darcy. There was someone else mm -hmm. who was staying in Sylvester that Stallone. space. <laughs> Sylvester oh, yeah. Stallone. Let's, let's recap some of the things we know, oh. okay? Darcy is staying at the house in the Dominican Republic. Mm. This room that she is in was previously being occupied by someone else in the cast of the upcoming film, Ch -ch Shotgun Wedding. Okay. The person who is staying in this room is not one half of the famed comedy duo, Chi Chin Chong. Mm -hmm. and, and the last thing you should know is that conclusively, we have no idea what Patrick's fucking deal is. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's it, right? That's what we know. Use your question it. wisely, Stephen. Should I just ask who it is? Yeah, you can mm -hmm. ask who it is. Stephen, you just wasted your question. <laughs> <laughs> I was She's trying. Confused. I'm sorry, George. No, it's oh, fine. Mama. It's fine. I was just trying to figure out the game the game we were doing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look what's going on up there. Wait. I'm breaking out a new bag, everybody. Oh. That's some good. I, we got Meryl Steep here. Oh. Guys, I want to say guys. that I, I quietly re up to a second uh, cup of tea and then realize that the tea I'm drinking is caffeinated. No! Oh, no. Huge mistake. Huge Watto, mistake. Truly, Watto, can you, can you show off that mug one more time, though, Watto? Huh? Take a sip. Okay. Hoover Dam. Amazing. <laughs> Incredible. Perfect. <laughs> wow. You're you're a regular Stephen Baldwin. Oh. Steven, oh no. Good job. Boot him. Give him the boot, Patrick. Gone. All right. Patrick. Gone. Rich better be here when he comes back, though. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Patrick, this is starting yeah. to feel like this is starting to feel like oops, no bumpers. Oh yeah? I don't think there's a bumper. Okay, for that, a while so. since there's been a, a bumper. Yeah, okay. new bumper. We haven't seen a new one in the wild. Uh, oh, here's one. Oh, God, I'm going to get made fun of for this one. Yeah, I feel like there, was, there, there, used to, there used to be there used to be good bumpers. You know what? <laughs> there used to be good bumpers on this show. This show used to be nothing but bumpers. And yeah, I loved it for is, that. Is that a fact about this show you're trying to tell us? 
Not that it's about, that it's nothing but, yeah, that's a fact. Boom. Pretty good I mean, that's better. Hi, Rich. Oh, thank God, Rich is here. Hey, hey Rich. Hey, Rich. Hey, Darcy. Good to- hey, Rich. Hey, Rich. Hey, Rich. Hey, Rich. Yeah. Do you want to yeah. watch me plug my bun into Jason's microphone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Very much. Wait, that was, that sounded like a fart, right? It sounded like there was a fart. <laughs> it was this against my marble floor. That feels oh, less plausible than if you just said, oh, I tooted a little. Like, I no, no. Wait, wait. wait, ready? Hold on. Hold ready, on. hold on, hold on. Let me, ready? let me lower it. Okay, go. Wait, hold on. Listen. Okay. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to, pl- no, higher it, higher it. I like it higher. Wait, when you move, I'll move. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Ready? Yeah. And... <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Let's then they, you know, they'll just edit it out. Ready? Okay. Yeah, we'll edit it. Make a. You better be capturing this, Bryson, to make a goddamn bumper out of it. Okay, wait. I'm gonna start low. Okay, yeah, ready? you ready? God, why can't I tell? Okay, and here we go. Fuck. Okay, I think I gotta go like that. And I think you gotta lean forward. You gotta yeah. lean forward. Can you give us just a two shot of Darcy and I, please? It won't work. No, like it won't that. work. It then I'll have to do it this better. way. Oh, okay. okay. Then fuck no, that. Fuck that. Okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. I want to be okay. And one. Two, three. I kind of moved my head the wrong way. Darcy, can I give you a note? Can I yeah, give you please, a note, Darcy? Please. I think the issue is as you're moving up, you're also moving forward. So it okay, throws okay. off the alignment. So okay. you have to just go straight up and stay <laughs> no, on the no. same axis. Okay, I'm gonna stay on the okay. This is so so <laughs> it. You're so right. Okay, yeah. ready? Do you see what do you see where it is? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. God damn it. I'm tired. Okay. And yeah, yeah. Uh, that was okay, good. okay. That looked good. So it looks like if you do, if you lean forward, oh yeah. If you yeah. lean, if you this move towards camera, this is yeah. Great. If you move Ready? towards camera, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Why? Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. You you, know why are you moving your head to the side? You have to understand when I move my yeah. head to this side. It goes the other way on in my view. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. But and all you have to do, but here's the thing, Darce, all you have to do is move on an up and down axis. <laughs> it doesn't need to go, it doesn't need to go side to side either way. You guys know that was my water bottle. Again. Can we get this clean? Can we get this clean? Can we get that clean? Okay, so Jay, we're gonna get the sound of my bun going into your microphone clean, right? Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> okay, I dirtied that one up a little bit. <laughs> Why is it tilting? Here we go, ready? Uh-huh. <clears throat> ready? That was really clean. That was pretty that's, good. That looks, by the way, if you stay there, if you stay there statically, if you stay there statically, it looks like I'm talking into your bun. Yes, it do. It looks like I'm talking into your bun. That's what's. That's what we've been going for. We're that's talk- the victory. The victory is the bun mic. We're talking buns. We're talking buns, oh, Bryson. No. Oh no. Jennifer Lopez. Talking that, yes. buns, yes. this is it. <laughs> It's not Jennifer Lopez. Great guest, though. Really good We're guess. talking buns with Zooks and Darce. That's what's up. Also, uh, Patrick, did you check your email? Hold on, Bryson, are you working on that? Yeah, I'm writing it down at the very least. What That's What the fuck does that mean? That's why I'm writing it all, down? Hey, there's a whole bumper backlog of everything that they've asked for for months. And... Now, Patrick, you t- you your email. I, I did. Do it. I'll throw it nice. up. I do want to say we did get this bumper. Oh, here we go. From yes. Nice. Sorry, too lazy to. Here we go. I love minute bowl. Chicken soup for minute bowl. I mean, I that's love, solid. That's I solid. These, that's that's so from that, a fan. Yes, that is from Sam Hodge. Sent that. Yeah, Good Darcy, job, Sam. Darcy, you said the noise was you guys, your. It was your bottle on the marble floor. Yeah. Wait. Say it again, Georgie. You said that your that noise before was uh, the bottle on the marble floor. 
Um, I have just sent uh, Patrick something via email, um, and it's just a way of humiliating Bryson and and how how slow his turnaround time is because I've been here on the show with you guys and I already have a bumper. Yeah. Um, I'm do trying I to. Need, yeah. Do I need to hear what he said? Because if so, someone repeat it. Uh, he's got, he's uh, George has a bumper. George has a bumper time. that he's ready to go. Okay, great. And it's I didn't just to it's just to humiliate Bryson because he wants to show how fast he made it. Yeah. Um, hang on one second. <laughs> I mean, Bryson, knock, knock, who's there? That's how it's fucking done. Yeah. Hi, Bryson. He's, he's a retired filmmaker. How am I supposed to compete with him? Uh, he's, you like know what he retired. does? He, he has an idea. Inspiration happens. He executes. What do you do? Mm -hmm. You put it in an old nut container yeah, you and you let it just jar. sit on your desk. It's hey, just Bryson. a pile of shit in a jar. Do I, do I get no credit for the bumpers that no. have been done? This is just no. a backlog. No, Bryson, you don't. Have not been done. No. You I want to credit. circle back. I want to circle back to something Bryson said that I think should not go unexplored. He said, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. well, yeah. hey. I would, I would rather we don't explore that one. But I would, I think none of us should be making that sound. No, Otherwise, never. people are going to use it as a as a ringtone. <laughs> Not if they don't get it clean. Bryson said, right? <laughs> Jason says, "Did you see that, Bryson? That's how it's done, right?" Mm -hmm. And Bryson's response was, "He's a retired filmmaker. How am I supposed to compete with that?" So Bryson's defense is. He is a man who, by his own admission, is retired from the thing that he just ran circles around me doing. But yeah. Bryson is on the fucking job. He's at the factory. He's clocked in, and this retiree is doing laps around him. What out? Can I? Can I? Okay, let's let is, Bryson is, in here. He, it is truly, it is amazing that Bryson would use as an argument in his own defense, how am I supposed to work as hard as people who have <laughs> actually stopped working altogether? Now, George, here's, you know, here's what I'll say. Go ahead, Bryson. Oh, I, I just wanted to say to Watto's point, in my defense, for a show entitled Oops All Bumpers, you actually never officially opened the bumper factory. Oops. We have to start over. No, we don't have to start over. We just yes. need to open the factory now. Okay. We can make okay. up for lost time. I've been doing everything that you've asked for so far off the clock. What do you want? Well, here's, here's what I, here's here's what, you know what, you know what I would want, Bryson, if I was running this show? Hang on one sec. I, I just want to get Darcy. Darcy, can you just give us that clean? <laughs> can you yeah, tell that I'm tired? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. I just, okay. Well, we're, <clears throat> okay. Well, we're living here in Bumper Town. Okay. And then I'll give you another. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. And then the other one would be. With a little more energy, maybe it would be like, well, we're living here in Bumper Town. Yeah, so that's clean, right? That's good. Okay. That's pretty clean. What were you gonna say? Can you can you can you take I am assuming you're gonna create a bumper out of that. So I'm just gonna put I'm gonna give you a take to so that I'm harmonizing with Darcy. Yes, okay? please, please. And we also have Will Hines. Yes, uh, we do have Will well. Hines. Okay. Well, we're living here in Bumper Town. Do you do you know that that was an exact? <laughs> exactly. That is exactly what Will thought, Hines did. Who would have thought? Hey, what? Lucas and Will Hines would give the same line. No, reading. I mean it was if you Bryson. He's when, he's ripping me off. He's ripping Bryson, me off. When you lay those on top of each other, it will be identical. Perfect. <laughs> Down to the last kind of like thing you did at the end. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm I, I can't believe that just happened. Zeus, do you want to give me a, a clean reading of uh, any audio you want for talking buns? What is it? Talking buns? Talk. Okay. Yeah. 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 
Talking buns with Zooks and Darcy. We're talking about those buns, hun. Oh. <laughs> uh, Patrick, you're supposed to hold. We're getting room tone. Fart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I go? Bye bye, Bryson. <laughs> Patrick, roll in some numbers. Roll in some numbers. Okay. Oh, roll them in. Well, great. I mean, we're way ahead of that segment. We've been we've been handling that. I'm gonna say this. Yeah. I think we're out of bumpers. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess we are out of bumpers because we already did this, motherfucker. <laughs> no, there's there's at least one bumper left, I know. This one? Oh, this rattles. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. That one. I feel like have you I feel like there's a gotta be a bunch more Patrick is a rat bumpers, or, or did you play them before I came on? No, the only there was the stew many, one, there was the cheese one. I think that was how it. How many of the bumpers feature Rhapsody in Blue? Because I think that's at least two. <laughs> that's the second one. That's yeah. the second yeah. one. For sure. Yeah, it, it, a lot of the bumpers share public domain music. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> we're trying to keep uh, Rhapsody in Blue, the public domain recording, as, and we're trying to make it associated with our show so that uh, 10 years from now people are like, oh, yeah, that's that George Lucas talk show uh song uh, we should hold, do this hold because, on hold on i'll be back in the, the rap and cheese again you'll hear yeah. the way the siren leads into the gershwin yeah. yeah uh sorry i'll be back in 30 seconds okay i do think we should do this one again george because none of our guests were here for this one earlier and this, this okay good one. 60 second fan art challenge can you uh send me that one uh can you uh, wait uh, to me, Patrick. Wait, if that so that seems like a bumper you use when you've given the fans a challenge. Well, so we if you guys give them a challenge to draw something, we'll see what we get in the next sixty seconds. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, we're okay. Into that sixty seconds at this point. I well, mean, we're, we're. I mean, like we've not given people a real chance. I mean, this is like you. You really boned us by playing the bumper before we even like gave the challenge. The starting if you guys, now. If you guys say what they have to draw. I'll play it again, and then it will start. Yeah. yeah. Well, you've kind of rendered it impotent if you just play it whenever you feel like. You really, you really fucking boot. I mean, like you really fucking booted us on this one, Patrick. Yeah, you, you fucking booted us. Booted us. Yeah, you boot. You, really you booted us. Boot you fucking booted us. Uh, let's okay. let's think. What's the what? What do we want people to draw? Um, oh, I mean, we can just. Why don't people draw a picture of who they think was in the house before Darcy? Oh, great. Great. That's great. That's, great That's great. Great. That's great. Great. Well done. And then you can confirm or deny. Yes. 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 Okay. So here we go. We okay. will start this. 60 second fan art challenge. Um, I will say that some people in the comments have gotten it right. Oh. Oh, I haven't even noticed that people have been guessing in the comments. I, I have a well, problem. Darcy, um, Darcy reads the comments sometimes. I have a, an issue. Wait, what'd you say? Charlie? I do too sometimes, but I can't. Uh, I, yeah, they move but, so quick. They move so quick. Hot brown water. Lenny. Dayton's down. Magic coverage. Danny DeVito. Robert Downline Squid. Lenny? Memento Mary. Was it Vlad? Holy gutty. Who's fan arting this? You know? The defund spid. Darcy is turned in. Okay, okay. Darcy is tuned in. Half dead and dynamite. Donnie Wahlberg. Uh, uh. Hot brown water. Carvitz. Um. Uh. Big squiggles. It's underscore Darcy. Oh wow. Farty. Wait, I gotta read this one. I gotta read this one real quick. Uh, where did it just go? Fuck. Farton down underscore Scorsese, Darcy Carden, more like farty barfin. 
What? I'll say this: you were really getting a, okay. a, a getting in a groove with that that one, Darcy. I want people to start putting beats behind these uh, segments where Darcy reads the comments because I think these can be mixed into <laughs> something uh, really musical. It starts to sound like beat poetry. Guys, I can't. He's saying it's starting to sound like beat poetry, Darcy. Beat poetry, All right, yes. So, so Rich is guessing Julia Louis Dreyfus. Great guess, but no, she's not here in this movie. I, I guess Josh Dumel. Great guess. He's he he's. This isn't his room. This isn't okay. his room. Someone said and, I started when the bumper started the first time. I'm not sure who this is. They did not say who. And it it's was. wrong. Well, well, was it a barbell? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's. I think Jason fan art. Is it not? Oh, is that me? You, yeah, you, you take me full screen. Take me full screen. <laughs> you motherfuckers, this is what you think I look like? <laughs> you think I look like this? The, the, give me the image again. What the what? How dare you? How dare you? I, I would frame that. You know what? I would too. Send it yeah, to him. Yeah, send it to him. <laughs> give him uh, your address, Jason. Is okay. it Corey from uh, the That's So Raven spinoff? Corey in the house? No, but that's a great guess. That's um, a great guess. I don't know who and, that one is. Wow, uh, I love this unbroken, unbroken mug. mug. <laughs> okay, so somebody that hasn't broken a mug. Oh, shit, it's probably the owner of the house. Okay, so no. Uh, that's no, SpongeBob. Sh- it's not going to be SpongeBob, Charlie, yeah, but good Bob. guess. What about his friend Patrick? It's, it's me. me. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> no, Dr. Mrs. Doom Jazz. Good guess. Pharrell. Oh, it Pharrell? No, it's not Pharrell. Oh, Pharrell. Was this maybe was it Pharrell's hat? No, it wasn't. Is it was Watto? It Watto? Uh no, just because you know Watto is uh he's not in the Dominican Republic. Oh, is it right Colin Jost? It sure isn't Colin Jost. Wait, no, is but it, that's it a wasn't Colin guess. Jost with two Ooh, L's? You could see Colin Jost's little dick in that. I mean his dick. <laughs> you can see his little wiener. That little the the yeah. little was it a lady? Uh, yeah, it's a lady. It's a good. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, so, okay, so we have a yes. Okay, we have so a, we have Lenny, we have something. Not Lenny Kravitz. Then he's 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 also he's not in this room, but he's also was Oscar in the house? Was it a not lady Oscar? Grouch? Lady Grouch. Was it Baby Yoda saying fart? No, because Baby Yoda's a guy, right? We we can. Oh, oh is it? it? <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. That's really uh, good. Oh, wow, we did get some more. Half of Tommy Chong. Okay, uh, no, it's not, not even half. the right one who's in the movie. Oh, no. but you said it was a lady. Oh, oh. gagged and gooped. Oh, yeah. no, no, don't say it. Don't oh, say no. it. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. I think this is Jason again, maybe, or maybe that's Tommy Chong. I think, or like Dude. that looks sort of Chongish. Yeah, um, and I'm not Len, not. And it's def. Yeah, this one's not loading. I oh, kind well. of feel like Lenny Kravitz looks like a super ripped Curtis Gwynn in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am. I guess I am liking the attempts people are making to draw me, even yeah. though, yeah, even though they look very unsettling. Okay, okay. so I'm can I? Can I guess one more person? Please. Wow, Patrick on his third question. I mean, no one else is guessing. No, wow. please do. Listen to him justify it. We all hey, he like, you know what? Patrick wants to win more than anything. He's really he's do. competitive. I do. Yeah. Okay. Is it Patrick? Louis? Patrick, Patrick. I want to let you know something. I understand that you are the youngest person on this stream, mm-hmm. that you are the baby of the group. But I believe you got your dates mixed up. Because, in fact, next week is Passover. So maybe you should wait before you ask the four questions. Okay, actually, the before... The only got one! Yeah. The only Here's... got one and you got four questions! Here's what I want to know. Here's what I want to know. And I want to just ask this before Patrick asks his question, because I feel like Patrick is going to try and solve the puzzle, Pat. Mm-hmm. So here's my question. What the fuck is wrong with Patrick? Come on. Come on. Thank you. What's what's out. Patrick's problem? What's his Uh-oh. Doing? Uh-oh. Make me big. In hand. Is it co- is it Coolidge in the poolage? It's motherfucking <clears throat> Jennifer Coolidge. Yeah. 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 You know, I, I do want to say plausible deniety did guess it first. Uh, oh. Hot brown That's water. a good one too. We've, got, we've had some Coolages in the Coolages. 
Wow. Yeah, it's the queen herself, Jennifer fucking Coolidge. I'm feeling her her ghost in here right now, and we love her. She's did the someone best. just draw that? Yeah, I drew it. It was. <laughs> 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 so wait, was that her mug? No, she doesn't own this house. This is the, this is we're all staying in a house. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's a yeah, big makes house. sense. It's, it's a like big like house for, with a lot of lights in the bathroom wow. and a lot of mugs. It sounds like not that many. Not, not as many. Not, as many, not anymore. Not as many as there used to be. I didn't break Coolidge's mug. She would understand. She's broken <laughs> some mugs in her day. Um, but yeah, it was Coolidge and, and she was, um, anybody, wait, have you guys, who's worked, let me, I'm looking around, who's worked with Coolidge before? We used to fuck, but we never worked together. <laughs> you wish, Watto. <laughs> you wish, Watto. Try me, try back me. When, back when Watto was a groundling? <laughs> <laughs> Me, me and Catan. Watto, it split. was it was Jennifer Coolidge. It was Paul Rubens. It was Watto. It was Happy the Christmas. OGs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I fucked everyone you just named. <laughs> you, wish. Um, you guys, I wanted. You remember how? <laughs> Wait, why, why are you laughing, Jason? I'm laughing because you just so earnestly said, "You guys." <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. I don't want to leave early, but I'm. I. I. I don't. I don't want to leave the bumpers early or or this group of friends. But I'm. I gotta go to bed. I think. Yeah. I, I can't believe you're bailing after. Okay. 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 okay, 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 okay. Wow. 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 Four hours wow. And barely a Snyder cut. We've barely done a Snyder okay. cut. You're already. Okay. Wait, Darcy. How long have you been on? Darcy, I think has been here three hours and eleven minutes almost. Okay, oh, as long as it's not, as long as she's not breaking my record, I'm okay. No, you yeah. no. Although cumulatively, she might be, she might be running over. So can I hold off on talking buns? No. What do you mean? Right. No. What the Wait. fuck, Bryson? No. It was Why with Darcy. Bye, bye, Bryson. <laughs> You shouldn't have to hold off on it. You should have it ready to go, my guy. Did he tell us to wait for something? Talk no, he talk. just, he said, he's trying to, you know what the Bryson's doing? Bryson's trying to get out of doing work right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just clocked in. He, his work day he just, just started. He, he just clocked in. And he's I swear to God, acting like a retired fucking filmmaker. If you look at his, if you look at his screen, he's watching the Snyder Cut. Oh my gosh. Really? Bryson. And he said he's on record as saying he prefers Joss Whedon's version. Yeah. Oh, no. Wow. He Jason. loves the epilogue in this one. That's his favorite part. Hey Jason. Oh, Watch give, What's up? Give Whoa. my butt. Give my bun a kiss. Oh, kissing buns. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> wow. Hang on. Hey, Bryson, this is be where that bumper would <laughs> motherfucking crush. Yeah. This is not from Bryson. <laughs> Yay! Nice. nice. See? Nice. Like, That's how it's um, done. That was somebody fun. had time to make it, to, uh, Bryson. Yeah. At Jambala. At you, know Jambala. What's, you know what's cute about that? You can tell that um, his family was asleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that, and that so, Patrick, Patrick has just learned how to have a low volume on a video. That was his low volume. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick just learned that you could you didn't have to play every YouTube video at full volume today. I would also <laughs> like a bumper, Bryson, that's just... That's just bun smooch. It's all about it's all about smooching that bun. Bryson, get in here. Yeah, Bryson, get in here. Yeah, Bryson, you got beaten to the punch for talking buns. We don't need that anymore. Delete I just it. exported all the assets for it. Delete, Delete it. Delete <laughs> we do need bumping buns though. Bumping buns and bun smooch. Hashtag bun smooch is what we're we, talking right we now. Bumping buns. He's got to go to bed. Yeah, yeah real, real tight turnaround on this yep. one. <laughs> yeah. Darcy has a hard out. And and Bryson, Bryson, uh, I don't want to see you put whatever you're writing in that jar. I want I'm it not. straight, 
straight to the pin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bryson, you know what? Yeah. Bryson, you know what we're gonna do? What? We're gonna bump it to the top. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Bryson, just uh, robot squid. I I am also curious if Zach ate his pie. Oh, I'm yeah. sure he did. Bryson, maybe he's uh, no, little- just bun smooch. It's not bun smoochin. It's just bun smooch. Okay. I think, right? I what do you think, so. Darcy? What do you? Although Darcy uh, and I are no longer when Bryson's here, it fucks up our bun smooch. Yeah, we, I guess yeah. we could do. Oh wait, yeah, I could do Bryson, Bryson's bun. Bryson, let's. Uh, here's an asset we could export. Let's export Bryson out of the stream. Oh wait a minute, nice. <laughs> here, we're back. We're back. <laughs> <Yeah>. George. Oh. <laughs> 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 let's let's export Bryson out of the stream. Really, that tickled me. <laughs> that hit the spot. Smooching uh, buns, eating buns, sucking all nice little buns. Oh. <laughs> Darn it. Darn it. I fell asleep in the middle of that. What was I saying? Can we get that clean? <laughs> okay wait what time is it darth well it's it's i think it's new york time it's 12 only 20, 12 12 20. 20. Oh, okay but you know those 4 45 a.m wake-ups they come, they oh, come yeah. quick. not tomorrow morning but I, i'm just not not tomorrow morning don't worry i'm okay, not that okay. but i just I, i'm on a different time schedule um okay uh, sm- uh smooch and buns Eating buns, sucking all little bitty buns. <laughs> Are our squares different? That was weird. Did yeah, you see that? that? Weird. What was that? Oh, yeah. hey! oh, hey! oh, hey! High five and everybody. I don't like that. Well, bring us all back together like this. Whoa! Like this. What? <laughs> My challenge to you, let's do this for an hour. I feel bad. I feel bad because I know we're having fun here, but I feel like Steven's missing out on this, and I know he would like doing this. Steven <laughs> would love really bad. Steven would love this. He's, he's got to still be up. It's early in LA, it's Rich. Plus, yeah. I, I mean, I got to assume he needs to eat more pickles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. I'll go. Uh... Thank you. <laughs> yep. There, there, there's got to still be pickles to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Softest house in Los Angeles. Look at that focus. Nothing. I, I, I will say, I don't know if there is a running segment on the George Lucas talk show that makes me laugh harder than <laughs> shot of Rich Summer's empty apartment while he goes to get Stephen Charleston. There is so much loaded into that image. <laughs> Uh, he's back. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, here we go. Ready? Steven? Get hey, those Steven. Pi- get those pickles ready, buddy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Steven, are you okay? Okay. Yeah, Steven. Some of the pickle juice would. Do, we would say boop so much, and I <laughs> normally when I'm chewing, I keep it kind of quiet. But <laughs> I was my throat was open, so I was saying boop, and then my <laughs> pickle juice just shot, shot right down in there. <laughs> How I have a question for Steven, actually. Yeah. Steven, in the household you're in right now, is it you or Rich Summer that plays guitar? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna have it in the if you're gonna have it in the picture, you better be ready to have it commented on. <laughs> but it's really, it's really little. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah, probably, Wait, is this forced perspective? Is that a I tiny think, guitar? Yeah. Let's Not see this tail. Hold on. Where's the <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this. How do we? No. Oh, I can. I can go oh. get it. Yeah, go get it, Stephen. Go oh, what? I mean, let's see. It is shocking. Stephen's been on five or six times at this point. We've never asked him to play. <laughs> oh my god! You know, maybe the house is blurry. <laughs> Maybe the camera is perfectly filming a blurry house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's not all the way the size of a real one. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, what's your favorite song? Oh. <laughs> Do you remember? Well, okay, let's break it down this way. Steven, you and Rich met famously at the season five premiere party for New Girl. That's Do you right. Know the New so Girl theme remember song? Remember that? Yeah. Do you know the New Girl theme song? Hey girl, how What's, you doing? Look, that's in focus. Yeah, that was yeah. yeah. Now you're in. Oh, now that's good. Now you're good. Yeah, that's good. You, you did it. Yeah. It's not. It's a little guy. It's called a. It's called a baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it says Taylor baby. Look. Oh wow! Cute. Yeah. That's cute. That's cute. Yep. Hey, that's cute. Hey, that's cute. <laughs> I haven't learned it a lot of it. <laughs> so you haven't learned a lot of it, but you have learned <laughs> some of it. Yeah, but it's not. I don't want to do it. Wait, is, <laughs> hang on. You can put it back. You can put it back. We're not here to bully you into playing it. You can put it is back. Is Rich better at playing guitar? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Not better. No, he's worse than me, even. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know what? Watto, jizz, go. Okay, here we go. Wait, <laughs> hold on one second. Nice. <laughs> Either. Are you playing taps, Lotto? <laughs> I can't find the note. Hold on. <laughs> Are you? Has the show died? <laughs> Is this to commemorate the death of this show? George Where's left. George? <laughs> no, fuck it. This is easier. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Second unit? <laughs> Second unit went out. What is this? Hold on. Where are you? Oh, there's music. I'll just say a word and then you say it, okay? <laughs> this is our single. It's the Nashville soundtrack. Wrong. It's Stephen Charleston singing "I'm Easy." Word, word by word, as George told me to do it. I see. I see. And then he got it put on an actual record. No, I mean, I'm yeah. enjoying oh, this. Oh, I didn't know if you could get back. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. He left. Oh, wow. Thank Well, he he left more like you booted. Well, well. I mean, like, I mean, here's the thing. It's the George Lucas talk show, and Patrick just said, I'm going to mute him. Yeah, I know. Think, about, say, think about that. And people say cancel culture isn't real, but boot culture is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, George, can you show the sleeve? Because we couldn't see it very high quality yeah. on the, the second unit. Wow. So it's, <laughs> Watto and George. Wait, look, go back. I want to see some of the characters. Crystal Skull, Stephen Charleston, Watto, and George yeah, have been worked onto the poster. <laughs> hey, George, how long did it take from when you ordered that till you received it? It took, like, months, but... Yeah. <laughs> Side one, I'm easy special edition. Side two, I'm easy to add feet retired from I'm gonna need one of these. How do I get one of these? I think we can we'll we'll take care of that. We can do that. Thank you. Look at all these George. This is I only made one copy. <laughs> but it, you could get charity money for it, probably. Mm -hmm. I, I want That's to just me. make it clear to, to Zooks and Darcy. <laughs> Please do. Stephen Charleston did not know the song, I'm Easy. So oh, George... Could. It's tough to tell it. when you listen to it. <laughs> right. Okay. George read it to him one word at a time, okay. asked him to pair it back <laughs> each word at a time, and then edited out the parts where he said the word and put that to the original backing track. It took a very long time, and oh. everyone was watching. Thank you yeah, for... Feral, Feral Yeet like actually that. was the one who put the music to it, Fer at Feral <laughs> underscore Yeet, and uh, oh. Ricky, Party, Ricky Bart. And, and Feral Yeet, I believe, also did the cover art. Uh, based on the original, and Ricky Barty did this. Because uh, actually, I'll show you on the record itself. It felt like I was oh. li listening to that. Felt like I was looking at something that I couldn't understand. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. And look, felt but I also, Stephen, I will say, like I thought it was beautiful. Mm. There's, no, there's no arguing with that. It's. it's I mean, on the record, you're... on the record itself, that's a drawing by Ricky Barty, and we put the hole for oh, the wow. thing right where. Right where uh, Stephen's whole mouth hole would be, and then on side B, it's the it's the remix where you hear me telling him the words, and we put the and that's Ricky Mar Barty. 
and the the mouth hole is one of the windows to the soul. Yeah. Wow. One of three. No, there's well, nine holes. There's nine holes. Uh, we, yeah, no, we went over this earlier. There are nine. Yeah, Sorry, you went on before. There are nine holes that are windows to the soul. Oh. One, okay. two, oh. three, four, five, six, seven. Butthole is eight. Pee hole <laughs> is nine. Also, oh. the, also the eye holes. Uh, you have two more. I pointed. I pointed. Did? Okay, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Hang on. We did actually get one more bumper that Bryson did not upload, and someone just emailed me saying, hey, you forgot to play my bumper. So we're going to play this one now. George, you'll like this one, I think. I love Home. Kaboom. Oh, right. that's so that, vegetables. It, you know what's crazy about that? Is I actually made a pot pie that's full of vegetables. Um, I, I mean, my, my, uh, my girlfriend, my girlfriend made it, or I mean, Zach, Zach's girlfriend made it, a pot pie what? With, what? with vegetables in it. Um, okay. So you've just gone from, you made a pot pie with vegetables in it to your girlfriend. And then you downgraded that to a, someone else's girlfriend made Zach, it. Zach Cherry's girlfriend made a pot it's pie. It's a callback. Call oh, oh, okay. She so made a I think I only have frozen vegetables, but I will eat some frozen peas. Okay. And and Patrick, my Zach Cherry's girlfriend made me a pot pie with a bunch of vegetables in it. So unfortunately I have to go eat it. She made Hold you on. the pie? Mm -hmm. Darcy, can I oh. show you a pot pie that's full of vegetables? <laughs> a what, babe? Can I show you a pot pie that's full of vegetables? <laughs> yeah, please. That's a Popeye, and look, it's full of these. Yeah. Uh, um, okay, you guys, I love you so much. <laughs> um, um, thanks for letting me smooch on your bun. Thank you for smooching my bun, Georgie's Porgies. I love you guys. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I can't wait to come back and visit you soon. Um, the ghost of Jennifer Coolidge and I say good night to you, and um. She, would it be fucked up if I left before Rich got back? <laughs> yes. I you. Okay, it's I'm gonna wait. To do it. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So you, it, don't don't remind him I was even here, and he probably won't remember. Oh, we're gonna, okay. We're gonna gaslight Should we him. pretend we're like we weren't yeah. here? Yes, 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 yes. If he brings it up, oh fuck! Bye. Okay. Go, go, go. Hey, Stephen. Hey, hey Stephen. Hey, Stephen. I found some rosemary. Oh. Uh. Is that a vegetable? It's more of an herb, Steven. Did he just walk away and he like <laughs> dropped the mic and walked away? That's more that? of an herb. It's more of an herb, Steven. Did Darcy um, go to bed? Who? Who? What? Who? Darcy? Who? Who? Sorry, what? what are you talking about? Something's... We're doing a vegetable segment. I know, but I just... Oh. Wow. Uh, Patrick, can you check your uh, text messages? Yeah. Because you said you were out the bumpers, but I think you might be wrong. Okay. This is Watto doing a new bumper. While I'm doing the bumper, they're arguing about the fan art challenge. <laughs> that was really what, good. What's Jason got there? What you got there, Jason? I'm carrots. snacking on these baby carrots. Okay. Mm. Ooh. I'm gonna eat my third frozen pea. Hello, baby carrots. <laughs> I don't. I don't eat adult carrots. Just I'm baby. trying to eat. I'm trying to eat as many baby carrots as I can, so that they never grow into adulthood. <laughs> I'm eating baby spinach. Hey Bryson, can we get a, a bumper that's like Muppet Babies, but for vegetables? <laughs> <laughs> and can we get it in thirty seconds? Yeah, and can we get hey, it in thirty seconds? Can we get it in focus too. Oh, sorry, I've been watching the Snyder Cut. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> I I you think son of these a bitch. are the closest things Watto has to vegetables in his home. Uh, celery soda. That counts. <laughs> It's a vegetable drink. This is sad, Watto. Uh, I know. Oh. 
and sweet corn flavored Pringles. Oh, wow. Hey, Steven, Steven. These count. Those count. Is a, is a habanero pepper a pep, uh, vegetable? Oh, God, Steven. Be careful. I've wait, never wait. had one. You've never wait had one? Wait a second. One? There was a pickle that came with Watto's pastrami. Oh, <laughs> that's a good question. All right. Hang on, I I'll have eat, one I'll vegetable. Eat I'll eat a pickle, too. And I think you should. I think we should single on Stephen while he eats a habanero for the first time. I don't remember if I, remember if I were agreed to do it, but I did. Yeah. I, maybe it's not as potent because it's been in the pickle juice for yeah. so long. Yeah, that's probably. Oh, yeah, I mean, maybe. let's yeah, let's maybe. find out. Potency. I I honestly have never eaten a habanero pepper. Just you just eat it. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yep. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> you could probably just do it in one chomp, Steven. Why don't we count yeah. you down? You, you want to count down? You want us to count you down? Uh yeah. Oh, Five, here, we can do this. Four, three, <laughs> two, Jesus one. Christ. It's chomping time. <laughs> <laughs> It's made, it's made a lot of juice. It's made a lot of juice. It's very hot. I don't think the pickle juice um, peppered it as much as I was hoping it was. You know what I think it is? I think it's what's inside the pepper that's so hot. Wow. <laughs> You, you think? Yeah, I because when I was looking at the outside, I was like, that doesn't look that hot. But now that I have the inside part, I think that's the hot part. Stephen, do you have any milk? Walk us through your process, Stephen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. It has a yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it sort of builds a little, I think, is what it is. I think that it's sort of like the longer it's been situated, the warmer. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Wow. Oh so man, that's that's yeah. the end of the show. Yeah. Oh. Holy shit! Oh. I'm the force be with you, always. Don't make the kite into a mask. Do not turn the kite into a puppet. George, did you cut eye holes in the kite? And you're making a mouth hole now so you can puppeteer the kite with your face? George, why are you ruining this kite? It's the only kite we have. Why are you sticking your tongue through the kite? Oh, this is rich. This is Rich. Rich Summer, our old friend. Hey, guys. Hey, Rich. Welcome, welcome back to the show, Rich. Thanks for having me. I just wanted to come and uh, and say how excited I am that you're back. Oh, well, we're very happy to see you. It's, I'm very happy to see you as well. Wow. Cypher, we, got a, we got a stacked show. Rich, do you know who, everyone who we had on the show tonight? Well, uh, I knew that uh, – I know you had Paul F. Tompkins. Correct. Yes. Uh, that's everyone that I know of. Patton Oswald. Oh, is that true? Yeah, Patton Oswald. Wyatt okay. Sinek. Wow. Bob Odenkirk. His first TV appearance since his heart attack. Wait a minute. I'm not wow. joking. That really? This all happened tonight? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. The, the yeah. people are excited to have you back. Bob yeah, did you're... funny. Bob did very funny comedy jokes on it. He did some great comedy tonight on this show. I, I I'm a fan of comedy myself. Yeah. Whoa, really? Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, I enjoy, you know what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Before, before, who are your guys? Who are your guys? I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't Rich, have said who are that. Your guys? What I meant is I am a, a casual, I'm someone who's been known to casually enjoy comedy. Okay, oh, but like, who are your guys? Who are your guys, Rich? Oh, shit. Uh, who are my hey, guys? They don't have, to, they don't have just have to be men, Christopher Hitchens. <laughs> See, this is going to be a problem. I, Rich, I, have, I, you I, locked, I, have you locked the gates, Rich? 
Chichum. Have I locked the gates? Pow. Have you locked the gates? Chichum. Which gates? Boomer Lowe's. Am I gatekeeper? Bill and Melinda. Bill and Melinda. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What the fuckers? What the fuck nots? Have you been on WTF, Rich? Rich, you've been on WTF? I, I've not been on WTF. Why, I'm not not? A, I, Why the fuck not? <laughs> um, I, I well, I have you know, I will say I, the first time that I remember meeting Mark Marin, I had seen him live a couple of times. Uh, so so we'd been in the same room, but the first time that we met was we were both on the soup, uh, back back when the soup so was on. Needy. I, I ate soup tonight. Wow, we're talking, it, exactly. we're talking soup, and uh, I uh, he said <laughs> we, we were talking, he said, Oh, you should come on my show. <laughs> now, I, I immediately in that moment discern that this is something he says to more people. I used to have that exact spoon, George. Well, like, when, the subject is, when the subject of soup comes up, the Donald spoon wants to listen in. You got to pull out a spoon. Uh, yeah. I, anyway, he said, you should come on. Uh, I should have you as a guest on my show. And I knew in that moment, this is something that he says to a lot of people that he does not, with whom he does not follow up sure. Sure, uh, sure. with a genuine invitation because right. that, wouldn't have made any sense. Yes. Now let's Mara. acknowledge that mm -hmm. happens, but then years later, you are both on this same Netflix series, Glow. You later become co-stars. Uh, yeah, I mean, technically we were both on that same show. I don't think we shared, maybe we shared one scene when, when my character went to a wrestling match, we were in the same thing, but that's, that's the most I can think of. Is it time to cash in that promise? <laughs> From well, can can we get him? Can we get him on the horn and see what he's up for? I mean, if you've got the night, is, the night is Rich, Kirk, Rich, Kirk, Oswald, Tompkins, you've had a, a stacked lineup. Rich, mm -hmm. is there is there? Uh, would you object to a grassroots campaign? <laughs> uh, if, if the people make your voices heard. <laughs> Uh, I might, I might object to it. Yeah, oh, because, right. Fair, enough, fair enough. Fair enough. I just, what? I don't. If you object, I don't you actually say think, clearly. You should say, "I object to this grassroots campaign." I just don't think I'm the right uh, fit for that show. I think you know, President Barack Obama was on that show, and I, I just don't think I'm in that. Uh, right. Yeah, but heading. he wasn't. He he was a bad guess. He didn't even know who his guys were. Rich, <laughs> what if we made the? He couldn't answer. Yeah, it's neither he, can I, who, which who is, your guys? that's my point. FDR, Truman? <laughs> Rich, yeah. what if we made the hashtag for the campaign, we want summer this fall. <laughs> or, <laughs> but you spell and, fall, F-O-L-L. -L. And uh, as a companion hashtag, how about get rich quick? Because oh, summer? Because summer. Yes. Oh, thank you. Okay. That took me. I didn't know the same story. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want summer okay. this fall. No, I got it. Thank you. Okay. Hashtag get rich quick. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Two well, hashtags, <laughs> and then the third hashtag will be two hashtags are better than one. <laughs> That's the third hashtag. I like a self-referential hashtag then, that refers to the previous two. And then the fourth hashtag. The fourth hashtag is. Third hashtag's the charm. <laughs> Hang on. I, I, I want to say this. People can tweet these hashtags, just don't tweet them at WTF or Mark. Yeah. Right. That's what I, I, listen, people can do whatever they want. I'm just saying what? I would... <laughs> I'm saying, hold on, hold on. I'm saying I would prefer they not, but they get to do whatever they want. If I've learned one thing in the last year, it's that I get to do... I, I have my liberties. I have my freedom. Oh, and no. I can do whatever I want, and oh, they can do whatever oh, they no. want. I'm not gonna. Oh, oh no, I'm real nervous about this. Did you that took a turn. The... You took. Him I just I, I booted him for a second just so we get to because he can't hear us. He can't hear us. It's right been now. more than a second. Okay, I'll bring him back. I was just I'm just nervous. Bring him back. Oh hey, I don't know what happened. The thing went black for a I second. Think Wi Fi in Diverge, maybe oh. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, Rich, your room no. looks different. What's going on? Does it look different? Yeah. That's all that stuff in the is background. A, is that a blanket fort? What are we talking here? Uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, I don't want to like, get... Is that like I, some of those fancy chocolate-covered cherries? That's, that, is, that, is not, uh, that is not mine. Oh. 
Oh, who's this? It's your kid. So it's your kids. It, uh, nor does it belong to my children. Your wife? Your spouse? Yeah, who is staying? <clears throat> is, is John Flattery staying over? <laughs> it yeah. does not, it does it, not belong to me, hashtag, my hashtag, children, hashtag, my wife, or John Slattery. Hashtag Slattery sleepover? <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a second. It doesn't belong to your kids, your wife, or John Slattery. That's everyone. Who, who could be left? Hashtag Silver Fox in the Hen House? It doesn't. This is. I should have put up a cool, like a library background or something like a. a yeah. Books. What's it's going okay. on, Rich? What's going on, Rich? Okay. Put, uh, nothing. I, 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 I. It's going away soon. What does that mean? It's. Uh, <clears throat> I can tell you what it is. Uh, it is. Yeah. It is. Uh, it is an elliptical machine. Okay. And it's going away. It's not my. <clears throat> Rich, what aren't you telling us? Listen, um, I uh, uh, believe that you guys know that I. Um, it's not just my family who uh, uses this room from time to time. Rich, mm. this is a long buildup. <laughs> I'm not trying to build anything up. Be I'm actually, it. I'd rather not even, just, if, if you're happy to move on, I'd rather get to talking uh, about anything. Else. We're fine. We're fine. Right. It no, just wait, has to be on. acknowledged. The last Wano. time I experienced this long a halftime walk, Billy Lynn was the one doing it. <laughs> Wano, he wants to talk about anything. Let's go back. Let's go back to WTF. So anyways, what would oh, you? Oh, God. No, tell us what you want to talk about. What what's going on? Because this feels like it's weighing on your mind. We haven't seen you in a while. Nothing's weighing on my mind. I'm. How are you guys? How's everything no, been? No, 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 no. From from who are you guys to how are you guys? <laughs> the Rick Summer story. <laughs> Let's get a book cover for that. Let's get some jacket art from that. <laughs> Don't say jacket art, George. That sounds gross. Jacket art is the term in the publishing industry. I won't be inaccurate. Yeah, you sound gross, Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did I tell you guys I got Invisalign? No. Prove it. Prove it. <laughs> Show us. Show us your teeth. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Hold on, I got, got one on the bottom, too. Hold Whoa! On. Wow. Yeah, Can uh -huh. you take them both out at the same time? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> hey, Rich. Whoa! Wow. Now, Rich, tonight, tonight so far has not been a charity marathon, but we do want to know how much you'd be willing to auction those off for. <laughs> well, I have to change them every... Oh, hold on. They're not... There we go. They weren't seated correctly. I have to change them every two weeks. So how much would I auction these off for in a week when yeah. I have to put in the new ones? Yeah. 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 What's the charity? The planet scum dot live. <laughs> a, a billion dollars. I you gotta give me a good charity. You gotta give me a good charity that I can we, uh, okay. Give us a what's your favorite charity? Oh god. And make it a good one. Well, make I brought up one. earlier uh, you know, I I have felt this last year that <laughs> our freedoms have been tested. Oh, uh and <laughs> yeah, yeah, for COVID. <laughs> what does that mean? Because you gotta get COVID test to see if you have it. Tested for COVID. Oh, I see. I see. You were using. Well, I haven't done any of those. But this um, bob up the nose. I I haven't done any of those. I know you have because you've worked in film and television in the past year, and they. Well, do let me ask you this: um, Have you ever heard of someone like getting? Uh, this isn't uh, public, is it? Yes, it's what are you live. About? <laughs> Sorry, Patrick. What are you so pissed off about, dude? I was just gonna ask a question. Wow. I was just what asking a question, dude. What I was gonna ask is, have you ever heard of people getting like clean piss? Yes. Oh, you've been you've been getting swapping out the the swab. I've been doing. I've I've sidestepped the swab. Does that make sense? Swapping the swabs. Swapping the swabs. I'm si I'm sidestepping the swab. It's like, you can't sidestep the swab. Wait, how do you? So you put the clean piss up your nose so the swab gets no, the piss. No, 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 no. I was using that as an example. I was using that 
Talk as to sort us of straight. like, talk to us straight. Give us the real story. What's going talk on? Talk to here? us straight. Yeah, tell us who's staying in that tent. Rich, Rich, what did yeah. the, what did the Jedi dentist say to Luke Skywalker? <laughs> what? Use the floss, Luke. He did. Yeah, of course. It's the most logical advice. Why? You did, why did he say it like that? It doesn't. I guess he's just a regular dentist, and that happened to be. No, he's a Jedi. Right, but all dentists say use floss. Not all hashtag not all dentists. <laughs> Most, hey, Rich, uh, Rich yeah, what did the Jedi dentist say to Yoda? What's that? May the floss be with you. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Watto, that's funny. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Rich, Rich, what program yeah. do Jedi use to open PDF files? Uh, I don't know. Adobe One Kenobi. Take Patrick off this stream. Hey, Rich, off this stream. Rich. This is not yeah, what he's George. here yeah, for. Yeah, it's not what yeah, George. George, this show's about. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. Not that kind of we do, we do dental jokes, but not Adobe jokes. That's just a corporation. Right. It's not. Uh, right. They didn't pay us for that. Yeah, it's not right. universally relatable the way dental hygiene. Is. I feel a little bit bad. I was I was kind of being uh, I was trying to be silly about the the sidestepping the swap thing. I yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, what kind of this doing? shit is everywhere. Who who are you so angry at? Who are you so angry with, Rich? I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, I was trying to be funny with the whole uh, liberties thing and the right. COVID thing. Obviously, I'm taking, yes, I've been taking a lot of tests. I got the vaccine. Yeah. And that's no, we right. know, Rich. You're responsible. You're and you're it's a dumb, it's a, it was a and dumb joke. It was a dumb joke, and it's fine. It's not joke. It wasn't even really, but it, the other thing is it wasn't even a joke. It was like a, just a, like I was just trying to be funny, but it wasn't funny. So it's, it's fine. okay. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Okay. You forgot that it wasn't joke week. So let's but think, we, let's think about who Rich's guys could be. They, they're people who try to be funny, but aren't funny. <laughs> I've got a lot. I have a lot of, there are a lot of those. Patrick, I don't think we have, have enough time. Yeah. <laughs> it's too long a list. Uh... Rich, I have to ask. Yeah. What who is it? Who is grinding your gear so much mm. that they made you use Jesus Christ as an expression of exasperation? <laughs> I uh, would prefer that when people use this room, they put things away the way I had them when they're done. But if you're not misusing the room and right. your kids aren't misusing the room That's and right. your wife isn't misusing the room, that's right. Silver Fox John Slattery is using the room. Rich, That's we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, regrettably, we're gonna pull a page out of her, out of Senator Joe McCarthy's book, mm. and we're gonna ask oh, no. you to name names. Name names. Uh, all right. Well, I, I, uh, I, <clears throat> I have a uh, someone who's been staying here who's just been kind of. Um, Rich, this is not a hard reboot of the show. People have seen this before. You're acting like you're acting like we're having to reintroduce the whole universe. Of the show. I, I well, I figured there were a lot of new viewers. No, it's the same 200 people yeah. who've been sad since April. Okay, yeah. well, it's fucking Stephen Charleston. Good. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Rich is Steven there. <clears throat> Go get him. He's Go get here. him. Go get, Go get him. him. George, why, I, don't know if I don't know why we're... I, what? what were you going to say? No, no, no. <laughs> No, no, go get him. Oh, I, no, I just thought, George, I thought you were going to say something right yeah, when I was getting up. I, I heard you say something, Rich, and I wanted to make Rich, sure I heard Rich it. Rich is such a nice, I was going to say, Rich is such a nice guy. I don't know why he'd want to come on the show and act like he's less nice than he actually is. <laughs> You're so nice and smart. You're a kind person. That's fair. I am uh, home. You are home. I've not been playing but, to the top but, of my intelligence. What? No, no, I, no. But you're so. Yeah, no, what, I, what, it was an act of kindness because you were sort of sacrificing your own good name, your reputation, mm -hmm. for the sake of the comedy of the show. And but it wasn't never, even comedic. That's the we, problem. I, I, I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. Look, mm -hmm. I'll go get the guy. I'll go get your friend. Go. Yeah. He's not our friend. He knows what we want. 
He's your he's friend. He's not our friend. No, he's my friend. I like to think Steven is, our, is my friend. George, you said it's the same 200 sad people. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know that this entire live stream we've been above 800? What? So the sad people are multiplying. Well, that's not a surprise. The Delta we variant were, is running rampant. We were tickling a thousand. We were tickling. Oh, so close to that sweet, sweet thou. We were at oh, like 960. Oh, brother, where art thou? Oh, who is this? Who is this oh, coming no. out of it? Uh, getting on the elliptical machine. Now, who could it be now? I guess we have seen Steven's pants, but it feels new. This feels like we're seeing the full size Steven Charleston action figure. Wow. Whoa. Wow. He doesn't even use the handles. Can I I say something? The crazy crazy thing is he's doing it in slow mo. George, you can say something. I would have sworn that Stephen Charleston would have had even the slightest suggestion of a belly. Mm, mm, mm. But he is ripped. He's Look ripped. at that. It's a straight line. Because we don't know what he does. It seems like he just stays at that house all day. You would think, like, just yeah. in Ooh. the course of time, a little belly would show up. But no. This is, this, is, this is, guys, this is straight up a Stephen Charleston thirst trap. That's, yeah. what, this, that's what this show has turned into. Whoa, whoa, Stephen, Stephen what are you doing? Trap. Stephen, what is Steven, this? What is they, no? They should call him Swolvin Charles Swolv. Yeah. Stephen, how What's are up, you? Guys? What is this I, shirt, Stephen? I forgot that's how he talks. Every <laughs> time it's a surprise. <laughs> I genuinely was like, what? This is the- <laughs> Hi, Stephen. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Great. You know. It's been a oh, minute, Stephen. How was your great, summer? Great work on that elliptical machine. Incredible work. <sighs> Thank you. I was just, uh, I was resting for uh, a little while, and then I decided to kind of get up and shred a little, and then uh, hmm. I just uh, thought I'd come and say hi. What's up? Well, Stephen, we we had a question. Um, hmm. We asked Rich this. He didn't really have a good answer. Do you, who are your guys? Mm. Oh, my guys? Yeah. yeah. Um. Wow. You know, uh, I was a big, um, who was the guy? He would always yell. He would be like, ah, and his eyes would get big. Bobcat? No. I know no. who you're talking oh, about. Oh, oh, oh. Um, who's the Dennis? guy? Lotto. No, who's the guy who Marin always used to do coke with? What's his name? D- was it Sam Dennis? Kinison. Sam Kinison. No, 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 no. 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 Dennis, I think it was, or. Um, the Menace? No. <laughs> Miller? N- Okay, maybe it wasn't Dennis. Oh wait, Lawson, who played hey, Red Van Tilly's? He 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 would kind of he would talk and he'd go, you know, uh, I was at the place with my wife. Not, not not my wife makes it sound like Borat. It wasn't him. It was it was like in the eighties. He'd be like, and his eyes his eyes would get big. Um, hey Popeye. Steven. Hey Stephen, what did the Jedi what did the Jedi Dennis say to Luke Skywalker? What's that? Nice to meet you, Luke. My name is Dennis. Dennis the dentist. How did you know good. for a living? I had the feeling. You know, if you look up Dennis comedian, it brings up Dennis Miller. It's not him. Yeah. All right. No, you're My sure. Dude, his eyes went buggy. He said, "My wife." And it's comedian, not Leary. He died. Dennis. Leary Wait. Oh, died. hang on. So, I believe. Hang on, is it? It might be Dennis Wolfberg, let me look. Wait, I think I've got it. Is it Dennis yeah. Wolfberg? I'm looking. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's him. He's one Hold of on. my guys. Hold on. Thank you to Abigail Noy for sending Dennis Wolfberg over. That's it. That guy, he was oh. always on the Comedy Channel and ha. Huh? That was uh-huh. your guy. <laughs> he was my guy. Did you guys watch Ha? Huh? No. That before was... it became before it became Comedy Central, uh huh, it was the the Comedy Channel, uh huh, and ha, ha, right, and then they merged into Comedy Central. They centralized and then they began, they the began, comedy. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Do you remember his comedy? I've never seen this man before in my life. No, I don't oh. remember him existing. Really? Oh, he was really funny. 
He died in 1994. It was a while ago. In Culver City. What year were you born, uh, Patrick? What year do you think? 1989? No. What? 1992. Oh, shit. <laughs> cool. Yeah. And what, about you, Wato? what year were... Well, Wat, Wato was rendered in 1997. 97? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, and oh, we need really? the, the cue for it too. Oh, what's what's George I'm up to? I'm George is George. In a, he's in a production meeting. <laughs> I think George forgets that he's on the air right now. Oh, he. Um, hold on. I want this to time out so perfectly. All right. Um, I'm just waiting for the cue from Jersey Dave. Hold on. But Jersey, George, you ready? Did did you say uh, who was the comedian? You said Dennis who? Wolfberg. Oh yeah, Dennis Whatberg. Uh Wolfberg. Oh. Wait, hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know I was Wolfberg? in charge of this. I didn't know I was in charge of this. Did you say, Wolf did you say Wolfberg? <laughs> yeah, I said Dennis Wolfberg. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Should I howl too? Yeah. Oh. Patrick, you could not have fucked that up worse. I was not aware that I was in charge of this. <laughs> George teed it up. You were not ready. Hey. Then he gave he was, you time to get ready. Patrick. And then you, he said, wait, wait, wait one second. And then you did the bumper. Hey, Patrick. I'll say this. You were, you were, you, Patrick, you, you, were not, you were not aware, Wolf? Oh, I, I'll say this. I, I was going to trim it on YouTube so no one knew the difference. But now I can't. No, now I can't. Hold on. I got to. How do I? What do I? How do I? Oh. What do I? Steven, I like those glasses. What's going on? I didn't have it. I forgot my sunglasses, so I just put. I made them so that they were my night, my after dark glasses. Sure. Yeah. Hey guys, I just want to say I'm I'm out of practice. Yeah, we all are. That's why that took well, ten minutes. I feel like you guys kind of got right back into the rhythm. Hey. No, we've been doing this for three and a half hours. Somehow, yeah. I'm just a little behind. It's okay. Hey. You know uh, who has a little behind? <laughs> Maybe you're. Oh boy. Yeah. See, see, you're firing on all cylinders. I'm. I just can't come up with them. Yeah. Can I? I'm gonna take. A, I put on this snuggie like a robe, but it's so hot. Yeah. yeah. I, George, I also want to say this. I think it's too dark. Yeah, it's pretty dark. But well, we, well. Can we turn the lights? I, I actually down? like the way I like the way it looks right now. That's pretty good, don't you think? Okay. Yeah, a little bit of backlighting. Yeah. Well, that's good. I, 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 wait, am I looking at George Lucas or a music video by Lord? Because <laughs> of this green light. <laughs> I want it. Yeah. Where's Matt Damon and Ben Affleck? What is this, Project Greenlight? <laughs> is that what this is? I watched that whole uh, show. Did you? Cool. Yep, all of them. It's what was that movie called? Summer? Battle of Shaker Heights. Well, there was yeah. that one with, with um, the Mutt, Mutt, Mutt Jones. Wasn't yep. there one? It wasn't called Summer Catch. It was Mutt called Williams. Summer something. Oh, yeah. Well, there was, let's go through these. Hang on. There's Battle yeah. Shaker Heights. Yeah, there's – what's the horror one? The horror one was called – Feast. Feast. Uh, oh, yeah. the, the, the Leisure Class mm -hmm. oh, was season know. four. That's and then what was, yeah. what was season one? Season one was this summer movie. Summer stolen summer, stolen summer. That's right. You're right. Well, it only took 335 hours for this to turn into a Project Greenlight recap show. <laughs> <laughs> what if we did that? What if we watched every season of Project Greenlight for? I'm in. I'm in. Even that would be a, 
Steven, that would actually be a great spinoff series if we ever did one. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. I want to soft pitch something. All right. Oh, no. All right. Steven, would you yeah. commit to watching an entire season of Project Greenlight with us? Just us. Yeah. What do you mean just us as opposed to I'm, who? I'm saying no other guests coming in. It's just the four of us for like seven hours, Patrick, eight hours. Patrick, Patrick. <laughs> Yeah. You're I'm the in. producer of the show, and your premise is, what if we don't book guests? <laughs> I just, I you know, it's, it, it's, it's an interesting process to explain this show and, and say that George and Watto are here, and I just can't imagine reaching out to Ben Affleck and Matt Damon's people and saying, and also a man named Stephen Charleston comes by. <laughs> Then I suggest you reach out to the fucking other guy, Chris Moore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at Chris Moore. Look at Chris yeah, you Moore. want to throw me a pity party about how I hard it is get, to reach out to Ben and Chris Moore like that. We could yeah. get Chris. Yeah, Chris Moore. Fucking get on the horn and reach out to Chris Moore. We could possibly get Chris Moore tonight. <laughs> yeah. Wow. We we could get Chris Moore so easily we'll be asking for Chris Less. <laughs> Merry Chris Less to all of us. Merry mm -hmm. Chris Less. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Merry wow. Chris Less. I Did mean, we, Chris I, 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 I have to ask this question just as a point of order. Yeah. We weren't going to do an Irishman Plus, but have we? Or are we about I, to? I hate, I hate that we somehow <laughs> slipped into we this fucking shit. <laughs> we said <laughs> the whole one thing we weren't going to do. The one thing we were adamant. One thing we, we adamant said we weren't going to do this. But are yeah. we? Are, how are we a minute away from it? How close are we? We're like eight minutes away from it, I think. So we can still keep our promise to be an Irishman <laughs> minus. Yeah, we can end the show in the next six minutes. Yeah, Here's a game on. I want to play. Hold how on. much yeah. money do you guys think? Stolen Summer, the Project Greenlight movie, grossed in theater. So this was the whole experiment, the first season. We have two big movie stars. They host a reality show. People watch on HBO. They'll be so invested in it. It's advertising for the movie itself. Yeah. I have a feeling this is going to be such a small amount of money that it's going to make me throw up. I'm going to say it's... Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Oh, what I don't even going? think it's that. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go five Stop. digits. Stop it. Okay. I'm gonna say it's, I'm gonna say it's in the, uh, I'm gonna say it's like thirty five, thirty six thousand dollars. Interesting. And George. <laughs> That's not a lot of money. Make your guess, George. Even if it hurts your tummy, make your guess. A billion dollars. <laughs> George. <laughs> a billion? George, you know it isn't a billion. I think we're it wide, is. We're wide. We're wide a billion. <laughs> well. Who is closest? Uh, Patrick went too high. <sighs> Steven went too low. I don't know who's closer because I'm not good at math. <laughs> the domestic total on the movie was 134,000. <laughs> what you're saying, Wado, is I was closest without going over. Uh, yes, you were closest without going over. I guess you were off by 100 and he was off by 115 or so. <sighs> International. Because George's guess was that it was a billion worldwide. <laughs> well, so that's George... just because that's his base. He can't guess right. any lower than that. Well, did, it, so, did, it, did it revolutionize the way movies are made? George, <laughs> it, it did not. <laughs> George, you've got a real scream birth. George, oh. you... you uh, Thought that this did a billion worldwide. Uh, I hope it did. Okay. And I told you it only did $134,736 domestically. So in order for it to total a billion worldwide, it would need to make only $134,736 less than one million. Else. Else. The overseas total. 
the international total for all territories outside of North America for the movie Stolen Summer was $28,000. No, I was not in the wrong ballpark. You were not. You're not. At the opening weekend was 61,000 on 13 screens. 13 screens? That's still pretty good for 13 screens. Excuse me. Oh, newsflash. Newsflash, newsflash. Uh, Steven, earlier, we were going back and forth with one of the Doughboys, Nick Weiger, talking about if there is a three-eyed minion. Well, there's one tucked away on the Universal ride. <laughs> But that's the only one that I think is canon. Now, now here's the thing. Even if I didn't know better. Steven, I went to the source. I went to the writer of Minions, Minion Mayhem. Is that what it's called? Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem. Is that what it's called? Thanks. Brian, Brian Lynch. Brian Lynch. I said, are there any three-eyed minions in Minion Mayhem? Away in Lynch the ride. Says, yeah. I think so. As one of the experiments gone wrong, he's shown super quick. And I Thank said, you. and I said, what's his name? And he said, Ned. Wow. <laughs> You're telling me Ned was there the whole time, just tucked away. Tucked away. Um, Watto, can you uh, text Nick Weiger? <laughs> hey guys, you're getting real close to Irishman Plus. Yeah. Uh, uh... Hey, Stephen, get yeah. out of here! Stop it! What are you doing? Okay. Uh, just tell him uh, Jesus Christ called. He says he forgives you for being wrong about the minions. Oh, and then we got to get out of here before we do an Irishman plus. We got to get out of here. We're at the end of the show. What are we? We're at three now. We're at three twenty-eight, but we also have like two Credits. minutes up top for open. No, 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 for opening uh, the the pre-roll thing. So we're at like right. three twenty-six. How much do I have left before we hit Irishman? Let's just end it now. All right. Oh wait. Uh, oh, 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 on Patrick. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, we got to show our merch. Yeah, fuck it. It's an Irishman oh, plus. It's an Irishman plus. Fuck. Oh, now, let's show. say a few things. Let's say a few things. Guys, if you oh, have enjoyed this show, we really appreciate you watching. You can donate to Planet Scum down below. There's a button you can click that says donate. Or just go to planetscum.live and help donate. Really look, help. It, really the more help. money yeah. you donate, it would help us buy equipment to help make these streams better. We're trying to build this show out a little bit. Step it in. So if you enjoyed it, become a 4 or $5 friend. Throw us some money, and that will go into the next stream we do. Yeah, and we really do appreciate it, and it truly does help. Um, yeah. Now, now Jersey people like to remember, there was a shirt, and I hesitate to even show it on camera because we might get sued. Yeah. But there, of course, was a shirt of Grogizmo. Yes. And there, of course, is a Grogizmo. Look at this little guy. And there, of course, is a goo. Look at and this. And there, of little. course, is a goo. <gasps> now we couldn't we couldn't sell the Girl Gizmo shirt anymore because we had a cease and desist. So what do you do when you cannot show a Girl Gizmo? You grow one. No, you pretend. You pretend it's a grow gizmo. So that is a shirt. You can go check it out online. I wish. Do we have a closer version, Dave, so people can see or no? Um, it is a. It looks like a map of Manhattan with all the locations that we have done. Uh, the George Lucas talk chat. So it's got the m couple Patrick, UCB locations. It doesn't look like a map of Manhattan. It, it is, is a map of Manhattan. What else yeah. would it be? It's certainly not the grow gizmo. Certainly not a grow gizmo. So you got the UCB locations, you got the Dakota, you got Skywalker Ranch, you got a little rat uh, trap. Uh, you got a little rat trap, you got um, uh, the Lucas Museum, a couple other places, but it's uh, very cool, uh, and I hope uh, people will go buy it or donate to the show because it's very helpful. Yes. Uh, um, wow. Where's George going? 
just walking around. Can we? Let's end this. We yeah, we're gonna end it. Did we plug the shirt? We did. Yes. Sure. It's almost like he was doing a remix. This is a mess. We did. We did. We did. It's a Spike Lee shot. Is this really how we're ending it? Whatever this is. One this is the shot that's in all those Spike Lee movies where they feel they float. This is the same sort of ceremony that most of the endings of the shows have had. I know, but I thought this was a new iteration, maybe. That's what I thought, and then, well, what Rich thought. Whoa, 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 whoa. Steven. Patrick, your microphone's off or something. Stephen, what did that mean, what you just said? Well, you said what I, I thought, just, and then you said what Rich thought. I don't. Uh, let's pretend that didn't that part didn't happen. And may the force be with you, always.